Trigger and content warning. These sessions may contain adult themes and not intended for anyone under the age of 18. Themes may contain sex, PTSD, mental illness, traumas, racial injustice, drugs, slash alcohol addiction, slash abuse. Viewer discretion is advised. And now we go to the thing. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we're live. Hello. We did it. We're live on Hello, YouTube everyone. and such. How is everyone doing on this fine morning? I had an earthquake. <laughs> so I heard. So I heard. <laughs> oh my god. So many things happened today. So many things. Uh, Though I'll... it sounds like they're working at the front of the house now, so the kind we're... where we would rather have it there and not need it than need it and not have it, Doomlays. Sure, but I think we might be good. It sounds like they're not working directly. Don't jinx, don't jinx, don't, jinx don't, don't jinx it, don't jinx it. I'm not jinxing it. It sounds like they're they are now at the front of the house. So I'm gonna take a sip of my. Drink. Which makes sense that they would, you know, work from the back of the house to the front of the house. So, you know, I mean, I, I always work for the back door, then w make my way to the front <gasps> as well. You listen up. <laughs> <your mother. laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. Just want to make sure everyone's here. Just a quick roll call. Make sure no one's going to the bathroom. Between is here. Yes, I am here. The, the green, the emerald, the dragonborn is here. I'm back. Oh, oh, welcome back. Hi, Marco. The Emerald Hello. Dragonborn? Hello. Wait, hold up. <laughs> Emerald Dragonborn? Yeah. Oh. An Emerald Dragonborn. Who's an Emerald Dragonborn? Me. No, you're not. You're not. A, you're, the, the, you're the game master. You're not a Dragonborn. Oh. You're a dragon. Hmm. With two Ds. Dragon Ds not. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. And we all die. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, time to join my game. Let's go. Rocks fall. I was kidding. No, I was like, cast re Rex. <laughs> we Rex our asses. <laughs> Revivifies the trask and we all die. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's. <gasps> we don't know what's happening. Jade is here. And yes, I Surge. Am. Surge! Surge is the last one we're waiting on. Yeah, Serge is dead. Serge said he was letting the dogs out, but... and you jinxed it. They are working on your room. <laughs> That's what you get. You jinxed it. Oh, you're typing. <gasps> He's typing. Penis. No, oh my I god, said it was back. So oh, much okay. robotic nudes in this chat. What the hell? What the hell, Serge? Oh my god. I muted. Mm. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Guten Tag. But in that oh. case. Let us do a brief recap of our last session as I pull up music. the music. And also one other thing for later. The alcohol. No, Not going about alcohol. What? But what? No. Oh, also, okay. I'm I'm also yeah. showing the wrong uh, <laughs> character IDs. On the left. There's so many things I left on here. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. And you that's not your drink. Hold up. That's not your drink, Castro. What's not my drink? Oh, I had a Final Fantasy 14 black mage alcoholic drink on your <laughs> non-alcoholic drink on your on your, yeah, on your you, thing. You need to have a a, a thing of G Fuel there. G or, yeah. I will not put G Fuel on my stream. No, why not? <laughs> Never. It, it would be free branding. And no, you don't do that we're gonna we're sponsored. We're gonna get an AI like chat bot saying like, "Hey, you're sponsoring G Fuel." My God! Just put like non non branded energy drink shaker on desk. Ooh, crying, I'm crying. Since that's all Castro seems to drink when he's DMing with us. Yeah, non branded. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Non, non branded <laughs> e fuel. <laughs> Give give me a bubble tea, Jade. <laughs> I would I want some bubble tea. I haven't had any like in a month. Are you sure it wouldn't be cane <gasps> fuel since it feels kettle? Yeah, I think that's also. You can also buy in that Kmart. <laughs> okay, I'm safe again. 
All right, everyone, I say I'm everyone, mute, everyone mute, mute up, mute up, mute up. Oh, you don't need a mute. I'm just doing. Now it's for courtesy. Oh, okay. So, last time on Bouncy's call, we started years in the past. As I turn down because the music, because it's a bit loud. Um, we started years in the past with the backstory of our lovely Hadozi friend, Scooter Monero, discovering what happened to her and the fate of her parents. It was a tragic retelling of a tragic time in her life that managed to make a few of the players cry, which makes me happy about my writing skills. Um, but after that, the group decided to take a rest, which then led to the group splitting up. One group went to collect some bounties to do while waiting for info from the Federation, while the other went to search for information from the Under Baron of the Undercity, a space pirate woman known as the Dragon. Within the bounties that were collected, there were three of them, and one job from the dragon for information. The bounties were as follows. As I pull them up on my Aurora. Oh, no, not Aurora Obsidian, that's the one. Felix Braun, the owner of the Chimera's Main, Hothicary, has gone missing last seen four days ago, he held finding him, a posting from his younger sister, Alexis Braun. Another bounty on a dish-breaking bandit of an, an unknown race wanted alive, a general bounty, and a pest problem in the tavern known as The Edge, stocked food going missing, from a three-queen woman named Vika. The party went to the edge to investigate this pest problem, and in doing so, found themselves in the basement where they discovered a hidden cavern in the asteroid that the edge was built on. I will turn down the BGM then. And also turn on, like, move my mic a little bit closer to my face. There we go. Thank you, Darkborn. Some information given by Alexis about her brother was they were searching for a special type of mushroom that supposedly held the cure for an ailment known as Moon Touched. Heading into this dark cavern, they find not only the mushroom and the pests, but they also find Felix gnawing away at some of the mushrooms with completely cloudy eyes. And that is where we begin our session. The men they are stomping. <laughs> the men they are stomping. The stompy stomps. <laughs> it scared me. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> "All right." Horrifying. A man so, just falls through my ceiling. Uh, hey, so you guys, guys yes. Real quick. Oh, wait. oh, I smacked my desk. Ow! <laughs> A lot of things are happening this morning. So what are we? What are we doing, Castle? I don't know. What are you doing? You just came down this cave and you made me found. 
You made me roll a 13. You're just the mushrooms. You, you found this uh, Dwegar eating mushrooms by the giant skeleton of this creature that looks to be a Tarask. Question. As well as a giant rat over here that is about the size of a bear. Big rat. Wow. Big rat. Quick, quick, quick question. I'm going to also... Uh, I can't stealth. Can, do I see any broken plates near the... the, the road oh my god. It's a plate breaker. Do, do, do Roll I, a perception. <laughs> Everything's connected. Where's my perception? Oh, that's why I was using the wrong password. Is there any broken plates around? Thirteen. None that you see. Damn it! I, I always keep forgetting that we have a roll twenty. <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. I like I like to accept the punishment from the R RNG gods of roll twenty. It's it makes the great RNG for funny. RNG gods of roll twenty are racist against me. <laughs> Feel that. <laughs> Damn. Racist towards white people, yes. Damn. That... No, more specifically gingers. Guys, I'm, I'm Asian, I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, you were way better than I, I do on this damn roll 20, dude. No comment. I swear it's to God. Because I'm of Asian. the math algorithm. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. Now I'm in. All right. All right. I can't roll higher than a three on roll 20. Damn. I I I I use dice because I never get to use my dice. Anyways, but yeah, I I'm know, right? uh fuck this. <laughs> All right. Roll stealth as I will roll something else. I am also <laughs> stealthing. I cast I bless like... on everyone. I would uh, like ooh. Uh, so Oh my god, let me grab let me grab my level, At level 1. Hey, motherfuckers, so... listen here. <laughs> How many of the three creatures of my choice? So, all three of all three of you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna move back. I got a sixteen on myself. All right, everyone has bless. Add three. Add a D four to your roll. Poor. So that's gonna be five and then a plus seven. And then what's my D four? Okay. Yes. I got a twenty for stealth. You 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 see bit take out a purple yarn. And then just like sling it towards you guys, and it separates and wraps as a bracelet around your wrists. Oh my god, I love it! Thank you. It, it oh only yeah. it'll disintegrate soon. Just just keep 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 hold on it. It's... Um, my stealth is a twenty three. Okay. I guess I, I have to roll stealth too. If you, you want have to roll stealth. I I'm staying just... back here. I'll, I'll I'll roll it. I'm I'm, I'm okay. just a little rogue. I'm just a little rogue. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just a sneaky little clown. A sneaky oh. little jester over here. Oh, well, it, Kestel, do I have an advantage because I'm small? <laughs> and hide, you? hiding behind the tall robot man. Do I have an advantage from hiding? I am small size. You are small, but that doesn't affect <laughs> it to my knowledge. So, technically speaking, you, have, you would have advantage because he's behind cover. If he's well, fully hidden behind me, then that is technically full cover. But th I don't think it would be possible since to... the mushrooms have taken over mind. my mind. Maybe and now half I'm color, me but either way, yes, I rolled a ten. <laughs> they don't seem to notice you at first. What the so. are we doing? Do, do are we? Oh, I would uh, stage whisper. Do do we attack or what? The, what are we doing? What 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 mm, are we? I uh, it's Sophia, and just followed Sophia's Sophia's action. Yeah, Sophia's like immediately like crouched and like fucking going to a wall, and I'm going to be activating my uh scan site to scan the uh the dr uh what the fuck how you pronounce the name? Dwegar. Dr yeah, Dwegar. Dwegar. Oh, the men. <laughs> no, no, that's just the Dwegar eating. <laughs> Just eating, don't really worry about it. The ambience, which I'm sorry if that's super loud. I don't know how loud that know, is. It's fine. We need some like crunching in our ambiance. I'm just looking at the mushrooms. I'm, I'm just looking at Kestra, looking at DD Wiki right now. <laughs> All right. 
No sound coming through, just D and D wiki. D and D and more D. I'm just double checking something, making sure I have everything up and going correct. I guess blindness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I that yet. Fuck up. I'm, I'm only level one. I guess <laughs> these nuts. Daddies. <laughs> these nuts. Oh Throws God. nuts everywhere. So guys, Is stage Kiki whisper. Ever learned to good berries? That's her good berry. No, these I nuts. <laughs> I cast these nuts. Don't take my candy away from berry. me. What 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 are we doing? <laughs> Morphology, Felix, Braun, Dwegar, male. Scans indicate the target has weakened mental faculties. Unknown magical affliction. Presumed moon touched. So again, the men what, are really working. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so again, what are we doing? What what is the plan with this? Do we go around them? Then that Dwegar is chomping down on that mushroom really hard. What are you moaning? What are you moaning? What is it like you were moaning? Dunk, 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 dunk. <laughs> this is the real downside of me taking like the leadership role. Is I can't. Really? You can talk. We can just ignore the so... knocking. It's fine. Okay, okay. I'm so it's fucking killing me. You just you just ears you, so hot. You you feel a bit just like grab grab at Julie. What are we doing, Captain? Please don't call me that. You're technically the captain. <laughs> it's true, and it hurts me physically on every emotional level. Um... But right now we need a form of action. We don't know what they are. Or if they're hostile well, or not. For, first of all, that is Felix. And that's Felix? That's Felix. I check again. Is there any dishes on the floor? Nope. <laughs> Damn it! There are no, come on. There are no dishes. <laughs> Damn it. I want it all to be connected. That was my fit. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I have an inspiration. Let me put that on there. Well, clearly, oh, yeah, the rats are the themes. <laughs> also, oh, Marco, don't forget. Don't, don't forget. We have a, we have a one inspiration. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's no, they don't. I thought wasn't it Marco the one that we answered your your nope, homework? It was Jade. No. It was Jade. Yeah, My bad. It's only the people who answered. They got the inspiration. I still think I everything is connected. <laughs> everything I is connected. You That's... are also quite a ways away from them too. Like <gasps> even Jade place. is at least seventy feet away from the Dwega right now. Do do they look hostile? I I, I look. Oh. I take a look. Do uh, they look I'll... hostile from here? They seem distracted at the moment. Yeah, no. Uh, also, so is this a ledge? You, like... uh, no, it's just sort of like stepping down further into the cave. Okay. How yeah. dark is the cave? It's pretty dark. There are some shadows what here and say? there that it's, you it's aren't able to see light beyond. Or dark? Um, it's oh, decently yeah. dim, I would say. Yeah, but um, it's not like pitch black because of, but I will say if the uh, glowing mushrooms were not around, you would not be able to see anything, fair. unless you had dark vision. Yeah, their um, their but, eyes um, are glowing, right? No, um, cloudy. Because uh, from what from what I remember, from what I remember, if their eyes are white and glowing, they are moon touched. They might have a soft glow to them, but you wouldn't be able to tell without getting close. Mm. Uh, okay, okay. But, um... I feel no. like we should deal with that. I can't even see them. I was gonna say, Sophia did share information about how, like, he he is potentially moon-touched, that he has some sort of mental disease to him right now. Well, I can't feel that. I, I can't even that. see him, man. This is the furthest I can see. I... I'll, you know what? I'll just. I will say it's dim light. You can yeah. sort of, you can sort of see like around the mushroom areas, well enough, but otherwise the terrain is pretty. You're just assuming that, like, that. I'll say that where sort of the mushrooms are, I will say counts as bright light, but they only sort of on the tiles that they're on. Okay. 
Mm. I mean, they could be just dim light where the mushrooms are at, and then it's darkness everywhere else. Fair. That doesn't change the fact that in dim light, my vision is heavily impeded because <laughs> I don't have dark vision. Okay. I don't think Sophia has dark vision either. I have dark vision. Plasmoids have dark vision? Yeah, plasmoids have dark vision. Because they were cowards and didn't want to give them blind sight. <laughs> yeah, they went, yeah. <laughs> they compensated by giving them dark vision. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in the party who actually doesn't have dark vision. Uh, that is correct, actually. You are I checked blind. for Fifi and uh, yeah, Bit. Fifi's a T flying, T flying the dark vision, and Bit. You guys have been have standing superior. at this cave entrance for a while. Okie dokie, I'm walking down. I... You just see Bit just hop down each ledge. I'm gonna I'm gonna start walking not towards Bit's area, because I know that they all stealth. I'm gonna turn on my flashlight, because I can't see. <laughs> I'm right over here. All right. Now. I'm oh God. I have I have a cone. <laughs> of, I have a cone of what is it like, thirty thirty light. I cast flashlight. I cast Glock. <laughs> I mean, I can cast Glock if I want, but no, I, have a, I have a hooded lantern, which we, okay. we have flavored as a flashlight. Are you going down this way? Um, mm. Sophia. Well, which way? Are you going down like this way? Yeah, yeah I'm. 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 I'm circling. All right, then in that case, Muscle. I will do this. And I'm more is revealed. Oh, more is fucking revealed. Jesus Christ! It's the entire. There's actually two dead Tarasks in here. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, I there's don't a know side what path where the Tarask egg is at. Oh, <laughs> can we have a pet? Or is it a live Tarask? No, listen, it's gonna be a baby Tarasque. It's gonna hatch to start eating the mushrooms and become uh, Moonstruck. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. <laughs> I kind of like that Moonstruck. Imagine getting hit by a moon. <laughs> I mean, you can call it that if you want. True. No, no, you. It's mm. Moon Touch. That's what you named it. Yeah. We wouldn't take. I that mean, kind of. Festival. I kind of named it. Okay, but still. That's yep. what the name we're using. I like the quick save here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the quick save here. <laughs> we're, 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 we're gonna save scum this. Uh, mm. I'm kind of just letting these two just go at it and see what's gonna happen. So I'm just like holding, waiting to see what fucking happens. <laughs> You're letting Bit go in his own accord. I feel like the rat's gonna attack us. I don't know if Felix is gonna attack us. He might. <laughs> he might. I'm... Well, he's too busy eating mushrooms, right? Because we know that when they're moon touched, they uh, they I... eat the mushrooms until how until are you? Them. How are you progressing? Bit? I'm co I'm collecting them. I'm going zigzag. I'm like, eh, eh. You're collecting the mushrooms, and I'm also collecting mushrooms. <laughs> All right, can you roll me a charisma saving throw? Yay! <laughs> this is what I rolled oh. last time. Are you Please don't become moon touched as well. <laughs> DM, I have a question. 22! Mm. That first sure you answered last time. Is moon touched considered a disease or a curse? I don't have curse. Is, it, it, is it in categorized as a disease? I don't have restoration. It, I will say it is categorized as a disease. A uh, curse. I was about to say disease as a curse. Okay. I got 22. Okay. How many, I mean, how many do I collect like... from this Porsche, this small area over here? Make a survival check. Heck yeah. Or nature. Uh, which one's higher? Let's see. Nature. I think they're both wisdom. Survi oh, no. Survival's higher. Uh, we'll oh, just okay. survival. 25. Nature is intelligence. Um, I will say you collect... Twenty-five is uh, really good. I know, right? <laughs> Let me roll this many for a twenty-five. I can't remember. Did Felix write in his book how, like, any theories of how they were going to make a cure for Moon Touch from the mushrooms, or mm. it was just theorized that the I remember the you rolled really high on that investigation I got check. I rolled twenty on that <laughs> investigation. Okay. Check. So there was, there was a particular way um, that, that they had theorized, which was um, 
by actually distilling the magical element from it there mm. um for those of you who would be semi familiar with um because you rolled nat 20 i won't have you roll extra for it um you when it comes to alchemy there's different types there's basic alchemy which doesn't really involve a magical component and mm -hmm. so this would be um these wouldn't be like magical potions, but then there are the actual magic alchemists that use magical distilling and things of that nature. So I guess it's kind of like the difference between brewing and alchemy. It's the difference mm, between okay, alchemy okay. and chemistry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> essentially. You got and chemists so, and then you have the cool chemists. And so they thought by distilling the, um, the magical corrupting nature of it and then using kind of a because these are natural things right they're natural yeah. things and so by the theory was that if they distilled that corruption from the natural and then added their own corrupting agent they could sort of have two negatives that make a positive that was the theory mm. okay i pull fifi close and i whisper this in her ear <laughs> So if anything happens to our funny little kobold, how many did I collect? <laughs> uh, you roll ten. It. You got ten. I said. Oh, ten? Yeah. So I have eighteen now. Oh, cool! I can see the rat now. It's cool. Hooray for flashlights! Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm trusting Phoebe. <laughs> this one just being like, this is uh, if if he gets moon touch, we're gonna have to make him something. <laughs> hey guys, do you want me to shoot the Maybe. rat? What are we gonna have to make him? Um, pretty much. Um, what what Cass just told me was that if somebody uh, a theorized way to cure Moon Touch was by through alchemy and stuff like that. And since uh, Sophia is like, I've seen you do this kind of shit. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah, I can do that. Hey, okay. Captain, you want me to Stop shoot the rat? Call... No. Shoot the fucking rat! Uh, if we kill the rat, then we have to deal with it, and we're gonna have to make the other guy angry. And he controls rats, doesn't he? Oh, right. Oh, All right. Okay, 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 okay. Give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna stealth over to to <laughs> closer to you, not exactly up to you. <laughs> Just like <laughs> going over here. May I roll another perception to see broken plates? Stop. I will get this good my theory correct. I want to confirm. Listen, okay. listen, the rats are the thieves. Clearly, they're not gonna bring the plates back with them because they're smashing the plates there trying what to if, find the food and climb. What if so, I see broken shards? Can Torch each of you one. roll me um mm -hmm. oh, perception? What, what is it? What the heck is it called? I forget what it's called. Initiative, that's what it's called. Oh uh, uh, okay. We're being sneaky. 22. Wait, what are we rolling? Initiative. Initiative. Initiative? Okie dokie. I got a 10. You got a 10? 20. Okay. I got a 10. One for me. I also got a 10. No, what'd you get, Jay? 28. Oh, what the fuck? It's, it's got a better <laughs> dex than me, so. One day you're gonna little roll, and I'm gonna roll high, and it's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> Zell, what'd you roll? 22. Okay. And you both rolled tens, right? Yeah, but I yeah. have the higher decks, apparently. Mm -hmm. Really? I have a I have like a two, you have like a four. Oh damn. Yee. Oh. I'm very dexless. She lost some of her dexterity when she kinda got robot limbs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're stretchy, but like they don't do what they used to. They stretchy. So I can still put my leg behind my head. Yeah. I gained flexibility, but lost dexterity. And this, exactly. and this will only technically affect Bit at the Yay. moment. Okay. okay we close. let the cleric go all the way to the front. As none of y'all stopped me. Out of nowhere. <laughs> and without reason. Without reason. <laughs> um. From over here. Oh, because he beat his pass. It beat its passive perception. Even mine? 
Well, you didn't actually come you over went, this way, is the you thing. Went, you, oh, went yeah. towards, yeah. you went towards you went this, this way. Path. Oh, he beat us. Uh, you'd be able to see way. it now, but you guys just timed it poorly. <laughs> oh, no. Is that um, comes over and gets surprised on specifically Bit, not on you three. You three are not surprised. Hey, guys, I found more mushrooms. <laughs> We're not surprised. <laughs> rat comes scrolling up. Yep, that's what I expected. Um, this hey, guys, rat, I found this rat isn't as big as the one over here, but it is. Um, it's still about the size of a large dog. I We're found a Labrador. Yes. Um, think more. I would say Great Dane, maybe. Be pretty big. I'd say great day. Bet yeah. mountain dog? Damn. Damn. That'd be a little ridiculous. He taller? It's probably bigger than me. I oh, am yeah. four foot. It is, bro. <laughs> four foot. Yeah, four foot. Four foot squad! Four foot oh, yeah, squad. That'd be about the height of a great Dane on all fours. So when mm. the rat stands up, you know. It still counts as a small beast, though. Yeah. We're both small. Four, four foot's in the small foot, right? In the small yeah. foot range. Oh, you are. Do I give it advantage? I don't think so. No, no. Would, if it's a surprise attack. Yeah. Oh, if yeah, it is, it's then a, okay. It's yeah. Surprise attack, that, that is advantage. Hey, guys, I found surprise some more. Round, yeah. I found more it mushrooms. It rolled a two and a four. Yay. Oh, what the? God. Um, as it jumps over and tries to bite you. I slap it. But is unable to. I slap this. What are you doing? And These are my mushrooms. Go get your own. These are mine. <laughs> Who has zero foot, zero square on top of the... Zero huh? foot, zero square? Oh, there you go. But now that you guys are actually looking over this direction... Wee. You look oh, like I, I got you. More cave, more cave, more dun, cave. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I'll take care of you, but don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him, motherfucker. <laughs> Mrs. is like, hey guys, okay. it's, I get shot. Hey guys, I dropped my mushroom back. <laughs> um, it fails its attack on you, but then as a slap it bonus, it makes a like a, a like a loud it's chirping, sk rat. chirping, Ooh. skittering sound oh, as the Dwegar. <laughs> And this rat, like, look up and look over. But don't you still have speak animal? Your group. I look like I. I technically do have speak with animals still. Up. You do. Yeah. What does this? What is this oh. saying? What's he shouting? Um, <laughs> he's calling for backup. Even internally in its in its head, even though you do have speak with animals, it just sounds like it's screaming like. Oh, You're not sure if this is a like yeah. You're not sure if this is a cause of moon touched or what, but these things, even with your speak with animals, seem like mindless monsters. Oh, I also make the, the chittering sound and thaumaturgy, my eyes glowing. I am also moon touched. <laughs> Rat speak, rat speak, rat speak, hands, show hands. No one heard what I said. So that, that last one part. was <laughs> that one. Yes. So then, out from the shadows. Now that we're going in proper turn order. Yes. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Five. They're jazz walking rats. in. Jazz. These are jazz rats, guys. Jazz. Do you believe they have thirty feet? Yes. Guys, watch out! They're de they're doing jazz hands. It's they're chaos. Just out of shadow with jazz hands. <laughs> it's like Broadway musical style. One. No, they're, they're two, doing the, they're doing the, the jazz walk. No, they're doing the jets four, walk. Five, <laughs> they're just tapping. Six. Where the right. jets? They're like leaning over, just. Snapping. snapping. Yeah, that, that's what they're doing. <laughs> they're snapping with their tiny little rat fingers. They're just they're not saying, tiny if they're fucking rats. As big as pit. Rats. 
All right. And that means we are now at the top of the turn order, which means if I... Oh my god, it's... Don't it's, close it. Um, it's me and Fia. Sophia. Hi. This rat just went and tried to take a bite out of Bit. And then Bit slapped <laughs> its face, and then you saw how pissed yeah. I look. I hiss at it. Sophia just sighing. <laughs> so... <laughs> so fucking done. Oh. She's gonna... She just unholsters her pistol from her back and is gonna shoot the rat that's by, by Bit, which gives me a sneak attack, but I'm also from stealth so that's also just giving me advantage already mm -hmm. which thank god for that advantage yes and whoever uh, has that, less left uh, that's that's i'm gonna say that's cocked because i can't tell if it's a five or a 13. okay Ugh. so with that that's gonna be uh plus seven to hit so that's gonna be what is that number 43 that hit. Roll damage. Okay. Uh, so sneak attack, so I get 2d6 on this, and... Oh, it's at actually 3d6 since I'm using my pistol, so... Whee! Ugh, not a great roll. 6, 5, 11, 2... 11, 2, 13. 13 plus 5. 18 damage. It explodes. Um... You shoot it, and it very much was not expecting that. It um, stumbles back over to here and actually... I think it's a um, stack of opportunity. Yay! Well, here's the thing. You don't need a s attack of opportunity because it's dead. I slap <laughs> it. <laughs> you slap it in the face as it dies. I did it, guys. Look! My hand's so powerful. I, am mighty. I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> I will leave it here just in case. Oh, I think you can put it if you right click on it, you can put a symbol on it. Oh yeah, you're right. And hit that dot on the bottom of the next to the cogwheel. You can put an actual X on it to make it dead. <gasps> yeah, you can. Yo, put I the, forgot put about the, that. Put the red X for that. There we go. Okay. There you go. Dead. And then with my movement, I'm gonna move back there. And I'm going to use my bonus action to re-engage to stealth. <laughs> I'm fucking going stealth, baby boys. <laughs> Roll stealth. Alright, that is going to be... Let's see, that's... That's... I, I know. Know. Um, that's gonna be uh, a 21. Alright. That's my light radius, by the way. For huh? me using my lantern. Oh, okay, sick. Then in that case, if you leave that up real quick. I don't have to leave it up. It's tied to my character. Sophia's just attacking from the dark. <laughs> She's like, bye. <laughs> you're, in, you're in dim light at the moment. She's like, I'm staying out. Um, She's like, I'm not going to be mm. engaged in this. <laughs> Look at me opening up the map for everyone because I can't see, so I pulled out my light. Flashlight. Flashlight. Do we want him alive? He might attack us, guys. Do we bring him back alive? Well, we have to bring him back there alive. Go. That's the power. All right, you can get rid of it then. <laughs> All right. Make, as an no, above it's, it's team. Um, as an above then team. That means... Zell, it's your turn. Cool. Like uh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the bear rat. Bear yeah. rat. All right, Lights. go ahead. Uh, As above board thing, make sure to say you non-lethal. <laughs> if we're knocking them out, make sure we say non-lethal. Yeah, yeah, no. When you like say that, like, are we gonna like kill him? And you like look back at like Sophia, who's in, like Captain. in the corner. She's like, oh, her where'd she go? Like, oh. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. That would be. Uh, I don't think I see you. Fourteen. <laughs> Don't kill the guy we had to hits. get. Excellent. Knock him out. I can help Blade. I did six. Plus, I did ten points of damage. Let's go. All right. Oh. It's a max damage roll. Nice. Oh, nice. Um, it gets hit, and it looks over at you and is quite mad. And now I'm sure it is. 
Look, guys, I yeah. ate the bear rat. I was gonna help you take it out before Bit got seen by other rats. Yeah, but now now the rats know, so I gotta shoot the bear rat. Oh, the I didn't rats. realize I didn't have this in loop. Whoops. The rats. The rats. Yeah. Rats. Um, rats. Depending on how it goes, know. other rats. Uh, I might help you. I don't know. We will listen. So, we'll see if I can kill the rat faster than you can kill the rest of the rats. True. Why? It why did this get repeated so many times? What? Because there are a lot more rats. Fighting no, I'm like rats. looking at the rule set for. Oh, because it's. Oh, okay. That's weird. Um, okay, so. Th what can you do? Oh, these are actions. Okay, so dance. these aren't bonus actions of any kind. Okay. Be, it'd be reaction at the moment. No, it because if your turn's done, then that's what I'm checking. Um, I could throw my sword, but I'm choosing not to. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna lose so many weapons. <laughs> I can always say that I did the thing and it comes back. I. So, we we have, were looking we for you. We haven't talked about it. I love Felix. Um, this Felix, like, even though he is a actually bit roll me, roll me insight. Yay! I'm good at this. Twenty-two. The DC was seventeen. <laughs> nice. I am very insightful. Even even though um, you can probably assume he's not coming at you with kind intentions, there is no emotion on his face. Everything he's doing right now is pure instinct. Which means that his mind is definitely rattled by something as he uh, wow, much has been chugging. takes out um, a war pick and Swings it down on top of you. Okay, look. Actually, I'm not gonna use that dice. That dice was mean to me. Um, let's use. No, use the dice that's mean to you. Use it. <laughs> use the roll twenty Let me dice. Use this one since this is my dwarven dice. Ooh, natural twenty. Please, God, no. Please don't say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Does a nineteen hit? What? No, of course not. It does. It's. I have a sixteen armor. Okay, I see sixteen. Then in that Three case. Above. It's not enlarged, so... Yeah, I need to upgrade my tattoos at some point. Ooh. I have a 16 for my AC. That is... 8 piercing damage. Okay. Ah! My ghoulies. And ghoulies. I think that's the only thing I can do? Because... Yeah, if you have no bonus actions, then... Does he have extra attack? That's why I'm checking. I'm. It's more I need to check to see. Um. <laughs> Vince Gilligan. <laughs> That's an action. Yes. Movement action. Bonus action. If he has a dagger, he can use that as an offhand weapon for a bonus that's action. Only, that's he does that's not. only if he's wielding another. Yeah. The answer is no. Oh, he does not okay. have a bonus action, so that is his turn. Okay. Hey. And, there you yeah. go. and next on the turn order is actually this one that hit um is this huge rat that hit <gasps> uh that Zell hit. Bear rat. And Bear it's rat. and it's going to take the dash action. Hell yeah, brother. Get on up here, bro. So far away. <laughs> Which will put him exactly where it needs to be, which is right, my ass. right here. Yeah, let's go. And because it took the dash action, it is able to make a <gasps> charge. Um, yeah, it's able to make a. Listen, I played a um, mentor. I fucking know exactly. <laughs> it is a rat, not mentor. This is a modified rat. Like, the uh, smaller ones do have the actual 
stat block of a giant rat, but this one is modified because it's so much this is, larger. This is the dire rat. Yeah, the there's minotaur. giant, and then there's this. Di there's giant, then there's dire. It is baby. Mm. Yeah. It is good pet. Um, so it will make a bite attack on you. I will use my gray dice for this. Oh, no, it's a New York rat. <laughs> oh, it's a New York rat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking the air. Does a 21 hit? Oh, of course it does. I have an AC of 16. Well, I rolled a 16 on the die, so... <laughs> wow. Um, oh, my God. It's a plus five. <gasps> oh, yo, you're using the darkest dungeon fucking... Fuck, yeah. Let's go. Let's that. Um, let's use... Yeah, I finally checked back into Discord just to see. I was like, ooh. Ooh. Good music. Good no wonder this... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was like, no wonder this is sounding familiar. I fucking love Darkest Dungeon, even though it's... So that is... Game. All my friends died in that game. Um, six <laughs> piercing damage, and Zell, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. Listen, I don't care what my brother says. My brother's like... You said so charisma? Cute. Yep. That's a funny thing. Yeah. Isn't that a the funny 20. Thing? Dirty 20. Okay. Good to know. That was a Listen, slutty dude, 20. 20. Uh, yeah. So now that means 20. it is... Just double checking, make sure I got my turn order correct. Who is it, bit um, one? You're very lucky. Yay! Oh, I'll keep him there so we remember where to lose. No, he said. Yeah, yeah, but you put the X on him already. You just, what? Just mark it with an X or a skull. Yeah, you mark it with an X or a D. Just leave okay. It there. Makes, it, makes it easier for us to loot later on. Yeah. Then in that case, I'm. Okay. Then in that case, I'm gonna do this. But that's okay. Um, and then it is this one. Look, if we collect enough rat pelts, and these are pretty good sized rats, we could probably make some stuff with some rat pelts. I could make something with this. Yes, get closer. This one will move closer here. And, if I'm not mistaken, ha ha! Yes. All right. <laughs> ha -ha. This rat, this rat got pack tactics. Yeah, it does. Let's go. That's a badge on attacks. Let's go. And it is going to try and bite Bit. It's not. It's not going to be there for long. Silvery barbs disadvantage. That hits. Yes. Okay. Um, can you make me a charisma saving throw? That's a one d four. So we. The other one. I'm going to use my inspiration. Does that? How does inspiration work? You just roll again, or you just re-roll it? Yeah. Okay. 15. Okay. 15 is a lot better than a 6. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you get, take 4 piercing damage from the bite. Ow! So rude. A lot better, and hopefully you don't have movement in this. Oh no, my eyes, uh, they're glowing that's white. Assholes. And. Now it's this one, which is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Man, we really rolled low, <laughs> Bucko. I know. This is great. Um, and it's oh, gonna good, take another bite. This one's gonna take a bite at Zell with pack tactics. Ooh, that might not be enough. Does a fifteen? Hit? <gasps> I think it's a fifteen. No, no a, a fourteen. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Even right. lower. Then it misses, and it, it rolled a 4 and a 10. Let's um, go. Yeah. And it loses its turn, and now, finally, it is Jesus. Bit's turn. Yes. You're so low in this order. <laughs> but first, before well, anything, you, you just l look to see, like, Bit just look around for a second. She's like, okay, one. Okay, and he screams out into into the out into the air. He just roared. I'm not gonna give a roar. <laughs> roar! <laughs> ah! And I do draconic cry. Any enemy within ten feet of me that hears this, 
until my next turn, all my allies have advantage on attack rolls against any of the ones near me. <gasps> and Yo. as a main action, I cast... Oh, I double clicked on that. Word of Radiance. And I say, by the moon's light, fuck you! And both any creature within five feet of me must make a constitution saving throw, DC 15. Okay. So these two must make, make that. If they fail, they take 1d6 radiant damage. I have learned things! Fuck you! The, the Duegar fails. And so does the rat. And now I will uh, use a 1d6. Or both. Oh! They take 6 damage each. Oh, do I add? Do I add my uh, spell attack no, bonus? No, you don't no. add anything. Alright, no. 6 damage. 6 radiant damage each. A All bright right. moonlight just bursts out of their mouths and ears and Ugh. eye holes. Take just that! Blah. And... Whoa. I sit down. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Oh, I don't you, know what else. You're gonna sit down. Yes. You're gonna go prone. I go prone. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. I mean, it only make the dragon slightly more. If anything, just make the dragon slightly more. So efficient. if that's your turn, then that means Fifi, it's your go. Yeah. What's I see these two big do? ass rats in front of Zal, and I'm like, hmm. Think you need a little crispening. Um, I'm gonna I wanna aim for the the the, the dog sized rat, not the bear sized rat. <laughs> and I'm gonna use fireball. One or two. Okay. The dog size, not the not the bear. Roll. Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and A 19. Oh, I can uh -huh. the... What is that? A 19. That, that hits. Roll damage. Uh, sorry, my brain had to remember which dice is my d10. Yes. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Dial noise. Dead damage! It got crispy! Mm. How yeah. much damage? 10, Ten fire. Nice. Yeah, wait until you fucking level up, man, to level five and... Oh! Wow, they don't have a lot of health. No, they don't. They're rats! <laughs> they are it, rats. Uh, you hit this one and it, it... It hits, cries a little bit, and then falls to the ground. And rats! And, and she just smell. out there, she, and she, she does a thing with her finger where it's cut, where she just goes, she just like... Curls her arm and like extends it and points at it. Get crispy, bitch! Yes. All right. That's, that's my turn. <laughs> Just telling them to get crispy. Get crispy. Okay, then. In that case. Time to wait five years for the next one. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Rather than... Actually, it's dumb. It wouldn't do that. Um... It would be the big dumb. Yeah. That means it's going to take the dash action. More rats. More rats yeah. coming. More rats. rats. We are the rats. As you see coming from the darkness over here. Oh, another bear another... rat. Another bear another... rat. There's another bear rat that's charging out as after it used the dash action, but that's as far as it could move. Zell, watch out! There's another bear rat! Oh, I could use this word oh, for Oh, I see it! And now we... Bearable! Since that's all it can do, Ooh. Sophia, we are back up to you. Oh boy, okay. That kind of changed what I was about to do. Nonsense! Shoot the rat next to... Really next to bit. It. You have advantage. I mean, but, ha but it has so little health. <laughs> you don't know that. I mean, that means, that means your clothes are going to be more efficient. Well, the thing is, I'm about to do sneak attack. I kind of don't want to waste my sneak attack on an enemy that probably only has four I mean, left. 
it's not really a, it's not really a, a waste of sneak attack because it does happens every turn but you have I will on die <laughs> at some point nothing is a waste of an attack don't worry I'm just this I'm, the you advantage is for you guys <laughs> you guys literally have advantage on this until my turn you have an advantage on all of them because you beat all of their stealth like all their passive perceptions. Yeah, I'm literally stealth right now, so I'm like, it doesn't matter who I hit, I'm going to get sneak attack on them. <laughs> yeah. That's Double why I'm like, I'd rather hit somebody that just came into the battle with full HP. All right, it's go, the, for uh, go for it. Go for it. It's your turn. It's, 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 it's how you would do it. It's your character. You know? It's your character. All right. Oh, no, I will kill I will kill him. I'm not. Now, if you choose to make it a non lethal attack, you still get sneak attack on it. True. Do sneak attacks be non lethal? If you declare the attack is non lethal, yeah. Yeah, if you declare the attack is non lethal, then yes. The only time it doesn't count is if it's eyes. magic. <laughs> shoot an arrow between his eyes. Non lethal, guys, non lethal. Non lethal, non lethal. It's actually a suction cup. Once again, yeah, I'm, just, I'm you're not... just aiming at spots that are weak, but not. It's, an, it's an arrow with a boxing glove on it. <laughs> yes! 16, 16 uh, I got a 23. Okay. That hits. Um. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not bad, but I would like it to be a little bit better. So, 14, 14, 14. 19 damage. On which one? Uh, the big rat that just came into the fight. The, this Nin guy. 19. Okay, I just gotta 19. do some math on it. Um, pull out my calculator real quick. Okay. Yeah, you took a decent chunk of its health. That's what I wanted to do, and now I'm going to move over there. But every time you do bang, bang, shang, a lang, um, your self is blown because it's a yeah. pistol, yeah, it's loud. <laughs> exactly, that's why I also am going to move and re engage stealth. Okay, then roll stealth. <laughs> so they can't keep track of where the fuck I'm going, <laughs> and they are confused every time. <laughs> So that's going to be, uh, what was it? Uh, right there. It is. So 19. Okay. You are stealthed again. <laughs> I know. I know how to play around. <laughs> Zell, you are next. Cool. Uh, well, I'm going to walk right, right around like they're here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to shoot this, this rat as well. Okay. You do, um, I will say you will have disadvantage because you are currently threatened by this other one. It's weird. Okay. That would be a 15 to hit. Lucky enough, it does hit. And that would be nine points of damage. Nine points, got it. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action. I'm gonna stab this guy right next to me. Okay, roll to attack. I think God, I rolled a lot better on that one. Cause that's only a plus four, so that would be a dirty 20. Okay, that hits. And that's six points of piercing damage. Okay. So now it is the Dwegar's turn. I have to remember how this works. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, okay, good to know. Um, the Dwegar gets hit by this attack and growls like, ah, ah, and you see this Dwegar. How do I do this? How do I do this? In the silliest way possible. That's not how I'm trying. That's not what I mean. Uh, 
Um, man, I should have figured out how to do this beforehand. Yes. If only I knew. Uh, how do you increase the effect. size of a token? Uh, DB, if you're still oh, on chat, how. do you know how? Okay. Figure it out. There we go. As it, as it does this. Well, I guess uh, that advantage. Um, it will remember this it, moment. It grows one size bigger, looks down at Bit and just sort of... <sighs> Bit will remember that no one assisted. Bit will remember this moment. <laughs> Listen, but I got, I got but That's all it can do because it doesn't have a bonus action. Bit will remember this. Hey um, it's up to you whether you want to disengage or not, so... <laughs> that's and now, Bit, Bit will remember uh, it's this. this one's turn, this rat's turn, it will try and make a... Weirdly enough, it doesn't seem to care that this uh, one rat just died beside it. Um, That's as nice it me. will try to attack you, Zell, with that very much misses. But it has this, I believe. Yes. And so it's going to try that. I made him very unhappy by stabbing him. We said that a 15 does not hit, right? A 15 does not hit. Okay. So it first tries to bite at you, which you've managed to dodge out of the way. But then after biting, it tries to like swipe with one of its claws. Um, but you avoid that as well. And that's its turn. And if I'm following the turn order correct. Um, it's now this one's turn, and it's going to try and attack Bit. Try and bite him. Yeah. What is up with my dice? Yes. Um, that very much yes. doesn't hit. Yeah. So that's its turn. Oh my 16 goodness. AC. 16 e AC. And now I need a check for this. Oh, you know what? I'm not even fucking adding what? to my attack rolls. I, I, I rolled a 4, a 3, and another 4. So I am upset. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So now we're back to bit. <laughs> Remember, you can disengage. Seeing no one assisted, I will. Oh, stop crying! <laughs> this is what Bit would do. Seeing this no is... one assisted, Bit will cry me a river. I walk away. Are no you disengage. disengage. I'm, I'm taking the attack. Oh. I walk away. Okay. Well, then in that case, um, the Dwegar gets attack of opportunity, which. That very much hits. Oh boy, this is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> that is seven piercing as it hits you with its war pick. And that was less than the his first attack. <laughs> I rolled real. I'm rolling really bad. Okay. <laughs> That's just the benefit of us, the players. Um, that dice isn't going to be used anymore. Um, <laughs> as Is the it going rat, to dice jail? The rat completely misses. <laughs> that one dice rolled a four, a three, a four, and then a two. Oof. So it is not going to be used anymore this session. <laughs> Is Bit going to move further away? Because uh, you do have uh, the rest of your movement. So. I know. Give me a second. I'll figure something out. I was just asking. You can go. Look at him go. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Use my last spell to cast Fairy Fire. Oh! 
Ew. Ew. Uh, 20 foot radius square? Is it cube? 20 foot cube within. It's a cube. It's yep. a cube. I got the ruler for that square. That. So everyone within this 20 foot cube gets hit. Wait, we get a saving throw? You need to roll, yeah, a DC 15. You can also move the cube as well. It doesn't have to be centered on you. Within range, yeah, that's true. Uh. Yeah, it touches the other guy. I'll, I'll get this much. All right. Um, then in that case, I will just quickly do this. What's the saving throw for it? Uh, fifteen. No, what's the what's it going against? Dex uh, Dex. Dex save. Oh, that's good for me then. Does it go with allies? Okay, no, you can any you can I let go of that out. now. What? You can let go I of failed. that now. Yep. Yeah. All right. So. So oh, no. any person within there is highlighted with a bright pink light so, so for this one big boy over here. big boy this this rat over here this rat and i it's up to you but like he does reach the edge of it oh he's in it that definitely counts um let's yeah, use it. Let's use this to mark if you fail or not. What, which one are we doing? The, the heart? heart? The heart, yeah. I was using uh, and it affects anyone invisible as well near them. Okay. Mm. Tasty. Hmm. Would That's you roll interesting. Hmm? Do I have to roll? Yeah, you gotta roll too. All right. Uh, it's everything inside there. Okay. The deck saving throw? Yeah. Yep. 21. Oh, you saved. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, and that is, and I rolled for all four of these guys as well, so. This is the group of people who got hit by it. <laughs> And that um, is my turn. So now it's Fifi's turn. Ooh. Ooh, go Fifi. I thought you just said co Fifi and I'm like, I'm coffee now, let's go. <laughs> I'm coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got we got rats and bit and Zell. And the dude. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do, do, do. Yeah, so like, you seem pretty capable. Um, I'm gonna cast Firebolt, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this rat. Okay, roll to attack with advantage. Rat. Oh, one, my dice rolled under the keyboard. Also, in the second question, what's your minimum damage you do all with Firebolt? A one. One. Okay, never mind. 18, 19, 20, 21. 22! That hits. Roll damage. Six. Six? Six. Yep, done. <laughs> Sorry, you can help sooner, bit. Oh, good. Don't worry about it. There's now a, a, a very on fire crispy rat near you. Yes. Starting to smell like, like fried chicken in here. Yes. It's a good thing I can smell. Is that all you are doing? Uh. Give me two secs. I'm gonna see if there is anything I can do with like a bonus action if I have anything. I don't think I do, except for you know, 
jazz very hands. minuscule things. Yeah, I, I sit there and I ro robo stretchy arm jazz hands. <laughs> All right then. In that case, this one's gonna move up here and try to attack you with advantage. Zell. And it has advantage on you. I have not rolled above a 10 in the last eight dice rolls. You gotta cleanse your dice, dude. <laughs> I... There's a bad. There's them. bad. Yeah, them. There's bad. <laughs> so in that case, it's gonna use its multi-attack and try and hit again. <gasps> Did it fail again, Castro? Am I, like, absorbing, like, everything? He left. <laughs> God, Kestrel. That was a four and a six. <gasps> so I that rat doesn't hit anything, season. so now it's Sophia's turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I'm in the dark. If you, <laughs> if you guys get through this entire encounter <laughs> with... A specific thing not happening. I'm going to go feral. Yay, <laughs> we did it. We're not gonna get. We're not gonna get infected, guys. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit big guy. Yeah, I. I. The moment he turned big, Sophia's attention went. Okay, that's problem. <laughs> it's not lethal. Don't kill it's... him. Oh yeah, I'm. Not... Of course, it's gonna be non-lethal. <laughs> I know you well enough, I just wanted to remind I, you. I th you know what I think is happening? Um, Cass, I think I'm sucking the luck out of you because that's nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> so this is non-lethal. I'm, yeah. I'm making that very clear. Non-lethal. Yeah, you're right. Go ahead. That's 6d6. Oh, God. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Come on, hey. tell us what it was. Uh, uh, give me a second, because I have to double all of this. <laughs> um, oh my god, what happened to my calculator? I need that, I'm so Why stupid. are you doubling 66? No, I'm not doubling 66. Okay. Some people, some people roll 66 when they get, like, criticals. I don't do that. Oh, uh, so you roll it? your normal damage and double it? Yeah, because I'm more likely to get it. a lower damage roll if I... Do 66, so I'm not doing that. I'll allow it. Trust me, I've done it before, and my rolls always come out so bad. And then I'm like, let me do a regular roll and see what it would have been if I just had simply doubled the damage, and it would have been, it's always like a lot better. <laughs> well, I'm glad we have such a nice DM, Kestrel, over here. I'll allow it. I I'm so defeated. This is meant to be a <laughs> semi-hard encounter. Okay. I'm sorry. You Kestrel. have a cleric, an artificer, and two rogues. Both yeah. doing crit stealth damage. You also have me who can't roll above a 10 at any given time. I mean for some the reason. RNG gods of roll 20 could help you with that. Um okay. So that is 33 damage. 33? Yeah 33. Okay. <laughs> he gets hit, and he like where did you aim on him on his large form? Like a like a uh like the outside of like the thigh, you know, just like pew, like trying to like cripple him. Hits him in the <laughs> okay, so, going for the going for the leg on Grazer. So, so he you, you like, hit him, and you actually hit side. like right on like perfectly where you wanted to. And you must have hit something because he falls to one knee he, and struggles to get back up as he looks directly also, at you. Is his enlarge a spell or is it just like a feat that he can do? It's a class, it was a racial ability. Oh, it's, it's the racial, racial ability. Yep. Okay, so he doesn't lose it. Damn it. I was like, does he lose it? <laughs> Damn, you hate to see the racial abilities. <laughs> You love to see them. I love seeing when guys can do crazy things. Right, yeah. all right. 
Especially when you can do crazy things that have been used spell slots because it's a racial feat. Yeah. Look at you with your, uh, your, uh, fucking flames. <laughs> I'm actually just now curious. I'm like, is that an actual, like, thing of the Dwaygars? I didn't yes. know that. Yes. Like, really good yeah, they have a march. You've never seen, I you never played Borders Gate? They did the Dwaygars underground do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, it, it really depends. It really depends because um, even some Dwaygars can enlarge and some have enlarge and invisibility. Oh, yeah, they have, oh, yeah they he has invisibility those. too. It's just yeah. he didn't use it. It's, it's oh. not that they some do and some don't. They all have invisibility and enlarge. Yeah. I, I see, on my playthrough in, in Boulder's Gate, they never did it to me, but they some did turn invisible, but none of them enlarged, which is really weird. The one by the boat usually goes invisible first, and then when he gets within melee, he'll enlarge and beat your face. Uh, in. Sophia, mm. are you doing anything else? Uh, I shot him. Uh,. Uh, 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 sorry, my brain stopped working. I'll Ooh. make your brain stop working. Died. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I, my, you know, one trick pony shit. I'm gonna fucking move and I'm gonna fucking engage back into my stealth because I don't want to get hit by that guy. All right, stealth with disadvantage. I don't know why I'm doing disadvantage. Because he's actively looking at you as you're running. Oh, okay. And he also uh, has dark vision, so. Oh, uh, you are still... also only in dim light, not in darkness, so. Mm -hmm. Correct. Dirty 20 still. <laughs> okay. You took me from an 18, though. <laughs> a natural 18 to a 13. <laughs> then in that case, Zell, 18. it's your turn. Cool. Uh, well, I'm a bonus action disengage. And move here, and I'm going to shoot this guy from non-lethal. Okay. Roll to attack. Enlarge doesn't increase AC, correct? No. No. It gives him an extra D4 to his attacks, though. It actually yeah. lowers his AC. It actually doubles his attack die. Doubles his attack die? I thought it was just simply add it's a D4 just, to yeah, it's it. Just D4. Nope. He's got, he's got, I know he's it got says a right cannon. here. Yeah, for one minute, does Wagar magically increase their size as long as Without anything oh, it's carrying, yeah. uh, it's specifically moon touch Dwegar. It makes strength checks and strength saving throws at advantage. If the Dwegar it, it is room, just regular Dwegar too. Just, oh, okay. So it just said it makes strength checks and saving throws with advantage. I, I doubt I hit him. I rolled an eleven. Uh, um, that is correct. That does not hit. Well, that's my turn. So in that case, it's now. This is now the Dwegar's turn as he comes down this way, stepping over the, uh, the he actually seems to ignore you bit as attack he of provokes an attack of opportunity. And also, Sophia, you did roll stealth, but also he's just going to the last scene location. I'm going to use my crescent moons. Uh... Ah, uh, 10 doesn't hit. 10 does not hit. Wait, why is it a uh, plus... Oh, that's plus 4 to attack. Never mind. Yeah, no, 10 does not hit. So you rolled a 6. Oh my yeah. goodness. Um, So he's going to come here, and he's going to roll Perception. Can't believe a 13 beat him out. As a bonus action. Oh, he has dark vision to 120 feet. Yikes. Superior dark vision. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it still doesn't matter. It's like I'm in stealth. I'm actively hiding, so he's got to actively search for me. Not necessarily. If his passive is higher than your stealth, he still finds you. Um, I mean, he, You did beat his passive perception. Um, And what'd you roll in stealth again? It's 20. So I would have had to roll a nat 20, okay. Um. Rogues! <laughs> well, <laughs> not able to see you. So he comes back and goes to attack Bit. <laughs> okay. But, but Bit did get his attack of opportunity, though. Yeah, right, yeah that's true. Oh. Missed. oh, you missed? Oh. I got 10. I'm not, I don't do melee. I have the training for it, but I can't do melee. True. 
Yeah. I'm a you medic. Go forecaster. I'm literally you a go medic. <laughs> that, yeah, that doesn't really happen to me. I'll do something. That's why you don't see me in melee often. And he misses. Hey. I don't know what's going on with my rolls. I'm just, I feel so defeated. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it me, me, uh, that was a nat too. You. It happened. Oh, so you defeat. Listen, I was so scared when he, when he came towards me. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. Watch. Oh, rat. Yeah, this rat's gonna <gasps> try and attack Fifi. But, but he was attacking Zell early. <laughs> That's, fuck you rat. Yeah, well... You're a bitch! Are you mad? It I doesn't matter, because I'm friend? gonna roll a seven! A. Hey. Hey, uh, seven it plus... Misses. Seven plus five, that is a thirteen. That misses. <sighs> Barely! Uh, yeah. Or twelve, act technically. And then he's gonna multi-attack, and finally, does a nine hit. A straight nine? Oh, sorry. Um, does 19 hit? Oh, yes. Yes, that does. My bad. Uh, I was like, a straight 9? No! I don't think that would hit anyone! I was about to say, he was very excited wizard. for a 9. <laughs> Alright, so that's... You take 5 piercing damage as Fifi, I need you to make a charisma save. Oh, my charisma's not terrible. Yeah, just realize how many charisma saves I've had to make you do, because every time you get hit by one of the rats, specifically, you guys have to make a charisma save. I've only had to make you roll three charisma saves this entire encounter because of that. I mean... Oh, man, if I have to make a charisma save, I'm fucked. <laughs> you gotta aim at the people with the lower charisma... You have access to our sheets, Castwall. You gotta aim at the lower charisma saves. Sadly, ones. I am always... These hidden. guys don't have strategic mindset. They're... But you do. You do. Hey, hey, hey Castro. What? I got 21. Okay. <laughs> no, that's, yeah. that, that's fine. That's fine. He just wants us to make <gasps> more rolls. Oh, um. I, I, have, I have a quick question, because I believe Hellish Rebuke is a, a reaction. It is. Yeah, but you have to hit. hit. I, I was. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. I was just hit. <laughs> Okay, Sorry, yeah, my brain was like, you didn't get hit. It was that it was the first they were throwing. <laughs> Hellish <laughs> Rebuke does not require an attack, correct? Doesn't it? What do you mean require an attack? Um, it requires for anything. An no, no, it's a dexterity save throw. Okay. Yeah, you want me to roll dex save? save? Yes. Yeah. All right. And then it's half damage if you succeed and Which, full damage if you fail. I have to remember, I have a d4. My stealth actually would have been higher than that fucking... Wait, you used once? Tw I'm one. guessing an 11 does not save. No. Bless only for okay. One. Then one roll deep. damage. Yeah. 16 bless. fire. No. Uh, oh bless my. Is... Okay. Whenever I target well, every time you do an attack. Yeah, I just kind of finger gun it. It's like crispy. Wait, is it, a it was a. It would have dropped. It's I quite fairy, mad at you. Fire. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Bless, never mind. bless has been dropped because of the fairy fire. You don't smell as delicious as the other rats right, right. did. Okay. Come on. You smell like burning human hair please, mixed with a little fecal please, matter. Please, I am begging. I am <laughs> begging. No. No. Please we're, we're here let to deny this you. No. work. Please no, no. let no. this work. No. Don't I, say I, no. I hex you. <laughs> I hex you. <laughs> I cast bad omens on you, and I pull my tarot cards to do that. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Silvery barbs your ass. I don't want to play anymore. You're the DM. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> shit happens. All right. <laughs> Bit is your. <sighs> what, what, your are you, what are you saying like that? He wants to kill us so bad. He, really he does. wants us to. He wants us well, to, to do my cool things, but I can't do them if I keep rolling out below a ten. I, I literally, if I roll a Kestrel, someone me, needs to keep a use... tally Kestrel. of how much I'm rolling under a ten. Ke Kestrel, trust me, it is me. absurd. Just, just use roll twenty. Just use the roll twenty dice and just. But then you'll see. No, no, I'm you could doing... put it to. You could put it to to just DM. You could put it as private. You can do private rolls. Trust me on this. You'll hit more. Also, if you're doing just like attack rolls, then what? What does it matter? 
Unless you're fudging them. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm exactly. genuinely not. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, if he was fudging rules, we would have made more <laughs> charisma saving throws. Yeah, he would have. Yeah, we'd be lying. Sophia um, would be dead. Bit, it All is right. your turn. Uh, I yell out fuck you and cast Word of Radiance. Uh, any Anyone within five feet, which is this big boy. You also have to remember, magic spells cannot be made non-lethal. It's a d6. It's not going to kill him. He, 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 you know. know. He, he's taking some damage. You have to remember, not only did you already did six damage on him, I just did 33. Yeah, so yeah, and, did and I did six damage. I did uh, well, well, like five damage to him, too. You're not adding anything to this, correct? No, I don't add anything to it. So it's, it would just be 1d6 if he fails. Yeah, yeah. if he fails. So... I will let you know if you do uh, this he will not die. Uh he will okay. not he will not die. So okay. if, roll roll a constitution. If not if he fails he gets either takes two damage or five. Okay. Um No, he'll either just take damage or he won't, because he can't charge like that. Yeah, yeah okay. can't charge it's, it's always like Alright, there you go. Yeah. And he does not do that because that only affects that, so that's a fail. <clears throat> so he does a burst of moonlight back. comes out of. Why his do I even buy dice? I because they're pretty and they go pretty. click clack. They're pretty. They're yeah. pretty. They're pretty. Yeah, but they don't clack. work. That... No nonsense. The thing is, like, you buy more dice so that you can punish the bad dice. All right. I, I well... don't know what you mean by they don't work. My dice are working fine, Castro. Do you bless him under a full moon, Castro? Like, there's a solar eclipse about to happen. <laughs> I live in Canada. There's a solar eclipse I mean, about to happen. Partial eclipse. Yeah, it I doesn't have... pass over my area. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not. It's not even better. passing over over my area either. Yeah, it's not passing over. I'm I'm sad about okay. that too. I want chaotic <laughs> dice. I want chaos I in those that, my dice. We gotta buy. We gotta buy. Near you, All right. Get the, Bit, the baby. Yes, get the baby dice. No, we gotta give him that uh, get, DM set that has right, the cursed Fifi, dice. It's your go. We need to give Kesha the, the, what's it called? The baby dice. That that baby, di the baby. dice with the baby in it. The fetus dice. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. We need to get Kestrel that. Then he'll roll so many killer rolls. <laughs> okay. Yippee. Yippee. So, hold on. I have to, I have to check something real quick. Would it make you feel uh, better, Cast, if I use my fuck dice? So it would make me feel better if my dice just were working. I don't care if you guys roll well. I just want to be able to roll something. Like, something there's a difference between sense. rolling well, rolling badly, and just rolling neutral. What? I feel what? like what? I'm watch, rolling Kestrel. badly. Castro, catch a watch. Roll, just roll a random d20 right now. No, nothing. Let's see what happens. On on the roll 20. On roll 20. Let's see what happens compared to your, your dice. Just, just, just roll. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> maybe, 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 you maybe you are. Sir, <laughs> just roller. Sir, I think you need to go stand under the moonlight. <laughs> Fifi, it's your turn. What are you doing? Oh, no. Um, I, I was, I've been trying to ask a question. Um, sorry. With uh, <clears throat> with like it's one, fine. like with ranged spell attacks. Yep. Um. Do, uh, do they work the same way as uh, normal ranged attacks, where if you're if it's like in a melee distance, you get disadvantage, or does it just? Yes. Yes. I think so. It yes. is in fact disadvantage at melee. Yeah. 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 You fuck wit. <laughs> do I have? Oh no. Do I have anything that isn't ranged? I thought you had uh, burning hands. I, 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 yeah, I do. I, I, I was like, okay. can I, where is Cantrips it? are fun. I will, I will let you know, it does not fully matter <laughs> what you do. You could sneeze on this thing. <laughs> we we oh. have been, it has been shot and stabbed. Wait. And burned. Burning hands. Excessively. I, I think I'm not going to use a spell did. slot. Um, I am, I was, uh, I think, I think if you use burning hands, I think you can also. If you hit it with, like, Oh, I can't can pull I, up a clone. Can I stab it with my dagger? Yeah, you can. You can. Sure. If, it, if you don't, if you do burning hands, yeah, it will hit the guy in the no, back no, too. No, because uh, burning hands is a 15. Oh, 15. Not yeah. Oh, 15. It, it, it's up yeah. to there. Yeah. 
But basically, if you do cast, uh, if you do, or if you do use your dagger, then there, and egg you hit, there is a 0% chance that this thing's not going down. <laughs> and, uh, an 18. With my dagger. Oddly enough, oh, yep. And misses. minimum damage on your dagger? It's gonna be a 3. Minimum damage is a 3 on my dagger. It's down. <laughs> Oddly enough, that dagger missed Sophia somehow. Is, I don't know. Sophia hiding, seeing her girl fucking just... Uh, literally. You, just you, you see her burn and then... Picture... Yeah. Well, so she just and Zod just have a little like tear in her eye. Is her proud? Proud. Mm. All right. Proud. Yeah, horny. <laughs> um, I I do have another question. Uh, if if anyone enters this box, do they get affected, or is this just um, a kind of no? The boxes are no. just glowing, and and the people who failed are glowing as well. Yeah, yeah. Th- yeah there's no additional rolls anyone has to make. All right. Yeah. Fair. Uh, one, two. Three. Oh wow, she's she's going up. She's like, let's go. Wow. She got a taste for blood and daggers. Now she's she, going she to did. She's going stab mode. <laughs> All right, so now this one gets to go. Can we play some ICP in here? <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke, you. <laughs> Beefy is embracing her does inner a, gremlin. Does a fifteen hit? Me. Yes. Yes. She's like reveling in the blood now. She's like, yeah. I yeah. rolled a ten on roll twenty. <laughs> it hit though. Can you roll me a charisma save? Yes. I got a nat twenty. <laughs> That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm just happy I managed to hit something. How much damage do I take? You take... Because I'm assuming it attacked me, but you had me roll the charisma sick for Ugh. telling me any of the damage. Oh yeah, if it hits, you roll the charisma. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Um, You take... 10 piercing damage as it tries... as it uses its multi-attack... Oh. oh yeah, I forgot this rat like goes the last. <laughs> he is at yeah. the bottom. That that also hits. Roll me another charisma save. Oh, that's interesting. I don't actually think I've managed to have one of these guys hit with a claws. With the claws before, yeah. Seventeen. Okay. Um, and then you take another 10 slashing damage because it hits with the claws. Oh, oh why was the last one a five? For your, for what? The last rat that smacked me, the bear oh. rat that smacked rolled me. Lower. It rolled horribly. Um, I am, I am, hold on, Her- I've got to. So this is why the, this is why you you don't run forward. But she wanted to stab. She was having a good time. I am I am I am out. Listen, yeah, you, <gasps> you fuck around, you find out. You fuck around, you find out. Yeah, that is true. Like like she she's sparking up a storm. She's even got like like some blood coming from like her face now. Like she she ouchy. She very oh, ouchy. She ouchy. Where are you listing your hit points? Fifi? Um, I have, so I was going to talk to you about this afterwards because I think it'd be helpful, but it, and when you click on the little tokens, there's three little bubbles, a red, green, and blue one. Yeah. I have mine, um, in the, in the green bubble. So that way you just have to click on it and then you can just hit plus or minus and however much and it automatically you can take it off. Okay. But you can actually set that up as a DM. You can go into the settings and set whatever color you want. Oh, to I know. Represent. I was just wondering where you listed it. But oh, I yeah. See now. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. So that's the huge rat's turn. Sophia, it's your go. Oh, yeah. Um... Beefy looks really hurt, by the way. <sighs> the girl, girl it's, just it's hard, went, for, her to went see, it's hard for her to see you. You're behind the giant Drugar in her line of sight. 
I'm sorry, but I'm And he's also not facing slots. towards you, so you basically get advantage on this regardless. I am out of spell yeah, slots. <laughs> the healer has no spell slots. Well, Zell goes next, though, so I'm not too Listen, worried. Listen, we have another healer in our party, though, and she does have spell slots because she hasn't used any. Yeah, <laughs> so as long as Zell helps her out. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's up, Dragar? What's up, bro? Um, what's uh, up, bro? Bruh. What's up? Bruh. What's up? <laughs> And then the advantage on this, okay, a 24 to hit. I'm not even gonna, are you attacking with your rapiers? Yeah, I'm attacking with my rapier. I'm not, I'm not even gonna. No. <laughs> are you declaring non-lethal as well? Uh, yeah, it's non-lethal. All right. Um, yeah, he's, he's done. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I will, will mark him like this. Just turn him upside down. True. Oh yeah. Also, is he is he small now, or he just stays big? Um, he, he actually does get small. Get small. Yeah. Get small, bro. <laughs> yeah, but all you guys would have seen is uh, a quick flash of silver from behind, and his fucking like knee buckles, and then suddenly you just watch, uh, Sophia just like slurp up onto his back and hit him in the back of the head with her. The all right. Her now, here. Zell, it's your turn. I'm gonna shoot a rat. All right, shoot, a rat, shoot, shoot, shoot a rat. the rat. And you're technically not in melee with him because he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> and he's engaging with my with my ally, which means so you attack. get a fucking sneak attack. Yeah. And that is a twenty. What's the at my power six? That'd be twenty-one to hit. That hits. Roll. Woo! Woo! Two d six. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, uh, yeah, 12 cause... points of piercing damage. All right. And then I'm going to... Oh, okay, Is him. that your turn? Uh, I'm, I'm going to step right here, and and then I, I'll end my turn. Okay. Moment of truth. Is there more rats? <laughs> okay. Now, in that case, Bit and Fifi, what are you two doing now? Thank that God. you think all the rats are dead. I drop. Uh, I drop the. What's it called? I drop the fairy, fairy fire. fire. Fairy fire gone. Oh, cool! Thank God. You look good in pink. It was okay. <laughs> Not bad. Mm. I, I was I, I was very fragile in that state because he gave them advantage against me. Wait, he technically reached zero hit points or one hit point? It reached uh, zero. All right. He's zero, but he's he's unconscious. He's fair stable. to dying. Yeah. Just just, just out stable, of yeah. habit. He's stable. Yeah. Out of habit. Yeah, he's already stable. All right. Oh, okay. uh, let's see. Who has the bag of holding again? No, don't put him in there. He will die. No, not him. The rats. Bring it to the ship. We get good things out of this. So if you want to bring moon, yeah. As you know what, as the so captain, is that I'm bit doing that. what? Is that bit doing what he wants to do? I'm asking the party. What are we doing? Are can we put the rat in? Bag? I'm asking. Is that your action? Asking people, yes. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I cast guiding bolt on the dead rat to both of them. Just expend them. I don't know what else. Well, it doesn't matter because none of them succeeded. I feel like it throws mud. <laughs> oh well. It throws mud. Astro, are you okay? Do you need a break? Do you want to take a break? Breather? Well, well, it'll. No, I'm. I'm good. I'm good. It's just next time you'll be in for a fun surprise. If we're waiting for that, don't worry. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit happens. The roll of the dice. The I, I think the dice. Uh, if I need to, I'm gonna. Ex I'll probably use an action to like expend a spell slot and like cure wounds myself because I am very injured. Do you want to yeah. know the effects of moon touch? No, by the way? no, don't tell us. It'll be a surprise for later. I thought you told us. Yeah, I mean, you, 
Didn't you tell us already? It causes them to become animalistic and very aggressive. There to the is point. an actual. Yeah, there's an actual set of things that being moon touched does to a person. Ooh, I will find I mean, out later. No, another I'm like, time. If you're gonna bring it, if you're gonna bring it back, yeah. I mean, we'll, let's save it. We'll look do a medicine check for you. Don't have to tell us now. Huh? Well, like we will learn. That's how it works. Listen, I have a sword. I feel like we should, like, you know, skin and butch the rats, you know? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's go do it. Okay. I'm, <sighs> I'm gonna tie up Felix so Wait. he doesn't fucking go crazy when I... he wakes up. Uh, is there anything on him? I don't um, know. I'm not gonna search him because I'm you can gonna search. I'm gonna search him. Uh, uh, roll investigation. Got you, got you. You want me to do a survival for me skinning the rats? Right. Just going you can do over that. Uh, I, not like... wait. Ignore that. Well, the first one's twenty-two, but like, ignore that. Usually, we so choose much. the left one anyhow. If that was so, a mad twenty, then. Um, on him, you do find the following things. You find a war pick. Yep. Which is what he was using to attack you. Yeah. You find a javelin. Ooh. You also find um, just some general apothecary supplies, like a small bag for um, harvesting mushrooms, things of that I nature. Checked, I checked the bag. What's in the it bag? seems to be filled with those mushrooms like before. How many? Um, you see he was able to get a decent amount. Um let me actually roll this and this. 14. Yes, I will add that to bag. Okay. I, I know. And can you roll another Christmas saving throw? Yes. Sorry. At normal. I give myself guidance. Guidance does not work on saves. I know. Uh, Twelve. Does it work? Do I am I moon touched? Um. So you are Please currently God, at no. two failures. Yes. And it's about this time that when you, um, holding one of the mushrooms, you kind of feel like a small tingle in your head, being like, just. It, it, you don't know, you can't quite tell what it is, but I will let you um, make either a... Are you proficient in medicine? Yes. Most definitely am. Roll medicine, but don't use your wisdom. Use your constitution. Uh, how does that work? Basically, uh, roll a 1d20 and add your constitution and proficiency bonus. So I'm going to just roll constitution and then add 2 to it. Yep. 20. A nasty little dirty 20. You can tell that these mushrooms, the more you pick up, because you weren't able to tell it with your first failure. Yeah. But you can tell with the second one that these mushrooms are affecting your mind in some way. And not in a good way. Hey, based on that encounter you guys just had, you can kind of tell like, oh, him picking these mushrooms made him go moon touched. Is, and I'm starting to feel it now too. Is he wear? Is there gloves in his bag? Was there any gloves in his bag? He's wearing gloves. And it went. Because mm. it's not a can disease; I, can it's I, a curse. It's a curse. Okay. All right. I no, told her, this. Is, see, I this have why I didn't now touch anything. 18... I was like, no. <laughs> I don't convey this to the party. Eighteen plus. Just don't touch the things. We we know what happens. How many did you say it was? 14? 14. I now have 32 Witches? The mushrooms. Oh, yeah. You got 14 of them. Yeah, it, it will affect you too, Zell. <laughs> you have 32. 
it will affect you as well. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're a robot, <sighs> it's a curse, not a disease. All right, uh, okie dokies. Well, we need to take this man to a cleric. Not me, but we need to take it to him. I have hog tied him <laughs> yes. and picked him up. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let's see. I let's go look a little bit. This is oddly curious. Uh, what can I, I can I uh, roll to see what this is? This large uh, skeletal creature. Sure. I would say. What's a roll I would have you do? Oh, this is just great. This is just fantastic. Yes, let's just stay in the mushroom covered cave. I mean, if Captain, if you crazy. want, if you want us to go somewhere, let us know. You are, are the you leader. What are you trying to figure out? What is this? I, I, the creature, the creature. I personally, as a player, know what it is. Bit has never seen this before. Oh, roll me right. either. And also this roll weird me, magic ring afterwards. But. Roll me either a nature or a history. Uh, my nature is, is proficient, so I'll roll nature. And now I will actually twelve do this. A 12? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's alright. Um, I don't think just, I scanned them. You, you're not too sure what it is. You've heard of big beasts before, but, uh, Nothing like this thing. Mm. Clearly, it's just a triceratops. <laughs> it's got three horns. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually ever seen that either. Uh, it's it's something else. I I look at the weird runes on the floor. Okay. What is then? Make an arcana. Yes. Five. <laughs> I know nothing. You've seen rune circles before, but nothing like this. Mm. Anyone <sighs> want to look at this? This is oddly strange. Even though we're in Mushroom Cave, there is big structural skeleton here and weird runic Yeah, if symbols. anyone else wants to investigate, you can. Also, I revealed the yeah. entire map to you guys. I? Yeah. All right, fine. I'll look, but uh, I'll investigate. I mean, I mean, well, we don't, we don't have to. Circle. We don't have to if you don't want to. All right, whoever wants to investigate the circle, roll an arcana, and whoever wants to investigate the skeleton, roll a nature. Um, Can I do both? The sixteen yeah. for that arcana for my roll. Um, I'm gonna activate my scan site and look at the skeleton. All right. Um, you notice that there are multiple scan points on this, uh, on this skeleton. There's one here around the head. Oh, boy. There's one here around the torso area. Mm -hmm. And then there's one down here with the tail. All right. <laughs> Even though you can't see that far because dark vision works weird, um, you, yeah, the scan is still showing up. Also, yeah. for that sixteen, um, you do note that some. You're not super familiar with all the magic stuff, but you do note that some of the runic shapes are, um kind of scuffed but you're not sure if that's just because over time things happened or if it was intentionally like made incorrectly but like you can't quite tell what it is about it but there's something off with the runic circle there's a circle it's got words on it and some of it's scuffed guys yeah. um so you're scanning the head mouth yeah yeah head mouth mouth head the ball the maw. There we go. Instead yeah. of trying to think of the exact way I would word it, um, what you do get from the he skull scan is that um, first thing you get is general shape. This was a it's very apparent that this is a predator of some sort. Mm. Of course, kind of obvious just looking at it. Um, second thing 
um, the structure of the jaw and the actual the jaws and the teeth have been worn over time so this thing has been here a very long while mm. and next is bone structural scans indicate that it was that is currently quite frail mm. it's frail don't touch it <laughs> and, I, and i start moving along <laughs> not like frail as in like it'll break if something so much as taps it it's more like frail as in if there is a creature this big having bones this weak would probably make it crush under its own weight oh okay it was malnourished it was malnourished mm, um, right. 20 for nature and 24 for arcana um you know that this is very much a tarasque but you know that based <laughs> on its size it is quite small okay. like you haven't you've never seen one in real life and you've only sort of read up on it and based on your own knowledge it's supposed to be much much bigger than this um though that's just what you can tell a little at the moment and the arcana though you can tell that just sort of looking at the runes for some time, you can kind of tell that, like, wait a minute. If this was meant to be some sort of... You can tell that this is a summoning rune. They try to summon the Tarrasque? They like, tried to fails. summon something. So, they, it's a summoning rune, but you also notice, wait a minute. That symbol's backwards. That one's supposed to be over here, and this one just doesn't exist. Someone oh. fucked up this uh this 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 runic circle real bad. And yeah, she like it's... points out about this the ones being upside down and wrong ways and one it's not even one. That, so... that doesn't exist. So what? Uh, a a bunch of fucking <laughs> idiots tried to summon a Tarask? I mean, they didn't try. It's necessarily a Tarask, <laughs> but they tried to summon something. It could have been that Tarask and it backfired. I will s also say, um, Mako, the fact that this is a the corpse of a dead Tarask is statistically, like, theoretically impossible. Because you know the only way to kill a Tarask truly is with something absurdly powerful like a wish spell yes just uh i'm yeah i'm starting to get mildly concerned because and she points to the the, the skeleton Easily, with that extreme power that shouldn't be possible how old is this building on that we're underneath when was this in made um well, Guildhaven's only 10 years old. This is inside the asteroid, which <laughs> I don't know how long this has been here. Do I know anything about this yes, asteroid? Yes, you want to look up older editions of the Tarrasque? Um, Would I know anything about this? Like, like... I don't think anybody this, would know. And with a history, like, when was this town built on this asteroid? Like I said, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Only 10 years ago. Um, ten this years specific ago. part of the asteroid is more recent, but you don't know when exactly. This was in the basement behind the closets. That was... That closet is new, most likely. And that wall was open the entire time. None, none of the patrons or the workers here saw this? At all. Unless it was an inside job. Mm, this looks too old to be an inside job. Why would they keep this here? The mushrooms and rats, I understand, because the rats will find ways for sustenance. Maybe there's something about the bone structure that provides some kind of energy or power. I, but I or am how, just like over here scanning everything. <laughs> but how does that relate to the inn above it? How did no one notice this at all? This is a bit 
strange. Because that that pathway we came in from was only being blocked by a a closet. Someone had to had put that there. I have Maybe to check someone didn't want that. anyone else to find the mushrooms. Still, it's odd. If it is because the only person that we see that found the mushrooms, who told this man? And I walk over to 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 Hog the body. Died. <laughs> Who who told this man again like about this area? Uh, I believe in his journal there was no name given. It was just a some uh, he had a con like a, a contact or something. We yeah, made. he had he had information that there was two guys at this end who had the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. Two guys. Who are these two guys? Then we need. I there was I feel another like spell that. There was another spell that allowed one to truly kill a Tarask, but unfortunately, it I can't seem to kill. find it. Uh, it's just. But it, one <laughs> other thing that you do know is that when one Tarask does die through a wish spell, another one will, in at that exact moment, be instantly be born somewhere else within the multiverse so if this was truly a tarask then there's there's always at least there's always only one tarask in existence at a given time even if one does die i walk towards the tarask bones uh mm -hmm. you said they were fragile uh what was the correct word it, they're not fragile it's that malnourished. It's like malnourished like the bones are not healthy um, can I break one you off? You scanned the torso, correct? Yeah, I'm scanning the torso. Can I break the toe off after the scan? The scans indicate that the bone structure of the torso and even some of the back plating were seem to be structured incorrectly. Oh my god. I think I'm under... I don't think this was a naturally... Born Tarask, I think they were trying to make a Tarask. You think they're trying to golem a Tarask up? Yes. I, from my scans, it's saying that the structure of the bones are incorrect. I break one like of the toes. Some... Oh, there you go. Yeah, well, we're gonna, I'm not going to stop we're, you. We're going to break this. Or at them. We're going to look on the inside. Um, roll strength. Mm. Okay. I'm going to the butt now. <laughs> oh, fine. You're going to the ass. I'm trying to hack at it. Basically. Yeah, you're not having a good time uh, with that. <laughs> how did they put this thing together um, then? You know, Fifi, we could just burn this whole cave. Scanning no, the tail. That, that probably um, was something bad. You thought initially that this tail was going ah! into the ground, like that's where mm -hmm. the tip was. No, that's just where the tail ends. Oh, wow. Yeah, they really fucked up. <laughs> they, couldn't make a they couldn't do a circle right. They couldn't make a Tarask body right. But how long ago did they do this? The mushrooms are they growing can, around um... it. Make a medicine for me a bit. We'll yeah, it. I was gonna say, I'm like, you can actually, like, this doesn't figure make that sense. out. Nine. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't, I can't figure it out. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm trying to, yeah, like... Are you, you want to help me? Yeah, sure. But, like, this is weird. You're, you're he comes over stuff. to bed. Is there anything I should be specifically looking for? Like... I will say it would be easier if you did manage to break into one of the bones, but... We would have to break Who's the bones to see, to see it truly. Or at least see the marrow. Gotcha. She like fear? cracks her knuckles. Her her fake ass knuckles. Break, and she like tries... She tries to... What? Break the let's let's break the weakest point of the bone first. It, uh, and the, the, the femur. The femur. The femur. Yeah. The femur is the strongest <laughs> bone. Yeah, the femur. Not the back part of it. Well, what? The back, the back part? part of it. Nope. Actually, yeah. leg no. bones are actually surprisingly easy to break. That's why, they, the, that's why your foot. That's why feet are arched the way they are. Just to help. So the, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and assume you mean one of the lower leg bones. Like this one. Because the femur is the strongest bone in the body. And that's like your thigh Regardless, bone. Regardless, you're going to be rolling strength. I know. I know. 
really have anything that can assist. Just the Fia just in the back, just being like. Also, can someone? Just, we should. We should keep, we, did anyone check? Like, keep an eye on the the body. We we we, we did leave I it over there. I know, but like. Yeah, he's still, he's still unconscious. I know, but uh, like we need to keep an eye just in case. How's a seventeen? Um, how are you doing this? Right. Um. Uh, finding the the weakest part and trying to uh, hell, I guess. Are you trying to snap, karate chop, punch it? What are you doing? Oh, um, just jump on it. <laughs> I am not heavy enough to break a bone by jumping on it. I don't think. Listen, what? snap it. Um, Use your stretchy arms to grab two hands. Because you, you beat the it. DC, you just have to tell me how oh. you're doing it. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, she, like, boa constricts it with her arms until it, like, snaps. Ooh, I like that. Um, man, you should have said that was, that was that, I actually really like that. I would have given you advantage. Um, but you beat it anyway. So, you managed to snap it, and it snaps decently. Like, it's, it's hard to snap it. This is still, like... A giant beast of some yeah. sort. I take some but of the bone dust. This thing is to, much big. I try to you manage to break it, and it, it's a pretty clean break. And you open it, and yeah, you see the marrow. You see all that stuff inside. And, oh, and anything out of the ordinary. Anything. Roll medicine with advantage now. I'm also I mean, taking any of the, the bone dust. <laughs> Whatever bone, bone dust, dust that came out of it, I'm also taking a, a, a small pack of that. Uh, medicine a check with advantage. 12. Jesus. It's because I've been rolling yeah, so well early. That's why. Yeah, now They're you're all... taking my rolls. Yeah. My rolls are only good in RP for some reason. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Do you want me to look for something, bit? I, I, I can try. So... Are you medically inclined? I mean, have you? Uh, do you have medicine in your background? I will say you can't quite tell the state medically, but you can with a twelve. I will give you the age. Okay. Um, this is extremely old, like older than you are a bit by a few centuries. If this is a few centuries younger than I am, that's weird. Older than you are. Older than I am. That is weird. It's only a few centuries. I mean, if it's that old, it's weird that there's still marrow in the bone. That is yeah. also true. What do I get from I mean, the ass? And by the way, is, you should close unless that it marrow. died recently. Because so, we know how old it is. Wait, wait, not wait. When it died. Wait, wait, true. From the from the tail, because I did say it was uh, mm -hmm. like here. It you can tell like the tip of the tail, even though it doesn't exist. It seems like it was. Either it doesn't seem like it was sliced off. The reading you get basically says that it wasn't oh. assembled physically. Wasn't it assembled wasn't cut physically. off. It's almost like it just didn't. Oh. Okay, okay. Parts it missing. wasn't <laughs> made past that point. Kestrel. Okay. I'm sorry. Something just occurred to me. Do I see any symbols of Kor nearby? The death god. Kore. Kore. Do I see anything um, resembling with their studies anywhere within this air small area? Like, I'm going to actively search for it. Like, Bit just had an roll, idea. Roll. Roll. Do I make you roll something else, or do I just give it to you? No, yeah, make me roll for it. Make me work for it. Um, yeah, really? Investigation. It would, it would... Roll oh, investigation with advantage. With advantage? All right. Investigation. Yeah. All right, guys. Ble bless these rolls. I bless someone, your roll. Someone guidance him. Guidance. Guidance myself. Oh, yeah. Plus two. Oh, wait, no. I need a, that's no, no, a, that's a 15. A one, but no, no, not plus two. I didn't roll a 1d4. Uh, 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 uh. Plus two. <laughs> fifteen. So fifteen. Fifteen. Um you see all the runic symbols, all of the things around, and surprisingly not, um nothing of Kore specifically, but I will say roll a religion. Okay. At advantage because of my studies? Nope. Oh. No. 
It just means you're proficient. <laughs> That's how you get. Because, because of your studies 20, means 30, you're proficient. 30, 20. We get a dirty 20. You almost miss it. <laughs> the DC for this was 20. Damn. You almost Hello. miss it, but you <laughs> do recognize Hello, that God. these symbols on the ground. You, could, you were looking for Kore. Yeah. You weren't expecting to find Sinos. Sinos? Oh, uh, which one was Sinos again? Wait, did you give me the info from that one? No, I think, I think we all have it. I did give you the info for Sinos. This like Sinos was the god of the void. Oh. True does neutral. It, does anyone know about Sinos? These are runes of their religion. Why is oh. why is the god of the void symbols here? Trying to summon something? That they summon something from the void? Something from the void. A good question. Wait, is you said it's a it's a it's a summoning circle, correct? Yeah. Correct. And these bones do not normally these are ma man made. Yeah. Yes, they weren't assembled correctly, and the tail, I just looked at it, was not finished. I even think, I think someone's even in that though, closet door. Someone is knocking on the closet door outside. Here's the thing. I'm so sorry. I no one said it was man made. Oh. It was just assembled at some point, in some weird way, whether it was inside the body or not. Can I look inside the ribs? Like the inside, order inside? Is wrong. Sure. I have dark vision up to 60 feet. I won't have you roll anything for this. Okay. It, when you go in and look, you can see, like, not because of uh, age or anything. It's just, it almost seems like this is what a Tarrasque would look like if it was born, like, with genetic malfunctions. Like, there's, like, one side of the rib cage has, like, five more ribs than the other side. And... There are some bones that, are like, some spinal bones, like, it has three less sort of columns than it should. Is there any runes etched within the bones or any items inside this area, this rib cage? Not from what you can tell. If they're trying to make a tarask, the. It, they're missing ribs and spinal columns. Like it's being. I mean, it could still have been just no, a really like, messed up born one. It's it's like with genetic defects on it. It's not perfect, but. I'm gonna take a look at the teeth. This yeah. is. I f I feel like we're a little bit in over our heads. We were just supposed to get the bounty. The okay. teeth um. Do appear to be dulled over time. And some of them actually do look like they were chewed a bit by the rats. I'm gonna go walk over How the body. How big are I'm they? I'm just gonna go over here. Not as big as you would expect. Like, if you're wanting to grab one and take one for a dagger, I would say there was maybe <laughs> only two. And you would have to, like, snap them at the exact right point, otherwise it's right. not yeah. worth it. Yeah, I do a survival to try to snap a tooth to make a dagger out of. You get two attempts at this. Guidance. Um, you can roll survival. At with guidance. guidance. Yay! Excellent. The little flower, crochet flower grows on you. Sophia just like goes over to That's the side. That's 23 for the first attempt. Go. That more than succeeds. Um, Let's see if I can get two, baby. Oh my the god! The first one, you snap it off, um, and yeah, you manage to get a pretty good tooth. Even though, um, like, even though most of them have been worn over time, and um, some of them have been chewed on by the rats. Um, the two good-looking ones are still decently structurally sound, and they're fairly big. But you will have to like whittle them down into like the right shape for a dagger. 
Uh, 19, 19 for the second uh, attempt. Yeah, you get the second one as well. Cool. Hey guys, also, did you know Sophia, that can I'm... you roll me a perception with advantage? Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Perception with advantage. <clears throat> okay. Also, I'm going to eat four good berries to get my health back up to full. <laughs> sure. That is going to be a 21. Over the course of four minutes. You see down in this in this hall mm -hmm. from where you came from, there's a strange yellow glow coming from over here. Oh, there? Oh. Yeah, as well as small yellow floating specks that seem to be just like sort of floating in the air over here. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> She's do I, so tired. Do I, see, do I see that? I mean, if you look over there, then yeah. yeah. I'm looking over there. Are they natural or are they magic? If I may roll. You can't tell yet. Mm. You're still really far away. Um, ugh, my who, brain's like, do I want to... Who's currently hurt? How, how much health does everyone have? I'm at full. At full? I'm at uh, 18. 18 out of what? How many? Uh, out of max? 33. 18 with uh, uh, Okay, one second. I'm going to give you a certain amount to get you to full at least. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I give you three, three, I toss you three good berries to get you to full. Because they give four HP each. Three um, minutes to eat your three candies. I'm going to stealth and I'm going to, um, let me stealth first. Okay. I should make my good berries into gushers. Um, Why is everyone taking my good berries? That'll be... What the fuck is that? Listen, I'm a ranger. I'll learn good berry. Guys, what's 14 plus 7? 14 plus 7, 21. 21. 21. Okay, so that's 21. 21. <laughs> and I'm going what? to... Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to go investigate the lights. So I'm stealthing first, and then I'm going to follow along this wall so I can stay outside. Before you left, I threw a guidance at you, just in case. Oh. One minute every time you... guidance. Yep. All right. So I'm just sticking along this wall and then I'm I'm gonna do my best to just kind of peek around to see what's what's there. Okay. You can keep going. Okay. Um when you approach you do notice that these little yellow floating specks mm. are actually the source of the glowing um, oh, okay. If you want, you can roll nature, or you can move ahead to basically get a quicker understanding of what the heck these things are. Can I just use my scan site? <laughs> I don't want to get close to them. Sure. Yeah. You gave um, me scan site? You, I'm going to use it, bro. <laughs> um, you don't see um, the scan site on them yet, but if you move oh. further in, you can. We're going to lose okay. sight of you. I, I'm trying. Yeah, I was like, I'm trying to stay in sight, but I, I think no, I'm, go I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you have to like place. see down here in order to, because currently yeah. you're being blocked by this. You have to be like there at the most. Guys, help, yeah. help me with this body. Let's get it up there at least. All right, well, I'm, um, I'm gonna turn off my flash. So from here you can scan. Um, okay. You Maybe see. Mm -hmm. One second. The scan shows that these are fungal spores. Pick oh yeah. no! We can't control. Oh dude. no! Oh no! 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 I'm going to fucking rush back. I, I'm breaking stealth. I'm going 90 feet. I'm using my dash and movement, everything to go fucking back. So All right. fucking uh, fast. On, on three, ready? One, One other thing two, that the scan three. indicates yeah. is that mm -hmm. is that when you were like going through it, they seem to avoid mm -hmm. you guys. They seem to avoid you. Like when oh. you move into their range, they move away from you. Huh. Strange, but I still... I, Sophia's like, huh. <laughs> All right. We are going to bring this up to the ledge, at least. Spores. I... Spores. spores. They are spores. What are spores? Oh, those, those are... What are spores? Those are things that come out of mushrooms when they're excited. And they want to reproduce. Um... Good thing is they're avoiding us? That is um... odd. Why would they be avoiding but, us? They're not sentient. I... Or are they? 
like she's about, like Sophia like goes to say something, but you can like see her visibly like stop and like tilt her head at wait, that. Can you describe how they look like? I I mean they're just like these little gold, golden lights. Do I would I recognize any like characteristics from said spores from my time as a druid? You've heard of some, but would this specifically you couldn't say pop, without no? a direct and without like even, directly looking at them even with her description correct mm. i let mean me, they're just let me, down the, <laughs> let me take a look just down there i point <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go and take a look i just walk i will stay with you <laughs> i am carrying the body so okay. we're up to you where you get until closer I get to see. and they do let you get closer but when you get too close they seem to like sort of move away from you do i um, now recognize them Roll a nature. Okay, I am proficient in nature. I am not proficient in nature. <laughs> I'll give myself. You the can guidance. add. You can add your guidance if you want. Yeah, I'll add my guidance. I t- a ten. Basically, the DC for this was a two. <laughs> okay. You have never seen these before. Hmm. I throw one of the glowing mushrooms in my pocket, the moon ones over here. I toss it. You throw one? Yeah, I throw one. I want to see how the other mushrooms react to it. Don't seem to be phased. They grow arms and start attacking you. They, they look harmless. They, they look harmless. At this point. Well, counting that everything here kind of goes, you makes you go cuckoo. I don't. They are, they are yellow spores. The spores that come out of the moon one is blue. And I pick up the mushroom. I don't pick up the mushroom. I'm just gonna leave it on the floor. Meet me and hear me out. The blue spores are the moon one. What if there are other mushrooms down here that produce the yellow spores that are sun mushrooms? I... eh? I will... Do you see this yet? No, you're being blocked by the wall. Okay. I'll just continue. I'll I'll walk ahead just just to keep keep an eye on anything. All right. All we have to do is... Can you say enough for me to start carrying the body through the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah. When you get to about there... Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. bit you see right here is it's kind of odd it almost looks like a small like like a small setup um it's like a a small version of those like tables those japanese tables with like the cloth where you stick your legs underneath Yes. But like a small version of it that can only sort of fit one person. Walking back. And that was not there originally. There is a figure actually s- sitting there here, not moving. It's going crazy, guys. No. No, you all down. see it. <laughs> I don't see it. I'm, I'm not turning the corner yet. Oh, yeah, you haven't turned the corner. <laughs> also, can, can we have control over the body of the Doigar since we're dragging it? Yeah, we're dragging it. Well, we're, I'm not dragging him, I'm carrying him. Carrying. Well, yeah. yeah I'll, carrying, yeah. I'll give it, I'll give, can, I'll, I'll just bring him over. Yeah. I mean, you can probably just delete it. Cause yeah, you can delete it at this In point. my space. Yeah, I, yeah we'll I'll just say he's there. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's oh. currently, uh, uh, okay. fucking 3PO. <laughs> Guys, that wasn't there before. Yeah, no, that that wasn't there before. That that very much was not there before. Do um, I have sixty feet of dark vision? Do I see? Like, do I <laughs> not recognize? Do I, I said you see a figure. Like, sitting do, do there. I know who the figure? Is? Like, how in this, like description? You have wise. no idea. Oh, I have to oh. get so close. Um. Yeah. All right. Moving okay. closer, you you're wondering if it it's a myconid because it it does seem like there's fungal spores growing like fungus you. growing on its body but yeah. as you move closer you can tell this is no myconid that you've ever seen before or this is it almost looks human in a weird way you can't quite tell it's just it's sitting there motionless 
Okay, um, I, can, don't, I can scan it now. Yeah, don't don't. I'm cool already says. my gun. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't have a scan mark on it. It doesn't have a scan mark on it. Okay, I don't like this. I can't scan it. I can't look at it. It's dead. I don't like this. It's dead. No, even even when things are dead, I can scan them. I bow. Really? I, will, I I bow my head and then I walk forward to the exit. I will say it's right here. When you get to about here, also the I'm just gonna put it here just because <laughs> ignore whatever name shows up on it. Okay. Okay. I don't have an image for it yet. There, there's, um, no, there's no name on there, but like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, <laughs> when you get to about their bit, Scoot? you like because its head is kind of tilted down, down, so you weren't able to get full thing. But when you move, get to about there, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's there you see it looks like it does look human weirdly enough but it has like weird growths on its body like two that almost look like glasses in a weird way like Have like I... circular round glasses and a large bulb on the growing on the side of its face its, it's eyes are open as it looks at you and do I recognize have I seen this in any uh, of my travels the answer is no mm. I, I see we see that you have made it out safely it is an honor for us to f finally make your acquaintance i'm holding fifi so close <laughs> i'm holding the dragon so close <laughs> <laughs> <You're hard. laughs> who who are you state your name and business we are often referred to as the, 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 the mycologist wait oh my god Though, uh, of others <laughs> refer to us as Thergo. Okay. And if you remember, Thergo is the name of the god of prophecies that the Dwegar worshipped. <gasps> Why is the god follow? Or what is the god down here? Why is the prophecy maker here? We do not tell or make the prophecies they are g g given to us I move forward we are tied to f fate as it were and it w w whispers its secrets to us I'm scared Sophia what do you oh. require for a prophecy for us. What will you take in this Bye circumstance? Bye. Wait, in this circumstance. We can tell that fate has touched you all. We oh. do not know the full extent, but we do as it like sort of collapses off the side and its eyes sort of like staring off but then the bulb on its head you see two eyes open and a mouth open um as the growth on its head begins to speak i bow my head in reverence and not looking at the, the head directly Though the silent stalker of the dark dwells and acts within their namesake, their heart is anything but. Appearances tell lies, but the eyes always tell the truth. What the fuck? What did the, uh, what did the eyes as, tell us? As the, as the growth's eyes close and the mouth closes, as uh, We apologize for the frightening no. Demeanor. We do not take 
humanoid form very often. If you are comfortable in your original form, I would appreciate it, as it is much more clearer and not as broken up. But I will pay my reverence to you without... We are not able to communicate as directly. Would you... Wait. As a, chi- as a child of Cersei, I open my mind to you to speak your prophecies and your words through my mind. If that is what you would like. That's pretty bold. <laughs> it is of another religion, and I shall pay my respects Make accordingly. Make a... Hmm. Give me one second. Okay. I bow my Make... head in reverence. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no. Do I want to fail this? It's up to you. I fail it. <laughs> I let it Man's happen. Man's failing. Let's go. I let it happen. Here's another you one. Become mushroom. Actually, what type I'll of use mushroom these do you want to become? There's a there's a very like poisonous one in the Philippines that I really like the design of. I almost Ooh, made it. You don't want to co- you don't want to become an ink cap? No, not really. <laughs> you take yeah, 15 points of psychic <gasps> damage. I'll take it. As <laughs> all you hear are like very loudly in your head, dozens upon dozens of voices screaming words. Words. They all you assume that they are these are all prophecies but these are all thousands of voices just screaming these prophecies at you at one given time that you I, are unable to make out i bear with it. i bear it and i don't i don't falter i don't move i just wait and suddenly the voices stop as the mycologist says we are sorry for no any it is fine I was not ready for the prophecy (laughs) apparently we take this form when interacting directly for we hear all prophecies at all times Mm. Though, the reason for this visit is many prophecies are tied to you more than usual. As he places his hands on the table, he says to you, there is one prophecy disconnected to you all that we have been searching for an answer and would request a favor of sorts do any of you have two of the same magical item this two of the same magical magical item item? i don't i think it's the only one that has magic item i only have a container of infinite coffee my arcane focus which are my crescent moons and the mushroom caps that are currently in a pouch you have one more magic and my and my barrier and my barrier. Oh, yeah. Also, Fifi does have that ring. Oh, oh yeah, the ring. Yeah, the ring. Um, In the bag of holding. I don't think we have anything of the same. Or... It... You do not. Well, let me do this. As Thergo holds up his hand, doesn't like put place it on you. Um, bit, but holds up 
their hand um, as spores seem to leave the palm of his hand and sort of float down onto the table as it sort of takes the shape of some object as it begins to clump, 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 clump together before a flask sits there. I take out the flask. Examining it, it looks the exact same as your other flask. I place the flask down on the table. That is the extent of our boons. Uh, I, we will try our best to meet with you all again when my our experiments should prove beneficial to you all though we are unable to do them at this time understood is there a way to contact you or a symbol of your of the god that we may take with we will find you <laughs> as the the growth opens its eyes and mouth again can one of you roll a 1d4 uh, yeah i mean i've been speaking to uh, it i could just two. Roll, i could roll it too you got right. two yeah <laughs> oh, you're, so eager. you got a very fun one yeah <laughs> When a god and a dragon fall in love, one shall be corrupted while the other suffers for their love. It has happened once before. It is. It shall happen again. As... Uh, we... cannot stay here much longer we are needed elsewhere for without us prophecies cannot be told may okay. I may I ask one question before you go doesn't say but looks at you who made the summoning circle in the room ahead? Mm. Many centuries ago. Failed attempt at summoning a Tarask, one already born. A f f false creature, a form for the formless, long dead. You guys don't seem to realize, but it's almost as if something pushes you all to blink at the same time and when you do the table him and all of the spores are just gone the only thing left is the singular flask that is on the ground where the table once was i take the flask all right cool sick cool 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 i want to go i you know what you know what i want i want to get paid what saying i to carry the bounty you know i yeah um, wait it both so i do i have two checked. different flasks now castro or just mine you have two of the exact same flask all right so i'll put two, yep. two of them in my container he can drink uh, coffee exactly with one and booze is. with the other we'll i can't believe you cast <laughs> We'll look at this later. Let's get, let's get, yeah, let's go get our bounty. And 
Do we tell the innkeeper about this? We no. Tell her about, well, we should tell her about the mushrooms. Wait, no. Is, yeah. it, is it in contract? Is it under a pay grade? Well, you know what? Did they, so did right. they just All specify? All she was to kill the rats. The pest. And we technically did. We definitely did. killed the rats. I think it would do us a good boon to tell her to uh, seal away this area so that no one comes down here and that there's mushrooms down here. I put a thread in the NPCs section tight labeled prophecies. If you guys want to read Yo. the two of them that were said to you. Yes. Okay. Do I need to also, write notes I, I anymore? I cannot believe like... you. I cannot believe you. <laughs> it's so good. I know exactly what game this is from. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so we the met, moment you so we met describing him, I was like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, I have no, no context nor idea what you're talking about. But we do have one <laughs> of the prophecies possibly been fulfilled already. Oh. Um, I don't like right, the, um The dragon? The, the, Cunt God. Cunt God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, know, he, he's a dragon. He might have been corrupted uh, trying to fall in love with a Cora, you know? Yeah, well, what, well, we learned that he's... But before, before we uh, say Alyssa. any of this, we're still underneath a, a, the inn, and it's very echoey in here. Yes, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, let's can't echoey at all. Oh, wait, do we need to bring the rats with us, too, to show us no. that we killed it? I mean, my sword's covered in rat blood still. I mean, we we still had to have proof. We have two we injured know? party members. No, I give you. I give Shows candy. my, shows my busted arms. I may be healed, but wiggles them as they spark. I think my arms are proof enough that we killed rats. Yeah. Also, do we we? So I'm gonna also add Tarask bone dust in my inventory, Castro. If that's okay. Because of that. Or, or, sure. Or, yeah. Can't believe you didn't grab that bone marrow. So tasty, tasty get... Tarask bone marrow. If you guys want a full summation of the Tarask, basically, um, what you were able to determine was this is not a true Tarask. Yeah. Basically, yeah. they tried summoning a tar a Tarask when one was already in existence. Yeah. Which it, created yeah. a failed Fuck version. Thing. Yeah. False and if it was alive at any way. point. It died very quickly after being created. Yeah. So, All right, then. whatever it was, it was not a true Tarask. Got it. Understandable. Oh, yeah. Um. All right. Let us go collect yep. bounty for the rats. Yeah, right. bounty for and it's comfortable in here now. Mm. I say we return Felix to his sister. I say he's not our problem anymore. We found him. She can go yeah, exactly. get him listen, fixed listen. up. They got notes already about how to do it. We got some mushrooms we can give them. Tell them, hey, curse <laughs> mushrooms. Probably don't touch them too much. Don't eat them. Yeah. Don't eat them. Oh, yeah. If fine. you, if any of you ate or tasted any of the mushrooms, it would have been an instant of, fail. I ate all of them, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was really. Yeah. You are now moon touched. I was I ran really out of hungry. Here's a wonderful lesson for me and Zell. If it's not our problem, I'm not our job to do it. Don't do it. Yeah. So. Tell I'm the not your problem, but you do me. They, they, you're, you're you're our special little problem. You are very lewd. I'm going. So, uh, are you heading <laughs> upstairs? Just there. <laughs> I'm I'm gone. I'm at the. Uh, I'm Let's at get the out of this cave. Yeah. <laughs> so, just, just walk away. So. Just walk away. <laughs> um, you make it upstairs. You come up through the opening, um, and you also come up through upstairs, and you make it up to, um, Vika, who's. It, the bar seems to have died down a little bit, so she's taking a small breather. She's sitting on a stool, like, taking a drink of water. And just... <sighs> Your acts are dealt with! Pest control done. And... Give me one second. Because I have something special for you guys. da 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 is everyone in the is everyone in the room yeah, 20 so or the in the share screen yeah 
Yeah. I used. Oops, that not that. <laughs> oh my god, it's just wrong one. Wrong it's just Kestrel one. moaning, guys. Thank you so much, sweeties. Oh, hello. Huh? Oh, is it oh, your mother? What, what, what? what, what did you I... say? Why is that? <laughs> You're breaking up on me. What, what, what? I don't know how audacity works. Oh, just hit play. There we go. Well, thank you so much, sweeties. It's been hard taking care of these things by myself, so now I don't need to deal with those rodents. <laughs> this is so cute! Who the fuck did you get to do that? Is that your mom? That was my grandma. Oh my god! Oh, oh, Granny Cass. Oh, 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 that's that. cute! It's adorable! Oh, I love heck? Granny Cass! Tell oh, Granny Cass to say fuck you to us. <laughs> Uh, let her that, curse. That's probably not going to happen. Let her curse. <laughs> oh my god, we'll let her know that she we were would not so want to. <laughs> hey, Grandma, can you say fuck? <laughs> hey, Grandma, say fuck. I, um, my friends want you to start cursing at them. Um, she sees you carrying the Dwegar and is. Well, thank you so much. Why? <laughs> Wrong one. Oh, thank you so much. Um, huh? She oh, sees you carrying the Dwegar and says, well, thank you. Who's this thank guy? You. Who's this no, guy? Don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> so yeah, you're right. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. It's you're okay. So right. Don't, don't worry to. about it. Um, <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> and so you guys told her, oh, we dealt with the rodents. And she's like, oh, thank you so much, sweeties. He's like, wait, who's this? Nope. Never mind. Don't want to know. <laughs> yes. Don't worry about it. As she good. goes over and grabs the uh, grabs a bag for your guys' payment. I got your pay right here. I hope it's enough. <laughs> Thank you. As she so hands you a money. pretty hefty bag, like how much oh. money is in that? We'll count later. We'll take it into ship, or do we count mm -hmm. it here? I can't. This this granny is so adorable. I can't. <laughs> we we'll, we'll count it later. We got okay. more more payments coming. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I I put we put it in bag. Let's go. This is so adorable. Bag of holding. In bag of holding it goes. Uh, make sure uh. you bar up that uh that that room we came out of. The dead rats just coming out of there. We killed the uh, nest, but like more can be spawned in there. So also, we, we also there's like it. some mushrooms. You probably don't want spreading out. Oh yes, I, but just seal I, it up. I have, seal it I, have, up. I, have, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Keep, keep the room dry, locked up. It'll be fine. Do you want any food to take with you? Oh no! I got some ham, cabbage rolls, some scalloped <laughs> potatoes, lots of oh. stuff. I love scalloped potatoes. <laughs> Me, <laughs> I'm a... How much you see? Me, huh? I'm by everything. How much did you ever say? Holy oh shit! How much is it? Oh my god! Guess what? You can't do this to us. This is too much. <laughs> this is too, too much. Wholesome. Just, just bring us your own granny voice. This is too wholesome. It's so much. Oh it makes god. me love the character too much. You can't do this. You can't do this. We're going to adopt them, and then we're going to take them on adventures with us. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. We go to very dangerous places. Don't worry about yeah. it. She'll stay on the ship. Um, she does say, hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, it's been hard running things recently, especially si since I, most of my dishes and whatnot have been wrecked. The dish. You got hit by the bandit? Oh, the bandit. Wait, might I look around then? Uh, we, we have a bounty for him. Oh, or yeah. they, There's whatever. A jerk who snuck in the middle of the night and broke a bunch of my dishes, took some of my old weapons and my bag of holdings too. He's got a bag of holding. He's gonna be able to thieve so well. This is so wholesome. Took some weapons, a bag of holding, and broke all our dishes. Broke all our dishes. This is the worst Fuck kind of place up. to break all the dishes for. Honestly, yeah. Whoever took them. Must have been really sneaky. I had those things locked up super tight. With magic seals and all that crap. Oh, she cursed! <laughs> she said crap. She, she said, said crap! The PG cur <laughs> no. Oh, so wholesome. Okay. okay, 
Maybe so, you should uh, check out the, the, the scene of the crime. F um, the whole scan thing you do. Yeah, we could split up on this one. We could I, take the body to the to the apothecary while you scan. I yes, I could. I can investigate while you guys go ahead. Yeah. And then we'll meet up at the ship. We'll meet I call Dibs on see if you come with me. Okay. Well, well, usually whenever I go to s sleep, my bedroom's on one of the upper floors. Um, my I usually seal up my uh, office, which is where my safe and whatnot are. They are they're just in the back over here if you want to take a look. The weird thing yeah. is most of the magical seals were... Uh, turned off when I, I came down and looked. Does mm. anyone else work with you? Or is it just you? I have a few helpers here and there, but they're all part-time. I'm the only one here that well, works. Right, so there's no one else here when the crime happened. Do, they, do, do you tell them how to unseal the safe? Just in case? Heck um, no. Good idea. Alright, workers don't know. All right then. Um. Yeah. Uh. Sophia will. <laughs> I'll. I'll come in with Sophia. Come with me. Let's go collect more money. I love the idea of Fifi just being grabbed by Zell and dragged <laughs> away. Yeah, it, it's not even being dragged. Like he's got the door guard on one shoulder and grabs Fifi, just threw over the other. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fifi's just like clawing at him, like ah. No. 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 We'll see you guys at the ship. <laughs> okay, let, let I'm just waving goodbye. <laughs> let, let us go. Let's go look around. I guess. All yes. right. So yeah, we'll go investigate the scene of a crime. Investigating the scene, the scene of a um, crime. The safe is decently big. It's almost like the size of a gun safe. If you've ever seen those. Oh yeah, I know what a gun safe looks I like. I don't know. I don't live in area that has it's, guns. It's kind of like a locker anymore. size. Yeah, yeah, it's like a locker-sized safe. Um, okay. And... Yeah, it, it's it been reclosed, but um, you see Vika comes mm -hmm. in and, um, like, does, like, a magical incantation, and then, like, a rune sort of magically appears over top. Um, it's a middle finger. As, as the, like, the safe part, like, sort of spins and... She opens it up and she surprisingly still has um like her gold in like a like sort of this top compartment. Hmm. You do see that like there were spaces for the weaponry. Yeah. But most of it's been taken. What what type of weapons okay. did you have in here? Oh, all sorts. I uh, kept some a bunch from my, uh, from my old colleagues. I used to be an adventurer before I opened this place up. Went out with a really nice group. Most of them are gone now, though. Neither got too old or died doing something stupid. <laughs> okay. And that's all from Grandma. Uh, the, the, oh, uh, oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> What type of um, weapons were they? If we, if what do we need? Now ask? go back to this, so you guys can have music. Um, so you kind of turned yourself, so uh, the dark you can't quite see her eyes, and will activate hand fight. Mm hmm You don't get much from the scan, surprisingly. Mm. What uh, you do get, yes. what you do get, is that. This, like, the most you get is... I'm just trying to get a basic sweep, and if I can know what, like, the magic seal is, that's gonna really help out. I mean, the thief can I use... mean, you can just ask her. The thief can use magic. Oh, I suppose I could just ask her. <laughs> not after money. Just weapons? It's weird. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what was the magic seal? Oh, it's a... One that I learned a long time ago. It's really potent. If you want, I can put it back on as she closes the safe and redoes yes, the I, seal. Bit is I stuck inside the safe. <laughs> Help! Yeah. Help! Ah, you'll be fine for three minutes. Out. Yes. 
Um, your scans indicate that this is a highly potent seal that can only be reopened by the person who um, locked it or with a high level usage of the knock spell. Mm. Like very high, like yeah. six level minimum. Shit, okay. And you always lock this up. It's never but Oh, never... always, always. It's part of my okay. nighttime routine. Do I so, see okay. any, anything inside now that I'm locked in? Is there anything? It's like... dark. <laughs> I have dark vision. What? Oh, um, anything out of place? Anything? Any dust? Any fingerprints or anything? I'm like looking not thoroughly. Really. Yes. Can I um, at least tell tell what type of weapons they took? I mean, you could always ask her. What type of yeah. weapons did they take? I say through through safe. Ooh. We're reopening it. <laughs> ah, I see. I see. Ah, oh, but yeah, reopen up the safe. <laughs> so what type of weapons she did they take? She undoes the seal. What type of weapons? Oh, I had things in there like spears, swords. I didn't want to he... keep my most of my magical weaponry. I store it in my bedroom. Okay, so they were just mainly mundane. Right. These ones were of, well, I don't want to say sentimental value because... But sentimental uh, value. Yeah. Yeah. They, they um, were valuable to you, but weren't really valuable to another person. Right, right. Though okay. I, I did have one or two magical items in there, but they were just um, what, what were nothing they? too crazy. See, but they were taken as well. Oh, what were so, they? A bag of holding the, the, and another thing? Um, the weapons were just... Uh, I think the categorization was plus one weapons, but I don't recall. Oh, they okay. are extra durable, okay. Extra durable, yes. And in the bag of holding. So okay. it was just the extra durable yeah, That one was really that... annoying. Was there anything inside the bag? Did you leave? I keep a bunch of stuff in the bag. I keep tissues. I keep keep some makeup in there. I keep some other <laughs> things. But worse. but all of it was spilled out onto the floor when I came down here. So I know that's oh. how they took it. I'm so not. Indeed. I didn't just lose it myself. Okay. Mm. So they stole just the, the weapons bag and the bag. And he out. Took sentimental weapons. And only one magical weapon, but wasn't very magical. I mean, nothing Dude, crazy. Was there any one. other reports of what the the dish breakers stole from other places? We, I don't think we would know. I'm, I'm, asking, above ta- I'm asking above table. Did we hear anything about it? Not uh, yet. Not yet? You'd have to look into the bounty a bit more. This is a general yeah. bounty, which is kind of annoying because it doesn't give as much yeah. detail. Um, If you... You would basically have to either find out who put out the bounty officially, see if another group has been looking into it at all, or by chance look for the um, people who have been hit by the bandit. Yeah, which as because I know I did I did a a, a history check I think on this oh. guy to see yeah. what they were like, and I knew from what I had heard that they were an excellent thief which is just yeah proving this that like yeah this person's a professional but now we're hearing that they got high level magic but are also taking things that are not really high value and they're not taking the gold whatsoever yeah Yeah, uh, yeah, that is one thing that's odd to you is that they didn't take the gold uh, definitely to Sophia so What's it called? The the weapons that I took out, the war pick and javelin, I, I take them out. Are these two of the weapons? No, I've never seen those in my life. Okay. Just double checking. I really wanted it to be him and the sister so badly. Nope. <laughs> now they were no. working together. <laughs> has has Sophia ever worked with somebody who who had this kind of pattern? I'll show you. Or have I theory. ever? You're not there. <laughs> oh my God. You're not. You're not there. <laughs> or have I ever heard of somebody like that in the lower districts? You have not. Okay. Honestly, that makes sense. The lower districts aren't too crazy, so this might be somebody 
Summer is I mean, the lower districts are bad and kind of that crazy, but no one with this type of MO. Yeah. No we no money was taken. They are high level. Yeah, because if there are any thieves in the lower districts, the gold is always gone. Yeah. That's that's like her main thing. Like like it's not one I've ever worked with. I'm like it's we always take the gold. And what which type of dishes were broken? Or did they, were they just plates or are they is just a bowls? It's just dishes, uh, I believe. Plates, bowls, cups, whatever wasn't <laughs> in one of the shelves. It was mainly the things on display, which was kind of annoying because even the ones we stack them up out in the open so that they're easy to grab for customers, but it's hard to go through the shelves and actually you pull them out and things of like that. How tall are the shelves? Are they high up? Are they like? Is it I mean, they're than just me? normal shelves. I no, no, no. no Maybe high up for you. You're the, and tiny. You're small, yes. But like, is it? It's it's uh, like, it's, it's pretty high up, yeah. I'm. So he this I'm man. Bit... They were rushing. They were looking for immediate immediate things to do. Every time after, I if he was like, more know. artistic about it, if he was more artistic about it, he would have taken the ones off the shelves as well. So he had enough. He had enough time to steal things, but yeah. not enough time to show off his mo of breaking dishes he he went for the, the easy to reach ones hmm. so it's not as a too much of an inconvenience as it, it has you have backup hmm. what well one thing i know is that when i heard the sound of the dishes being broken i came down right away and by the time I went, got downstairs, it was already gone. We already right. ascertained that he's a high-level spellcaster, so he could have just misty stepped away, after, right after. True. Or dimension door. Those make sense. Dimension door, misty step, legit, just teleport. Teleport takes too long to to cast. In that oh, does it? Time. I thought it's in instantaneous. Is it instant? I thought it was like a ten-minute yeah, ritual circle. thing. Oh, teleport, teleport circle. Teleport circle's the one. Yeah. yeah my bad. Mm. Okay, thank you so much for the information. Mm. Is there anything else you want us to know about this? Anything else taken? Nothing missing? Uh, nothing else missing? Just, just this, and that's all. From what I've been able to tell, yeah, that's it. All right. Well, thank you for your time, and thank you for the payment. Hold on one second. I realized that there was one that I didn't play. A dish breaks. We look outside. It's him, the Dwegar. <laughs> he came back to life. I wanted it to be them. That would have been so funny. It really would have. And what if his everything was connected. Hold on. Shh. Y'all take care. I hope to see you here soon again. <laughs> I guess this is our a regular eating establishment now. Is it? I, I don't say that out, out loud in front of her. I wait until we are outside to say that. To cook. Uh, we need to get kitchen for, you know, on the ship at some point. I keep forgetting to swatch, switch screens rather than closing it. Yeah. Because yeah. then you have to reopen it each time. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. I haven't had to reopen it at all. I have. To. Oh. Sophia's just nothing. Uh all right, let's 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 head over to the ship. We'll meet them there. Yes, I guess we can investigate more later. Yeah, we have, I mean, like, he's a high level wizard, like at least high level spellcaster. Not necessarily a wizard, but high enough to break these. The the it, the, that's, the that's what's catching me off guard is I know rogues that can cast mm -hmm. magic, but they can't reach that high of a level. So. It's not someone like me. It very much it might be a wizard. A and they, sorcerer. They, and they have to be short because they could not reach the high shelf for the dishes. They but reach maybe. like the medium shelf. They could not yeah. they could not reach. So they, they very would... much could just simply climbed up on something and just True, but that would take too much time. They took they went for the, the easy I mean, route and really. then the, and put they they she went down immediately. And he broke the dishes from the front, the easy to grab ones. 
I mean, it doesn't take much to grab some dishes, then then jump back down and smash them and then run. Hmm. I still say he was in a rush. Or they, they were in a rush. I think huh? wizard... I don't think there's any... Like... Hmm... Spears All I know and is swords this person's taken. Definitely not from the lower districts. No, nobody in the lower districts would do any of this. Yeah. Are you sure? At least not to your knowledge. Mm. I mean, it could be. I mean, if you want to go to the lower districts and investigate the people there yourself, I can tell you, as a resident, once there, we like gold. <laughs> <laughs> and long and long story short, they don't like investigators down there either. They also don't like investigators down there. Yeah, I don't think they don't like the Federation officer in dress and uniform either. Yeah, yeah. So, but from my knowledge, I mean, if they, it, if it's a. Uh... So that so that New leaves you with one thing left. Yeah, the murder. Or I guess. A murderer. Well, it, given that you don't have a lead on the dish breaking bandit, the only thing you have left at the moment is the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. You could go to the uh, warehouse. Oh, without the others? No, no, not I... right now. No. We like later. I don't know what we were doing. That's why. Um yeah. for later. You guys like... can meet with the others at the uh, Chimeras. No, so they we said, were walking they, there while they're they, doing the investigation. Yeah. They said they said ship, so we, I'm I'm. Oh yeah, you guys can meet at the ship. Yeah, we, we just yeah, head to the ship. I have to pull up the my stuff card? again. I forgot. Yeah, I was up here. Sophia would like to wash off her clothes and herself from being in that cave. So <laughs> mm -hmm. I will take the mushrooms um, inside the med bay. I shield bag. bomb <laughs> I put them out in the open so they can spread you everywhere guys, you put the mushrooms in the bag of holding it. right no I had it in a sack on my tail well that's great because you just took the cure <laughs> ah, I didn't know I, I don't know that band you did know because you the were band? specifically told by Sp Sophia oh. based on the research Man, if only if only Zell took me instead. I <laughs> I push you towards the <laughs> realizing what? you still have him. I push you. I go. What? What? Where am I going? Go to the apothecary. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. I go to the apothecary. I, want to take a... <laughs> I thought you gave it. Out. Get out of here. <laughs> no one said anything. They said nothing. No one said told me anything. I don't understand why everyone assumed. I, my voice just like trails off yeah, as I leave the like ship. I saw you taking out the pouch and I saw all the mushrooms. I was like, what are you doing? Go. <laughs> so, Fifi, do you think we can walk the rest of the way or am I going to carry you all the way there? Well, I don't know why you started carrying me in the first place. I figured you're going to try and like claw your way back over while we were heading down there. You're not wrong, but you can, you can walk for us. You said I can walk for you? I can walk the rest. Right, I have two legs. Down. They're a little bust, but I can walk. Yeah, you know. Legs um, are good. Legs are good. Do you... <laughs> Make it to the Chimera's main, and where's my mouse? There it is. Um, you step inside, and Alexis is sitting there. She's currently uh, um, petting the the goat Percy, um, who's just sort of resting. Being all. All three of the animals are resting, and she sees you guys walk in with like the little ding of the door, like the bell thing. Look who like, we found! Oh my goodness! <laughs> you found, you found <laughs> still hot. You're still hot, tight. <laughs> uh, what? What? What happened to him? He's been eating some bad mushrooms. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, why did I? Did he, he? She looks under the desk and places um, two 
gloves with like on the back of the hand there's like a rune etched in it and that it's glowing i told him to take the magic protection gloves oh that idiot i mean he's wearing gloves right now yeah it, wrong kind of he gloves got, though. he got moon touch didn't he <laughs> yeah, yeah. He we found him crouched in a cave, just shoving the mushrooms into his face. There were so many of those mushrooms in that cave. Oh my goodness! Okay. Ling 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 Hold ling on. ling. Let me see if we have anything here. I'm here. I was told she to come over here. Um, through her stuff and. Oh, th- oh, th- thank Thergo. Oh my goodness. She comes over with a small scroll and like opens it up. She reads um, it off as her hand begins to glow. She places it on her on his head as she cast uses the scroll to cast remove curse. <laughs> also, you don't need these. I, I walk in. Ding, ling, ling, ling. Hello, I am here. I was told to come here to give cure or something. Oh, do you have... Do you have some of the mushrooms? I have he has five. So many mushrooms. I have five. Plus, I, his four, he had fourteen, didn't he? Something like that, or didn't you have like fourteen? Oh yeah, he had fourteen on him. Yes, I have that. I I picked out the separate satchel. <laughs> Here you go. Here is fourteen oh, of the mushrooms. Thank you so much. Okay. Um. Right, and I will actually need to use the protection gloves to can you take him upstairs please oh, how much he's gonna just protection? lay him down on his bed Do you have more he sure should be things? fine he just needs some rest Um, I, I oh, have I your mean, pay, we, I have your pay he, here. he did get a little aggressive so we had to you know beat him until he passed out right and I think it would be better to leave him like that just in case I can cut him out if need be he's gonna wake up thinking you're into some weird stuff that's their, their That's sibling. That's my sister! <laughs> I'm a <her> sister! <laughs> their sibling, sister. Their siblings. Zell, so, I'm afraid you might be into some weird shit. Do you need a psychiatrist? I mean, I, did I she am forget licensed. who I work for? No, nah, you're right, you're right. True. Uh, do you also have more of those gloves that you have? We only got the one set, but I can see if my brother can make another one set oh i would like be. i would love that pretty good well, with infusions and stuff you can always keep trying chummy and then my fair share of things well maybe it was a custom set he made but he might be able to teach you um i have the pay right here she puts out a bag it's not as big as the other one but um it Still decently hefty. Yes. I put bag in bag of holding. Thank All you right. so much. So the amount of gold you guys got from the two of them from uh yeah. from Alexis, you got four hundred gold. Yay. That's one hundred per person. Okay, dokey. And from Vika, she either has lots of money to spare or doesn't know a decent amount to give people because she gave you guys 1200 <laughs> We don't question it. What was it? We got paid for a job, you know? Exactly. Six, so, so six, split between six. the four of you, you I each got, got 400 gold. E- um, 400 gold in my pocket. Money my, now. my mother is making weird sounds. Um, <laughs> I don't think we need to hear them. Damn. Um, Working and with so I'll too. show you weird sounds. No! <laughs> so, yeah, you guys made a decent amount. And as promised, I can provide you guys a permanent. 50% discount on all uh, items sold here, and if you want, once he wakes up, I can talk to my brother about getting you 
that uh, prophecy done, the mushroom prophecy done, and also maybe mushroom. can teach yes. you, uh, ma'am, how to m make some of these gloves. Oh yeah, what was their yeah. god that's around here? I'm sorry. Is their it? god was Thergo. Thergo, yeah, okay. So I was gonna walk down the stairs as she's talking about the rewards. Hey, you know, we actually heard a weird prophecy on, on our way out of that the place we found him at. Yeah, we there goes some spooky guy us. covered in mushrooms talking. But the the mycologist? That's odd. Yeah, we got to we got the prophecy from them. Two actually. Oddly enough. Huh. They tried to talk via my brain, but I think I've heard too many of their prophecies at the same time. You? No, that's not possible. Thargo never shows himself to people. Well, he did. Hmm. It. Yeah, I was, I was a little too far. I didn't catch the name. They were all talking about prophecies when I showed up. Well, whatever you saw, I hope you guys weren't afflicted with the moon touch because that never nope. happens. No, we were not, actually. We came out unscathed with Moon Touch. Oddly enough, it was, seems that the fates were on our side at that time. Yeah, there's a lot of rats there attacking us. But yeah. Mm. Eh, it's odd. Fifi that... kind of waves her busted arms. Yeah! They liked my mechanical bits. <laughs> yeah, they liked my mechanical bits, too. Oh, so those cool. very much look damaged. Um. Yes. It's okay, well, I gotta fix them. I, I don't have anything else oh, the, here for we, you we until have it he wakes ship. up. We have it on the ship. It's okay. Uh, also, question. Could you bro your brother also teach me how they you can do your prophecy right? Do, do you use cards? or what? Do we I don't know the full details, but we actually use some of the mushrooms here in the shop. Oh. Cool. That is um, that is very interesting. Yeah. Thergo grants us a one of his many prophecies. He's very graciously, though the method is not as well known to me. It's more known to my brother. I'm still not as experienced as he is. It is all good. Understandable. We, we will ask him when when they wake up. Yeah, I, I will, I will wait for that to happen. Yes. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. it. I was getting so worried. No problem. Here is. Do do we want to wait here, or would, do you want our our uh, sending stone phone number, or like how do how do you want? Oh, we can take your sending stone number. Oh sure. Here you go. It is four two eight five five five. We Green don't one have star star. Stones. Yeah, I thought we had one in the in the, the 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 ship. You have a ship number. Yeah, that's the ship number. The ship has one. Okay, let me see that again. It is uh four 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 five 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 asterisk pound sign four eight two. You got that? Uh, I I I, yes, I write she it finished down. right I, saying it down. Okay. This is go. one of the ship numbers, right? Correct, yes. Okay, I will contact you when he wakes up. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, do we... We will discuss when we go fully group up. Uh, so, Safi's at the ship taking shower right now. So yeah. You might want to hurry, Fifi, before yeah. she finishes. <laughs> Fifi, uh, hear that? Oh. Your girl showering. Oh, uh, wait, no. Hey, shower the anyway! I'll see you guys later! Bye! There's a... But, Books let's it. She left a dust cloud. How did she do that? She did. <laughs> that that is a full body it's... dust cloud. How the fuck did she do that? Listen, it, she it's like she walk... ran in one spot for like three seconds before finally moving. The cartoon run. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly. Get what it a Scooby Doo leg. <laughs> and she. It's, it's exactly. just like a. It's just like a perfect cloud of her shape. It all returns to mushrooms. Uh, uh, it turns Sophia, to mushrooms. Who's like who's like chilling in the bath just immediately like feels a shiver come over her body she's like i'm in danger <laughs> i'm in danger the, just the prowler just... the prowler theme like the <laughs> you just see uh coming up from the bathtub just fifi's face poking up 
<laughs> scream is heard throughout the city. <laughs> well, I, I, I think I did. <laughs> All right, yeah. Do you want to go anywhere before we go on the ship? Do we need to go do, do get things? I feel like we should probably get some rope. Yeah, the rope. Uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. Fifi dashing yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's oh my just... goodness. Hmm. Yeah. We couldn't we could invest some of our money for a kitchen in the ship or something. If we want to do another upgrade. Oh right, you guys eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they the eat. We eat. We need food. We could we could invest in that or we can upgrade the med bay further for other things or we can upgrade your captain's seat. Maybe. What do you mean upgrade? It's, it's, it's a chair. I don't know. You want like, the like nice things in it's your room. It's a spell jamming helm. You to, we, we put a roof above your head. What do you need a roof for? That, oh. If anything, that just obstructs my vision. Makes it harder for me to fly the ship. Ah. Okay. We could upgrade to... I don't... What was the... Above board. What was the thing that you got talking about? Like make, turning the ship to greenery or something? Oh, one of the uh, upgrades you can get like, for the Like where did you see that? Helm. Well, where did you uh, no, it's like, on the uh, uh, unjammed. Is it Base in unjammed. our? Is she, it? Yep. Is it in our Kestrel's corners thing? It's in yeah, tools. it's in the tool. It's in the tools. tools. Okay, I'm going to look through that while we're doing this. It's the uh, first link. You did it's I the think? first one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's in the vehicle magic item section. Oop. Found it. Oh, that's the discussion sheet. Hold up. But yeah, continue. Don't worry about me. I'm going to look into this. I mean, we, okay. could always, we could always look into maybe seeing price points for things. I don't know. Through, we just the ship. We got time. It it's fine. Ve vehicle magical items? Yep. Yes. Okay. We could look into things, yeah. Yeah. I do need to stop by and pitch an idea to Scooter, but I, I, I can wait. I mean, if we could, we could get, what's it called? A, a teleporter to like connect to the store, if anything. Nah, we don't need to teleport. It's okay, fine. We can walk. It's fine. This, no, no, this, no. This, like, this this city's, for, city's for not things. that big. City, this no, asteroid's no, not like, that big. For long travels, if we want to visit and like such and such. Nah, nah, it's fine. Yeah, okay. I will say like horizontally to get from one end of the city to the exact opposite end, it takes about 30 minutes of walking. Vertically is where the difficulties happen. Yeah. Mm. Listen, because I, I, we already have one of our... One of our slots is above board one of our slots is filled we have wing sails yes so we only have one slot left yeah. there are upgrades that you can get to uh increase the amount of slots but for a ship of this size the maximum will be five how, how do we see the points of that uh, um, it's on the astral up. skiff yeah, you oh, scroll down but I'm on vehicle magic items. As, as yeah, scroll, scroll up. up. <laughs> scroll up. Look for astral yeah. skiff. Yeah, uh, it's um underneath collective vehicles. It goes space galleon, astral skiff, and then the giant hermit crab. Okay, and so goes to ow, I found it. I found astral skiff. It has right. two slots on it. Oh, which is the oh, attunement, slots, attunement slots. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could One get slot the is for the wings. We have one open slot at the moment, which is why I had suggested the uh, arboreal mast. The arboreal, yeah, the arboreal mess. We could get that, but we had to see how much it cost. True. I mean, there's like we'd have to go to the could. we'd have to go to the docks regardless of that, because that's probably what all the shipwrights are gonna be out for this stuff. True. I mean, like if we if do we want a plant base? I mean, it will work with my magic, but like, do we want a plant base vehicle? I mean, listen, it, we could we could make it go so much faster. True. I mean, a boreal mass and storm, like a storm generator would be nice. But like, uh, what is the thing to add more attunements? And we're just... It's a custom one I'm giving you guys. Okay, dokie. It's not on the sheet. Yeah. I just take out the pad. We should get. We should buy one of those fancy the send the uh, sending bracelets thing where we can open up the store and everything. Listen, listen. Sending stones are expensive, man. I know, but like those those things are so pretty. I've seen some of the. Mm. Before I before I left, I saw some of the uh, the new guards have them. Listen, they I, them, they I, I, the before Naxium our first mission, I was doing a little check on some prices. Those things are expensive. Oh. Like, they are you, horrifyingly up casting them. You uh, were also checking um, at one of the like um, tourist shops that people find when they first yeah. come into the city. So uh, yeah, I, I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, we could go. I could look into Federation grades things if anything. Maybe I'll come at a cheaper price. Ah, uh, listen, I, we don't need that kind. Of, we 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 should talk with the crew before we go around just trying oh, to. Oh, I know. Something. I'm just I'm just like Guys. I'm just I'm just reading out loud. Mako, yes. Above board. Yes. Um, last session, as as the group, we kind of talked about you know Fifi being able to make sending stones. Make now. sending stones. Yes. Forgot about that. It's, it's been a week. It's been two weeks. It's been, it's been two, two weeks. weeks. I thought I would remind you. Guys. Thank you so much. Like, did they, oh, did yeah, they she, forget? Fifi can make a sending stone. We could make we make the sending bracelets. It's like a little little con thing. And they, they tell me about this thing called the interweb. Uh, apparently it is very no. useful <laughs> for stores and stuff. We can talk to those the store keeps with that. Apparently, mm -hmm. that's what people use the internet for. Yes. Um. Actually, it's the WeaveNet. Oh, the WeaveNet. The my, WeaveNet. My, who, who are you? The random oh pass. Thank you, random passerby. You can leave now. This was an AMB it's conversation. It's just secretly Erm. Gale in disguise. <laughs> he just does the erm. I pull out my gun. <laughs> Here, and you... My my eyes start glowing red. Do it! I dare you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shoot him. Okay, shoot him. What I cast Word of Radiance. <laughs> We're killing uh, this man. Are we killing? Twenty-one to hit. Why are you guys murdering? How much? We're, to we're hit. beating up this nerd. <laughs> you guys don't realize, hit. like, yeah, casual no people only have five HP. Oh, I know. <laughs> we're, 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 we're I'm like it we, we 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 pulled it. He we pulled him into an alleyway. <laughs> he said, "Do it." So I'm gonna. He says, "Do it." I'm just gonna push it onto Every, his thigh. Every, everyone's shoot, heard that. And that's, uh, uh, he said, "Do uh, it." You shoot Four him, points. and then he dissolves into. Uh, nothing. <laughs> he he threatened us, okay? Everyone, you heard that? He threatened us. It threatened? He dared me to do it! Okay. And now we continue on. I, I scoop up the ashes and then put it in a bag. <laughs> I now have bag of... What type of species was he? Yeah, you just shot a simulacrum, by the way. Simulacrum. Uh, also, so I have a nothing. bag full of fucking water. Not this hey, again. But now he knows. Mako. The next time he sees me, he it's knows. the same thing as what? It's the same you thing. You dare this guy to shoot me, and he'll get shot. Wait, was that the plate man? That was a wizard. <laughs> yeah, simulacrum. Wait, 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 simulacrum man, is like this, an eighth level that, spell. That feels too familiar, like something we experienced earlier this I, week. <laughs> fuck you, Kestrel, for bringing that up. No, what? wait, that's no guys. What did I bring up? Wait, that guy's that, that 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 was the plate thief. Oh yeah, that <laughs> the wizard. Yeah, I remember God damn that. It. But no, the, hey, it's just Elminster. Just <laughs> Elminster in disguise. That's Fuck why he came Elminster. up all It wasn't Elminster because no, he didn't met. talk for three hours just to uh, say yeah, what I said right. in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You have yeah, had he just he on. just he just said do it instead <laughs> of you will find that that course of action will lead to an, a result that will that Wait. you will have not expected so it is up to you whether or not you wish to take that action good good try nerd also i would have shot him after the five words <laughs> <laughs> Zell, just, in the just, Elminster. just the, Elminster just talking you just shoot him Zell, what if that was the 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 the, the plate throwing thief he did if, he can, can, if he has the power of making simulacrum doubles he's going to be one hell of a guy to try and catch true he did he he, he can have an a army of himself you don't even world. know if this is the dish breaking bandit no we're yeah, but this is the dish breaking bandit this, this is it this is what you get for, for introducing that character that's the dish breaking no bandit. I'm actually it's, I'm a, a, it's, a, it's a four foot five child with high level wizard spells <laughs> Okay, that's enough. <laughs> my my seven or ten rolls that were under ten say is I can do whatever I want. True. You know what? True. I mean, you are the right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're literally the god of the universe right now. Oh my god. That's yeah, you think Corey and Sinos or anything? I could destroy them in an instant. The Elminster is the villain, nah, guys. <laughs> Elminster is the bad guy. All right. We, we I wonder if we should make ship. Sebek and have you fight him at level twenty. Boop. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, okay. there's, there's, you can, there are gods in monster manuals and stuff like that you can, you can base them off of. True. Yeah. But anyways, anyways uh, do you guys make back it to the back to the ship? We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna stop by a shop real quick, buy 50 feet of rope. Uh, sure. Costs like two gold. 
Oh, by man, the way, BP's count. probably hopped in that bathtub. By the way, <laughs> just like hundred percent. Do you like what you see? <laughs> I'm running. She's just like hiding. You just in the water. You just you right above. Yeah, the bathtub like, that's on the main deck apparently. That's on you, the, you, you didn't drag your. You, you have to drag it. Marco, yeah, drag Fifi, your character. You have to drag your character. I made oh, this sorry. ship, guys. I put things in here. Hold on. I don't even know where I am. Hold there. Yeah, I am. No, there yeah. I'm going. I I went straight to the toilet. I am taking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, you're eat. taking a shit while oh, you'd walk. <laughs> no, the the door to the to the toilet's separate. right out here. Yeah, it's a separate. Yeah. Room, we yeah. hear feet walking to the bathroom. You just, like, just oh, hear the, oh, <laughs> the sound. Um, <laughs> too many candies. <laughs> I unromanticify like this bathroom. The wall. <laughs> just being like, shut you up, me old and, man. You and you are about to share a passionate moment, and we just hear. Oh, <laughs> It's like, you are well, taking too long really. in cha- in a bathtub. There is there is a moment. limit on water. Get out of there. <laughs> hey. We also got the money for you. A- you got four hundred each. Oh shit, money! <laughs> you got four hundred gold each. I finished my shit. It disintegrates in toilet. Um, I made I sure think I had now is actually a good time for a five minute break we have at most an hour and a half left um we can discuss what you guys can discuss what you guys would like to do um once you guys take this break i will say that you guys can take a long rest if you want to regain your stuff back hell fucking yeah i think i'll just wall in the med bay room is soundproof so i can sleep you have a (laughs) few different courses of action you can either um, do some more investigation on the yeah. um, on the dish breaking bandit, though it's going to be rather kid? difficult <laughs> because you don't, didn't get much info in the first place. Or you can go and deal with the uh, warehouse in the lower district. Yeah, yeah. I'll discuss that when we come back. Yeah, all right, yeah. everyone, we're going to take a five minute break to piss. Woo, five minute break. I'll I'm going right to see back. if I can grab some lunch. Yeah. All right, I... everyone, send up, stretch, get some water, get some food. We'll be right back in five minutes. All right, bye bye.
like, it's not spicy, spicy, but uh, it, it suddenly hit the back of my throat, and I was like, <laughs> guys, what if we got tendrils for the ship? No. Oh my god. What? No. So we get we get the mask, and then we get the tendrils. But like the planet Ness, it, Nexus seems pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So does Arcane Lens. Well, yeah. We like, need to get I the like... magical lens so we can make a Fifi be like a monstrous blaster for fire spells. Ooh. Yeah. It doubles the range of spells that are casted through the telescope. Nice. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Fireball. Exactly. Which or already Firebolt. has a crazy range. True. We could. Oh, there's also Imagine if we had an Eldritch Yeeting fucking uh, Warlock do that, though. All right. Yeah. What have we decided? Oh, right. Um. So, do you guys want to... <laughs> oh, by the way, it. for those who weren't here, you guys got a long rest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, pretty much... Um, new day. Long rest day. New spells. Yeah, new day. New day. So, what do we want to do on this new day? Do we want to continue to uh, investigate the plate-breaking bandit? I feel like... I feel or like he's... The, um, the plate-breaking bandit... Seems like a very high level caster. I don't think we're yeah. going to find them anytime soon, even with knowledge. Nor do we there's, have the, yeah, the map part to deal with on it. That. There's a lot of day. We have 100% an idea about the warehouse, though, right? What is the warehouse uh, about again? What are we doing? So the that? warehouse, we think uh, the the warehouse is involved with uh, kidnapping, um, kidnapping stuff. Oh. Yeah, we're doing that again. People mm. trafficking. trafficking. Yeah, people trafficking. And we're doing that for the dragon for information on uh the cunt god. Hmm. Mm. I see. I just finished my apple. Give me one moment to figure out what we need then. Um, It's around this time where you hear... Because where are you guys on the ship right now? Well, I think most... I'm in the bay... I'm in the bottom floor. So I could just. I, I would be out. too working, like making yeah, we're uh, all... small adjustments to my. I imagine arms we're now. all there since we're all talking. Through, I'll be. I'll sit so we're all just my, gathered my, up my chair. back here. <laughs> just Sophia partner. and Zell are just like both in two different corners, just leaning back. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm I'm, I'm like sitting up, up on top of the thing. <laughs> I'm on my perch. Dish. Don't don't sit on the pillow. That go. That's oh. where your head goes. You need to be on off of it. I moved down here. Clean. You just turns your butt into a head. Yeah. <laughs> you hear um, from outside the ship, hey, uh, hello, hello. We are Ooh, closed. I was, was going to go peek out with his gun in hand. Um, you see uh, standing at the, hasn't stepped into the ship yet, a Mercane, one of those large giant people from when Sophia and Fia Fifi went oh. down to the lower district. Oh, side note, Castro. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. What do you want? Is there a... Uh, Sof Sophia here? What's it to you? I have a you? message from the dragon. Uh-oh. Do I know who the dragon is? You know. It's the underbaron of the Undercity. It's from the Prophecy. Mm, all right, I'll yeah. let her know. <laughs> hey, Sophia, you got some like really tall guy here saying that he has something for the dra for you from the dragon. Uh, you want me to shoot him it, or? No, I thank you. I'll go deal with it. I cast right. guidance before you left. Oh, thank you. I'm going to do yeah, that yeah. every time at this point. Sophia, I, I, come I hope. Oh, sorry. Um, I hope you know that. Um. As soon as she heard message from the dragon, Fifi is now stalking you through the ship. <laughs> just following me, but no. She um, she doesn't trust anything the dragon has to say or do. I cast thaumaturgy on on Fifi. So Fifi's just like kind of hiding <laughs> in the boxes, like their, their eyes listening are in. White. Their eyes are glowing white. <laughs> you see the Mercane standing there. He's like mean mugging the Mercane from the shadow. In I'm one of the crates. I'm gonna hide the boxes. <laughs> I also cast thaumaturgy on Zell. Their My eyes, eyes are, are glowing. Already glowing. They're even brighter. I, I, I know they're behind me. 
I'm gonna ignore them. Do you? Do? What's your What's your passive perception? Eighteen. You do not know where I'm at. Okay. I, I just rolled a there. I just rolled a twenty eight. Okay, I don't know he's there. Spells. I'm just doing my spells. You guys go ahead. What's with my casting today? But. I do approach the, the Mercane. I go, what's the message? The message is less a message, more of an update. It as he holds out a small thing in his hand, palm up, it's sort of sitting in his hand. Oh, what is it? <laughs> this is a magical tracking stone. The Dragon came up with a new plan where before we were looking for suspicions of this uh, humanoid trafficking. But now, but now, oh. <laughs> In addition to that, if they are trafficking humanoids, then using, then giving this to one of them will reveal different locations. From what th the dragon was able to tell, this is not their final destination. And we, your new task is to find out if the trafficking is occurring and if the answer is yes, give one of the captives this stone own. then they can be tracked and it would be finally put to rest. Sophia takes the tracking device. Understood. That is all from me. He bows and then begins walking off. <sighs> was at the door. I walk out. Uh, <sighs> um, one of the dragon's many spies. Um, we have an update on the mission, which is um, when we go to investigate the warehouse, and if we find that indeed trafficking is going on, if we find cat is there, we are not to save them, but to give one of these tra this tracking device to the captives so we know where they end up. Beefy like jumps out from the boxes. You don't understand why we have to track them. If they're here, we can try and put an end to it. We can hack into the ship. Maybe they'll have the coordinations. We shouldn't have to let people go. This is no here. But we don't know if there, this could just be a separate, I, like, location. Maybe there's more, even bigger. This is definitely not our main location, if anything. The exact thought they had as well. We do not know how operations are going on. So now, happening. so now the dilemma is, do you save them and risk more trafficking happening in the future since you weren't able to find the culprit? Or not save these people now and save a lot more later. Zelda's gonna like slowly rise out of the boxes. <laughs> I, I, I have a plan. How long oh, are you in that God. box? We have a plan too. Like that's a food crate. Get out of there. <laughs> He's just staring at you. Listen, listen. I, it, don't, don't, it doesn't sit with me right to just, you know, leave people who are being trafficked to try and catch other people. Why not one of us stay behind and pretends to be a captive? Huh? Huh? Exactly what, what I was going to say. I'm small enough. I can easily do it. This can not possibly go wrong at any point. Yeah? Oh, it's, it can go wrong in so many ways at so many points. I'm just but walking hey, you know, up the stairs. Maybe we could set up our own little tracker as well and keep an eye on them so they're safe. I've been in captive situations before. I've been a captor before. I am not there. I'm going straight to the phone. I'm <laughs> no. Why uh, not sending stones? No. Why not? But wouldn't it be a smart idea if you try to give this to a captain? 
You're just gonna make them more scared. Why not use one of us? This is not our type of mission. We were told what to do and we do it to a T. We don't do extra. Unless we're paid extra. Wait, you're wait, technically so not you're even being me. paid. You're being paid in information. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, exactly. being paid. It's like, like, well, like, would they even give us more information if we would do this? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure, regardless, as no, long as they have the tracker, the dragon wouldn't. I'm pretty sure, as long as the dragon sees that, you know, the tracker follows them all the way to their hideout, they don't care whether or not we rescue the people or not. Just get, just, we'll, we'll do the, as much as I would like to save them in that so sort of way. I'd rather know the true location of where they're holding everyone. Well, yeah, we're saying that we're going to get the true location, too. And I do not want any of us stuck in that situation where we can't communicate. Exactly. If we were to do this, I would want more information if we were going to risk one of ourselves. But we're not. We so already not know we that. won't get more information. I'm highly doubting he's going to give us any useful information in the first place. If, 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 if Fifi could have a vein bulging in her head right now, she would. She's very, very, very upset. I, I've not known the pirates to be ones to give out too much of their information, especially on the higher echelons, willy-nilly. Did we you know, tell you that she's a pirate? What? I don't think I don't know did. if we told you. You guys never told I wasn't talking yeah. about her. Um, yep. Beep, you, guys, beep, you guys know what the Underbarons aliases are, but unless you actually have a connection to them, you don't know what race they are. Zell uh, speaking in reference to Sethel. Mm. He's mm. saying that space pirates aren't one to let information about their higher echelon slip out in the first place. Mm -hmm. So he's doubting that the dragon has too much yeah. super useful information. Mm -hmm. Trust me, she has the information. Um... So, Phoebe is definitely fuming a little bit at everything. She needs to take a little bit of a break, but she kind of walks up to Sophia, like, look, like, stares up, looks at her. If the dragon doesn't give us any kind of useful information, I am going to kick their ass. We are literally at the lowest Fifi. point of adventurers. Fifi kind of turns her head. You can you can see the anger in her face. Did I stutter? No. I roll my eyes. This is, this is... I don't want to see you get hurt. So no. Uh. She she just kind of turns away and walks like towards towards their their room. We still need she, to she's... discuss some things. Don't go yet. Fine. Well, now that we have more on what we need to do. So what do, what do we guys want to do? we save money for the extra parts of the ship or do, do we buy one thing now or later? I'm looking at this capital look and it's pretty nifty. The tree ant for a mask. This sounds pretty nice. How much is that? I don't know. Let me check. About 10, 10k. It's about 10k. We don't even have the money for it. <laughs> we could save some money on the side. It's just for, like, we put we put like in, in a, a savings for these items. You're putting a living magical entity into your ship. It's gonna cost a lot. It's not yeah, even yeah. a living magical entity into the ship. It's turning the ship into a tree. <laughs> yeah. So like we say, we save like what? We we save a good portion of our funds for that specific. That's gonna take a long time to do. True. A very long time. And there are other expenses that we have to take into account. That is also true. We also if we get to... paid big for a job in the future, definitely consider it. But for now, so let's focus on other stuff. So technically, we're doing this job for free, other than information. The only other paid job we have access to at the moment is the whole break. The plate Remember, break it's either we, we do this job it. or I go sell myself. Yeah. What? Here, here! Oh, oh! You, you that is really, a, that is really the shouldn't first, have said that. On, the first time with Beefy that. being already angry. <laughs> what do you mean, sell yourself? Excuse if me. I that's hear what you say that one more time. The no. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Everyone, we go to the med bay. We're out in the open. We will discuss this indoors. Close the I mean, docking door. I can just door. close the. 
I can just close the door. You can door. just close the docking door. Yes, close the docking door, please, before we discuss any fur things further. All right, all right. <laughs> My goodness, everyone, Jesus. Come over here, at least farther away from the open close areas. The door. Starts walking all the way back downstairs. Come over here. We go in. We go in sitting room where we can all face each other and talk. It's a really tight room, though. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone. In all right. So, step one. What do you mean by by those words you said earlier? The dragon Without wants saying to work the word. For her. So to work for her. again or that's exactly what she wants she wants me to work for her and if we do this mission you don't have to i don't have to but she won't give us all of the information we could just jump ship area and just go to next area to find another I mean, we don't have good. to do it or not i know but do you have to sell yourself i'm sorry i said the word again my apologies you have to work for her again? That's It's either that or we just go, you know what? No, thank you. We changed our mind. Nah. Is she our only method of getting information on, on no. the Kant God? No. The one, she's the one that I know of and the one that I know we will guarantee to get information from her. Useful. Listen, guaranteed. Uh, uh, I'm going to be debating the whole, like, how useful the information is going to be. I mean, you know, I... she was the one that told you guys that Sethel was the offspring of the solar so, yeah. and lunar dragon. So that's Which already... <laughs> we, we, me, that. and, me and Zell have not been told that whatsoever. Yeah. So are you sure this is good information? Like, or correct information? Yes. You could just be pulling your, your the, what this is called, your tie bow. Huh? And, uh, pulling your strings? Or something. Pulling my leg? Yes, that is it. She could just be pulling your Why leg. Why would you just... not know that saying? You I... have legs. I do have legs. I don't know what pulling leg is. Pulling string is like puppeteering type thing. She's like puppeteering them. Trust me, Ben. I've already thought of it. We could find information other in other methods. There are more rev like avenues of information <laughs> we can delve into. You know how I know she knows? Oh, She's uh... a space pirate. Okay, now I don't want to do this at all. Pirate as in the the people or pirate as in the whole Jeez, scavenger space seat? space pirate. Now I don't want to do this mission at all then. Thank you for telling me this. But she's one I trust. I, we should still do it. There's a lot of innocent people that could be her. I mean, we got 100% we should do the, the warehouse job, 100%. There's a reason man. why she is taking interest in this. It's because she's not like other space pirates. She's an actual, generally nice person. Uh huh. Yeah, people, 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 people. Sure. No, that is actually is. debatable. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone be a nice to person Sophia wouldn't want to have you sell to, yourself. To, to Sophia's standards, she's a generally nice person as to what she has seen. Hmm. <laughs> I, the bar is so low. The bar is it's very, very low. Bar. <laughs> that I mean, Phoebe's bar is pretty bar. low too, but she's still, she's still like, no, uh, uh. Bar so low you can limbo it. Bar so low bar you can so jump over it. Bar so low you can it. step over it. Yeah. <laughs> like I bar don't. Bar so low that bacteria crawl over it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't. I. I. I rather this go pro proper channels. I rather not work for, like, do something I mean, for her at all. Here, technically speaking, it is proper channels. Yes, the there is no law here, or at least not established. The, the underbarons are essentially the, the yeah. law here. So the she fucking, being uh, an underbaron means uh, that the dragon is in fact the proper channel. Zell, can you roll me a history check? And with the with the, the volunteer federation here and the. The autonome. I, I don't trust them and either. As like, far as I've seen, nobody else has been so, uh, putting out bounties for 17? this. Seventeen. Yeah. Um, Zell, you know that the underbarons, while they do try and sort of work against each other, they are also in some instances forced to work with each other. And one thing that you do know from working under Serena is that one of the 
uh, meetings between the Underbarons, they all collectively agreed, like, it was almost, it was basically unanimous that trafficking of any people is very bad and should not be done. So this is one thing that they all agreed on unanimously. So even if they might have, the dragon might have ulterior motives, you know that this is not something that would be a case. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't. Bit, bit. There's not a whole lot of laws on the asteroid. Trafficking people is one of the few things that is against those laws. That's a unanimous thing. It doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah. Whether you're the lowest or the highest districts. All the parents agree. It's not to happen. Hmm. Okay. But I'd rather not have any of us pretend to be slave or uh, uh, captured, kidnapped, or whatever. I agree with that. I and we are agree with that. not doing that. That is not on the board. That is not even on the table. We yes. are not it doing not. that. And I'm looking at both of you. Zell's rolling his eyes. You can't roll eyes. You have eyes. You have like, lights. <laughs> I like the thing. He rolls like, her oh. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, there, there, there are orbs with the lights on them. He can uh, roll his eyes. Don't worry, right. Zell. I'll roll. Our, I'll roll my eyes for both of us. Uh, they just like spin, like rest. spinning she in like opposite directions. She pulls too. out a pair of fake eyes out of a bag and just rolls them across the floor, like the googly eyes. <laughs> oh my god! Just... Oh, she has she has those glasses with like the eyes on like the uh, springs. Springs. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's, it is up to our, as much as you hate the title, Captain. It is your choice. You tell us what to do and we follow. <laughs> Dunk's head against the wall. You have to accept the title at some <laughs> point. The ship is in your name. We should make all some right. cards all for right, our group. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Command us, lead us, leader. Seriously. What are we doing? Well, if we are all willing to do this job, I look around at the group. <laughs> Originally, the plan was I was going to have me and Zell sneak into the warehouse. <sighs> I was thinking perhaps a distraction team outside. I'm not quite sure on it because I don't want you you two I'm like looking at Pit and Phoebe to have anything happen to you but we don't quite know what the security is we don't know how many men are going to be there hey Phoebe Phoebe just stands up extendo legs pulls out some knives I was born to be no. a distraction. No. Hey, Phoebe. Oh. Phoebe. <laughs> okay. That's a that's a great trick. Uh, how good are you at making small scale explosives? Yes. And if anything, we could get sending. St I, Fifi, you mentioned uh, like yes a few days ago that you can make sending stones. We could have inter that's interconnection communication from the outside and in. That pulls out like a few, like at least one or two standing stones that she had already made, like the following days. Oh, that is also very smart. Okay. I, 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 I remember we talked about it, but then no one ever asked, so I just we, kind of it, we, made there, some anyway. There was a lot of things like in conversation, and we did a lot of things, so it, it, it is very much appreciated. We've had a, a really busy couple days. It is very much True. appreciated. Uh, I'll, I'll hold, wait, so. Who is going into sneak team then? The, well, the I'm pretty sure. Because so, the most important thing about this is infiltration. Yes. So Dragon made it quite clear that she doesn't want a stir. Okay, so we can't do the distraction route then if they don't want a stir. I mean, we can make a distraction to make them like guards move around and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I suggested small scale explosives. Get them all spooked. I'm trying to see if I have any spells for that can that assist. That but... or because if I remember correctly, uh, we we have to be in uh the the warehouse is near the the lower district or the dock. I can't quite remember. It is by a dock. It is by a dock. Okay. 
I do have something that can assist, but we need an hour. We well, have an I hour. Mean, me and Sephiroth will need time anyway. She's going to have to, you know, okay. lead me around so I can understand some of the terrain a bit so, better. Yes. I open my, I, I take out the, like, my, my bibble of the city. I can cast a ceremony for, let's say, two people? One person. Currently. I could cast a dedication ceremony, which will have, if you dedicate yourself to my god, you will get assistance. Basically, for the next 24 hours, you get, whenever you make a saving throw, you can add a d4 and add the number of rolls to that save. And oh. so I can only do it on one person. I was about to say oh. wedding, but I need, I, I don't think you and Zell want to get married. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Listen, all, all the wearing does gives you a plus one to the AC when you're close enough. Oh, to plus other. two. Plus two to oh, AC. Plus two. Yeah. I mean, look, look, uh, also, saving throws doesn't help too much with like stealth checks and stuff because those are checks, not save throws. And you can benefit from this right only if you're widowed, apparently. Damn. Uh, uh, wait, a creature uh, can benefit from this right again only if widowed. Oh, so if, if you go. Yeah, yeah for marriage. Uh, there is also a funeral rite, but you're not dead yet. Um, Working on it. Any any of you coming of, Is any of you coming of age? Are you, any of you a young adult? What's coming of age? So like from young adult to adult, basically. Oh, I was always technically an adult when I was born, so. Okay, so I can't do that. So the only thing I, mean, I like can my do early is, mid twenties. So. Yeah. So the only I, thing I I'm can. I'm almost forty. We could do the dedication. And Zell? If you would like. One of you. We could do a dedication ceremony to give this to you. For the next 24 hours. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Basically, you have blessed for the good next with 24. That. I, think we, I think our time is better spent on getting a lay of the land, setting up things for the distraction team. All right. I, I just wanted to say I had, I had that to add basically a bless. Without it's me okay. being there. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Other than that, I don't have much other than thunder wave. Hey, I mean that makes noise. True. Have mm. access to any other cleric spell, or do I have to keep learning new spells every level? Well, you have all your spells learned. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, you oh, I have all up. my spells learned. Yeah, when you when yeah. you level up and gain new spell slots, you learn every spell of that spell slot, and then on yeah. long rests. You choose spells. Oh, yeah. it's the same thing with it's... your druid spells. Okay, so that didn't occur to me. So I let me look at my act. Let me look up the cleric yeah, spell list. Actually, just Real so you know, uh, for your druid spells, because cleric oh, yeah, I also and have druid, druid share spell I levels. I forgot about that. Because druid, you oh share goodness. your spell levels between the two, you yeah. learn every spell from both lists for those spell slots. Oh yes. my god, I have a lot of. I, There's a lot of uh, spells. I mean, you're going to be miserable recording. No, all don't of them. worry. I <laughs> I literally have a wizard that knows every wizard spell in, say, in, on Monday. I only have level one oh. spells currently for both because oh, I'm, only, one. I'm a level okay, okay. two druid yeah. and a level one cleric. Yeah. So if you give me some time, I, I will look up things for that I can give you, if anything. I can cause an That's earthquake. Fine. You want me to cause an earth tremor? No, no. because they're most likely just a bunker downside of well. I could charm one of them. I know my my good looks can I do mean, that. If that run into, might if actually be better. I can if you run into one, that could work. Clerics. Yeah, let's see. Charm person. Charm person's really good. That yeah, that is. I'm a... also looking at. I'm just looking at. I can cast decompose on them. They, they, I'm pretty sure they'd be dead for that, don't they? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Castro, would you let me cast decompose on a living body? <laughs> As no. I just said, <laughs> Damn. Don't, do not kill anybody. <laughs> got you, got you. Uh, we're, not, we're trying not to raise suspicion too got, much. I could attempt to command again. No. The turn person the track is. Record, that, I'm not trying to say it's bad, it, but it, it will track work record with that. one time. One day it will work. I swear to God. I swear to say, say command say only works for like uh, literally a few seconds. Charm I could tell them to the jack best. it off. I could command them to goon. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a one word command: gooning. Goon. Goon. Just goon right there. 
But it's also up to interpretation. So it's up to that person's interpretation of the command. True. Insane. What the fuck? Damn, they're just you like, imagine, this person I, is I screaming. Have... <laughs> that is like a metal pipe. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're they're fucking. I, I, also, I also have the magical tinkering, and I can make a lot of. I can make something do a what vast variety of different things. You can, I can make, make it, sound it like, like a high weird wine. You can. You can make annoying noises. You can make a pipe that makes explosion sounds. Exactly. Or I can just make a pipe that goes woo. Wild. What is wild cunning? <laughs> oh, it's a different. It's a different view. Oh, it's a ritual. Okay. It's spiritual aid. For, spirits of nature will aid you in things. Oh, that's interesting. That's for a later thing. But yes, uh, so Charmed Person is the only thing I can currently cast then. And I can put uh, this effect on three different, three, three, uh, three things. Yeah. The same thing, same, I can only do the same thing on three different things. Which is fine, because then I can make multiple different areas sound like they're exploding. I'm pretty sure you can have a different one for each one, for each object. Uh, it just it replaces says... it replaces the effect okay. if you change it on that object. You can bestow mm -hmm. magic on multiple objects, touching one object at a time you use this feature. So a single object can only bear... Oh yeah, a single object can only bear one property. Okay, I got you. I got it. I can also uh, cast Long Strider on on one of you. It'll last an hour. I remember mm. I only have energy for three spells currently. I, so I think it'd probably be better for you to hold them and use like Charm Person. Charm Person will only affect one yeah. person though. Yeah, but no one will know that they're charmed. <laughs> yeah. Once again, we don't know how many people are we going can't... to be there. Okay. You know, we don't know the numbers exactly. I mean, it would be suspicious if they do have a lot of people guarding this place. Also, if since you guys are going to go in, we should go to the back to the apothecary. We got 50% off. You could buy healing potions. Also, we are, we are yeah, waiting for a call. To, yeah, I'm, I'm going, well, I'll be right back. I'm going to... But I agree with whatever you guys going to do other than okay. trying to pretend you're one of them. I'm going to go upstairs and go check on the, the phone calls. <laughs> okay. If you have not gotten the rest call back. I, I, I can think just... he's getting an actual oh. I'm not, I'm I'm gonna call them. <laughs> Basically. Let's see. Is everything okay on your end? Is he awake? Um he's still asleep. He's always been a bit of a heavy sleeper, but um yes. still no updates yet. Okay, but okay, we will so no. we will stop by uh, uh in a in a bit to get some things. Okay. Yes. Bye bye. Okay. Um. But uh. Yeah, I I think our our. You can main... make it smell bad. Oh, that's crazy. I can. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> All right. The the. Oh my god! The send them on still... a wild goose chase to find the ro the okay. rotting the meat. Brother's still asleep. <laughs> He's still All sleeping. Right. So, no 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 prophecies from there. But I told her we'll be be there in a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Yes. Um, but yes, agree. Get health potions. But once again, we're not supposed to fight or cause no a stir. So got you. That's that's why me and Zell are going in. <laughs> yes. Uh. Now I could cast bless on both of you. I could bless you both before you go in. That's, that's true. We don't have to be in there for a long time. We just have to confirm if the captives are there or yes. not and that is the only thing you are doing correct well if they are oh, yeah. there then we have to slip in one of the oh, yeah uh, the yes thing. just Which, slip in track give track. tracker Which, then leave i'm not afraid of doing because well and you know she does like weird shit with the body i could um potentially kind of in myself out and, okay whoop, real fast and get the fuck out i mean i could always try and take up a higher position then if you get to that and just if anything happens signal you we still need to scope out the building yeah we could oh, yes. i mean so we could, that's probably be part of our prep we could scope yeah, out the prep part you know get get yeah. an actual look at the outside 
How about this? We split up for this? right now. Me and Fifi will go and get the potions. You two scout out the place. Yeah? Uh, Alright. Well, here. Have a 50 gold for Fifi. the potion. Fifi. You want 50? Yeah. Depend on the sp- Put a pin on that small thing. All right. So you're giving me fifty gold currently, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's my potion. I'm putting in my cost for my potion. <laughs> but you. Oh my god. I have. I have a feeling. Wait. Zell and Fifi are gonna turn into pranksters. They have an invisibility potion. That'd oh. be really nice. Oh, I think she told me what she had earlier because they haven't been making oh. one in a bit. I don't think they have invisibility. Just um, double check. Please. I will. I will double check. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, alright. That is it. Alright, anything else do we need? Do you want... Do you have... Uh, these tools? Do you want to go to other other places to buy things? Do you need uh, anything so else? Do not worry, and I uh, pat the uh, the pouch that's on my thigh. I got my thieves tool right here. Alright. Okay. Oh, don't worry, I'm good too. You see that like, kick the bottom of his boot, a little pocket opens up, he pulls his tools out. No. Oh. Put okay. him back into his boot. All right. Then. See, I used to have them in my body, but sometimes the pack gets opened and everything spills out inside of me. And it's annoying. All right. Uh, I'm already a lot of metal, so. Mm, fair. Okay. The earth. Yeah. Yeah, there was an earthquake earlier. I caused it. Four point eight. Four point eight. I cast it. Oh, tremor. Wow. All right. Oh so, my god, that was really powerful. It is. It was. It, it was all the way from New Jersey. It yeah. originated in New Jersey. Oh, damn. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing over there in New I Jersey? Jesus. No. <laughs> All right. So, Fifi, let's go. Let's go get, let's go get things. Yeah. All right. All right. Go, let's go stake out. Go say goodbye to your wife. Uh, 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 I, I already I left. I, already, the door. <laughs> I, I, I just I already am walking out. I love saying Fifi. Fifi, Fifi you does stop and gives Sophia oh. a hug and then kind of whispers to her, I'm sorry about getting angry, but... Open the door. Oh, okay. It's all right. Oh, before before I leave, I remember... I love you, and she gives you a kiss on the head and then runs out. <laughs> remember, I could cast ceremony, a wedding for you two later. I am only 22. <laughs> <laughs> That's legal. It's legal. Uh, <laughs> fucking run. <laughs> and I am 103. That is fine. Just fucking Fifi, let's go. <laughs> Zal is going to catch up. <laughs> yep, Fifi's going. Hold on. I run away. I keep from forgetting that I should probably move things. <laughs> yeah. So, so the thoughts on what's your thoughts on ceremonial marriage? <laughs> wow. That is the conversation. I've never really seen a cere- ceremonial marriage before. Things were done differently at the circus. So. Oh, I mean, like, it is, it is good. You have many benefits. Other than taxes, you'll get many benefits from this. All right, so you guys head back over like... to the... <laughs> the apothecary first. Apothecary? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hello, just Phoebe a... tells Bit a wonderful story about a marriage she saw at the circus between ty- between the uh, oh. trapeze artists. Oh. oh my goodness! And how are they doing? Uh, <laughs> last last I knew, they burned up in a fire. Oh, I see. Well, at least they are together. True. All right. So I have fifty from <laughs> from Safi. So I have currently five hundred. <gasps> In my Don't inventory. ever let her hear you call her that. <laughs> Sophia. So, <laughs> Sarah, what all are you willing to snappy. buy? All right. Uh, so what do? So hello, hello again. Hello. We are here to buy some things. And I question one more time. I know I have written it down, but I just want to know again. What potions do you have? Well, we have all sorts. We have healing potions. We have, um. We have some invisibility potions here and there. And quick question. How long can you make a potion of hypnosis? I remember you talking about using the moon caps for that. Could that work? It would, but making potions is probably going to have to wait until my brother wakes Mm. up. Oh, we do need that, but it's okay. I will will say though, once we do get these growing and we have a consistent supply of them, 
we would very much be able to provide some for you. Um, that would be most wonderful. Or if something we could make like into glasses. Like we could put the liquid to hypnotize and such. But yes, um, other than that, it, we will discuss it a further date. Well, it's more along... Mm, give me one second. Okie dokies. It's more along the lines of... It's not really a potion per se more of a liquid spell scroll yes that um, is what would... when you drink it it allows you a one-time cast of hypnotic pattern yes and uh, you're sure you cannot make that right now by any chance uh, i don't if it was a different potion i would but given that my brother knows more about the moon caps than I do, and I would rather not be moon touched like he was. Understood. Now, quick question: They had to touch the moon caps to become moon touch, correct? Well, there's multiple ways. Um, so I can't just throw it at someone and they become moon touch. It's not as simple as that. Oh. Um, it it's. More of exposure over time. Oh. Um, and even then, people have innate resistances to it. True. Mm. Also, do you want more of that? Because if we can make the potion? I mean, more is always welcome. I'd be happy to pay you, but... Oh, here you uh, go. Here's uh, 18 more. Oh, oh my actually, goodness. Can, can I have the gloves so I can pick, get the bag for you? Oh, I've... yes, yes, yes. Here. Okay, I take the gloves and I... Put the bag on the table. There was eight. I could get more because there's an entire cavern full of it. Oh, that's oh where my, so... that's where we met your god. Sure. Um, you still don't believe? I, I am a cleric of the Federation. I do not lie. It, there's there's not been a single report of Thergo showing up themselves in any physical form so it was you being the first one he was in a what looks to be a m corpse ridden mushroom with a large mushroom cap on top that would sometimes open its eyes and speak prophecies i don't i mean the mushrooms track but otherwise i wouldn't know okay but yeah the, it is in that cave but if you want us, we we could get it for you. It would cost uh, the amount that you would need to be paid for said lunar caps. If you want us right. to get more. Um, I uh, shouldn't be doing this. She takes out um, a small pouch um, and like fills it up with some gold. Uh, here's 50 more gold for the moon caps. Thank you very much, and we will be using this to buy potions from you anyway. Um, uh, what? Po the, how much was the invisibility potion for two? Um, for two, it's usually it would be four hundred, but I'd be willing to part with it for two hundred. Okay, okay, so that's two for two hundred and a uh, health potions, uh, the regular kind, the the the, uh, the cheaper end. I believe not... you said the. Uh, I remember you telling me the seeds from the morels were fifty um, that you cut down to twenty five. Yes, uh, yes. I will sell them to you for twenty five. So the potions you'll sell for twenty five. Yes. Okay. But we don't have a lot. Oh, how much we do you have? Um. Realistically, I could part with maybe six of them. So six. I need stock for other customers. That is too. perfectly fine. I will take the 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 six. All right. That will be three hundred and fifty gold. One hundred and fifty gold plus the two the two invisibility would be three fifty. Correct. I believe so. Yes. Okay. Uh, we will take that then. All right. She gives them to you. And if you want us to find any more ob uh, mushrooms or anything. Uh, I will. Um, let us I can know. see if I can put together a list of ones uh, we're missing please, that we're looking for. Please do. I would. We would love to help. Do you want anything, uh, Fia? Fifi? I think so. 
I don't uh, think I really need anything. You sure? <laughs> like she got something to amplify sound. Do you have anything to amplify sound? Or make the hearing sensitive for other people? Not unless you drink it. I don't uh, think it's it'd be... A, it's a lot of drinking ones. Can we not just throw it on them and the liquid will just go seep into our skin? Let me see. Hold on. Thank you um, so very much. She looks and... Well, I got this, but it's not very useful. I'll sell it to you for about 10 gold, I would say. Oh, but the... It? it has like a grayish clear liquid inside of it. What does it Basically, called? if I'm it it it's not a lot there, but if you pour this over top of someone, then I would assume they take they would uh, I don't even know the full effects. Oh, so it's random. Well, I know it has to do with sound. It enhances sound that passes through it. I don't know all of the details. There was something what? my yeah. my brother said it was a useless potion, but but we'll take if it. If it's something you want, then you can have it. Sure, I I will I will pay the pay for the lot of it, and I hand you over all gold. Okay, so I will let you know the use of this potion. This potion, oh, yes. um, when when it someone drinks it or it is thrown at someone like in Baldur's Gate um the coded person for the next immediate turn until the, it comes back to the person who threw it um they take double damage from thunder ooh that is very good it only affects one person and it only lasts for the one round I will be saving that for later. At this point, we will we will find the, we will find use for this. Thank you so much. But yes, the uh, the list uh, what you need. So, well, I I have to make it still. It I, it'll take a while to make. All good. You can leave a message on the 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 sending phone. I I believe they have that. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I'll keep that in mind. Yes. Okay. So we will be off then. We have uh, other things to get started on. Yes. And now we can cut over to the people who are. Sorry, for... sorry, Michael, for Stop taking team. over. The people who are about to die. Don't die. Most of us yeah. Time, it's time to get sneaky. We got two time invis potions and six health. And a funny <gasps> gray one. Oh. Back a to... funny gray one! <laughs> so you guys go back down to the lower city. You yeah. go to the... This is my first time down here. What do you see? Like you go to, to the like, address hmm. that you were given by the dragon. And as of right now, you are able to... You find it fairly easily. It's not super hard. But you do see if I can pull them up. Um, let's put this person here. You see two. Let me just move it over. So, this is a this this map has three layers. The Jesus. left hand side you're able to see fairly easily. It is the um the roof. You see three um um air in devices like the uh basically yeah. like I don't remember the ventilation. the ventilation as well That's as two two windows that go across the top. Mm -hmm. um, and on the right side, you see the exterior ground floor. Um, there is more to view, but you cannot see it from there. Um, not shown on this, there is a... 
be just because I couldn't make the map big enough. But okay. um, looking at it on the outside, there is a way in. There's like a like one of those metal stairways and catwalks that go up. Mm -hmm. And this building does have like a fence on it. Mm, okay. So from what you can tell, there are um, a few different ways you can go. Uh, number one, you can go in through the front entrance, but you'll most likely be seen by whoever's guarding, and you do see that there is a dwarf sort of just standing about the front. Um, clearly a guard of some sort. Okay. So we're definitely going to need that distraction. Um, you also see not shown on the uh, on the map, but on the south end um, of the building is the catwalk, and there is a door that goes inside. Mm. And you see a half-orc that's just sort of standing there, resting on the railing, looking out. Mm. Okay. Um, can you roll me a perception? Me? Yes. Oh, okay. I'll roll one too, just in case. Yeah, you roll one too. I'm definitely going to need a new option. Uh, 30 20. I got 30, a natural 20. Okay. Oh, natural 20. Fuck. That's, okay. That's 27 total. Based on your own experiences with um, infiltration and other things, tinkering and all that stuff, you know that the that there it is most likely another way in through the roof um and even with the roof there is an addition there's two ways you can go and you can either um because assuming that this is a warehouse that exterior catwalk probably goes inside onto another catwalk over top mm. and on top of that so you can probably <laughs> land on that catwalk through the windows. Okay. And another thing is, these um, aren't like full-on air conditioners. These are like air outtake yeah. ventilation. ventilation. So <laughs> what you could do is you could um, actually break into one of these and end up on the inside. Squeeze me in there. Yeah, Sophia would be perfect for doing that specifically. Yeah. Uh, on the north side is there like any windows or anything like that or is it just straight wall um on the north side it's like on on this side of the building the north side is actually um because this is up against the docks there doesn't seem to be any windows on the north side you do see this sort of grate here um if you're looking on the right side yeah. up here, um, there does seem to be a sort of sewer duct that goes inwards, but you probably think that's not the cleanest way to go, and there are better options. I'm just trying to see about places for easy ways to get onto the roof without having to go through the catwalk. Yeah. There are, I will I say the fence, <laughs> the fence is sort of barricading the front entrance, but if you actually go from the, um, like, if you go from the east side, mm -hmm. you could use one of the other rooftops to jump on because mm. there is no direct entrance on the east, eastern wall. Yeah. But you could... Um, fairly easily make it on top of the roof. Because yeah, um, I, I do still side. have me and Sophia both actually have grappling yeah. hooks. I was thinking the fence isn't gonna stop me. <laughs> like, well, we don't want we don't really want to approach from the fence side anyways because that's by the doorway, right? That's on the front. Yeah. The well, yeah. there's a fence that's around. Yeah, the entrance is on the west front. side. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought, like... And there's this dwarf patrolling as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I thought the fencing was, like, wrapping around the whole place, and I was just like, well, if I just 
come out to the back, you know, approach from the ground level. But we can, uh, we could definitely either jump yeah. from roof to roof. That shouldn't yep. be too big a problem. But also, if we oh, need yeah, to I get have from the ground, acrobatics. if we need to get from the ground level, we can also just straight up use our grappling hooks. Mm. Yeah. Also, if you do go on to the, if you guys want, it does seem like there's no one sort of surveying this east turn wall or the northern wall because the northern wall does actually go out towards the uh towards the docks that you were told about mm, yeah that that is a good place to approach from hmm. so the if you guys want even right now you could go to the northeastern corner grapple up and just do a bit of surveillance like you can look through the yeah look, um, through. look through the windows on the top yeah i mean that'd be a really good thing to do Especially, yeah. it gives us information to make sure there's no one on the roof, and then we can yeah. see inside and get a situation. Crappling hooks away! Alright, then in that case, let me... You guys can drag your dudes out here. <gasps> or up to the corner, wherever you guys want. That way you guys can control them. Done. Dun da 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 dun 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 no 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 dun 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 Oh no. Ah, oh, where's my token? Oh no, I'm a little bit dumb. Go to you the character sheet and just drag your your name onto the map. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You're so smart. Oh my god. We Ah there I am. Dun da 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll make stealth checks, I assume. Yeah. Go ahead. Make sure we don't make too much noise while going around the roof and stuff. Yeah. Because as we are experiencing on my end, you know, it can be pretty fucking loud. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I rolled a 27 for stealth. I got a 24. Fortunately, you beat everyone's passive perception, so. Stealth. <laughs> Two rows. So. Stealth together. <laughs> I say we look at those air vents real quick, just get a good check on them. All right. And then we can get a check through the windows. Idea. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, these are pretty sizable air intakes. It'd be pretty, basically what this, these are just so that air can pass through in and out and just keeps air sort of consistent within the building. Mm -hmm. So Is that no like one suffocates fan? when... Yeah, so there's no, like, inside fan or anything like that. Um, you can tell if... And this is coming from someone who does not know this sort of <laughs> <laughs> machinery very well. So uh, I'll uh, say, if there is a fan attached into the network but isn't on those intake and outtakes, then there's going to be a fan system inside the ventilation at some point to pull yeah. the air. But it doesn't have to necessarily be on these caps. These caps mm. could just literally be filters that pull. You can also sabotage them and just turn them off. No one True. will notice if that there was for a like a few yeah. hours. Oh yeah, no, that's that's what I was thinking. I was like, because in my pack that I have, I have uh, those little uh, things for like rock climbing. Uh, uh, what are pittons. they called? Yeah, I have pittons. pittons so I was yeah. Yep. So I was either going to use that or I have a crowbar. So either way, yeah. I can I can make them but, stop. But yeah, you can sabotage them decently easily, but they would know this after a few hours. Yeah, which that's fine. <laughs> I mean, if we needed to, we'd also just cut the power to that thing and then just reattach the power before when we leave. Ooh, that is true. Yeah. Let's be in and out before they know. All I'm right, surprised so... no one's looked in the... Well, we're, we're checking the vent first before we looked in. Yeah. So now we're going. Now we're over there. Stealth solo. So, <laughs> from here, go around. So he's in between. So he can check out both windows. Oh yeah. You see. As I'm revealing this, hold on one second. I think that's the main catwalk we see. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yes. 
a man. That's probably the half work. That's actually a Hedozi. Oh, monkey person. Uh, yeah, inside. So we got a dwarf outside with a half orc, and then we have yeah, a, half orcs a, on the uh, on the walk on fire. the outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was keep thinking of fire escape, and then uh, and now we have a hun a a hun Hedozi. Oh God. a Hedozi on the inside on the catwalk. So if I sneak into the catwalk part, that will be a bit of an issue trying to deal with him. Yeah. Another man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the left hand side is the roof, the middle one is the catwalk, and the right one is the ground floor. This is what you currently see. No, we don't see currently anywhere where they're keeping the people, but there is space that we haven't seen yet. So we would have to assume um, that probably somewhere around here or so would be people. I will say you. I can reveal the rest of that. So now you see the entirety of the left side and the middle. Yeah. So, um, there are, but after a second, you do see coming out from under the catwalk. Oh. Tiefling. Tiefling. And then they're they the tiefling and the human begin talking with each other. You can't quite make out what they're saying. Um, and then after talking for a bit, moves back over this way. And uh, goes over to this side and starts looking through some of the boxes. Um, the human does seem to be uh Resting up on some sort of shipping box, though. Oh, it yeah. could be the shipping box. Mm -hmm. Could be the shipping box, yeah. Just thinking. So, obviously, do we see anywhere where the ventilation kind of pokes through? Um, um, you can tell that the topmost one. Um, will come out here. Mm. Just right in the middle. Mm. The middle one most likely comes out to some sort of office area here, bit from what you can assume. Okay. And then there's a third one down here, which might be for the... Which might be for the... Um, more of the garage, but you can't quite tell... Um, yeah, it could be a different yeah. room, could be more offices, you, you, you're you not sure. Yeah. Alright. Mm. Okay. I mean, we have an easy way for you to get in, but finding a way for me to get in... Well, also... You are able to go through the window, but... Yeah, so far it's, uh, it's looking... You... Yeah. Because we're, we're players, if... us pl uh, you know, Let's characters see. are working off on, on the knowledge that they don't have invisibility potions. But I take it that players... this is another door, but right, like this is a loading door. That's a yeah, that's yeah. a garage type of door, loading door. All right. uh, so... And do I see any other windows, like on the sides? Um, you do see some windows on the south end, but um. Mm. You also see some on this end, too, but they're so high up that it'd be kind yeah. of... And they seem to... they Like, they would go out onto the catwalk as well. Yeah. Like, it looks like they don't got a lot of guys, but they got a lot of guys positioned very well, so... <laughs> I mean, they are guarding the place. So, hmm. if we can just I mean, get a slight distraction to where an opening can fit in, I could squeeze through and then stealth my yeah. way through. Like here, just here's the making thing. sure that I can get to a position where I can stealth. The catwalk. I'm not too. Because we can knock that guy out. Like me and you together, if we work together and act fast, we could just knock him out, and you're safe to be up there.
I'll just reveal this guy here too, just for posterity's sake. <gasps> Another that's, man. That, that's the outside guy. That, the half yeah, that's yeah. the guy on the outside. Okay. So half orc. Yep. Yeah. Okay. If we can shove something in their mouths, we can choke them out. That is true. And hit both of them at once. We shove me into their mouth. <laughs> Just drown them. We can actually literally do that. You could. It'd be gross, but you could do it. I... Like, Sophia looks you dead in the eyes and she goes, Listen, I have no dignity. I'm willing to do it. We could also see if we can get some sort of sleep aid and just, you know, drug them. It's another thing okay, we Okay, but that's a little bit boring. <laughs> that doesn't involve you drowning people. I Listen, I have advantage on grappling checks. <laughs> I will say the entrance is, like, down in this corner, sort of. Okay. And it's not, like, a direct open entrance at the moment. It's, like, a door. It's, like, a door. Yeah. yeah. So we could actually just take out the, or, or, uh, the ogre. Orc. But then, orc. Or orc, yeah. Have one person up top. So I, you could go down and have that half orc. Then I could be up top and hit the window and then sign you when the guy's not looking at the doorway. So you can slip and I... in and grapple him and knock him out, too. Then I could slip on it down. Mm -hmm. I'm very willing to do this. Because <laughs> that seems like probably the most profitable way for us to get a good grasp of the location. And then from there, you can either slip through the vent, go back out, slip through the vents, or you can just go from up there. Right. I could like lower a rope or something and let you just slip on down. It does sound very good, yes. Yes, yes, it's all coming together. <laughs> mm. All right. I think we got a good couple of ideas so far. Let's go back, wait for the others, and see what they have. Also, do you know anyone who's good at making daggers? <laughs> he says as they start walking back. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I'll let you know. <laughs> Me, me and Zell are bonding over this. <laughs> this is bonding right now. <laughs> and we're talking about ceremonies and weddings. And the benefits <laughs> of, and taxes. Yeah, you two are talking about yeah weddings, all that. And me and him are just being like, so I go grapple this guy and I shove my entire hand down this. <laughs> <laughs> and Love the energy. Back at the ship. Did we want yeah. to buy anything uh, else while we're out here? You don't think so. I think we're good, yeah. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright. So we meet back at the ship. Yeah. Okay. And that's how the... And that's how the fire ended. Oh, really? God. Trauma bonding with him. Trauma bonding. Whoa. I mean, I did tell you about my dead husband, so it's, it is perfectly fine. We both know each other. Yeah, that's how I ended up with these cool hands. Yeah, and I still wear his wedding ring on my horn. It, it's still there. It oh, is everything. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. He's always with me, no matter where I go. Oh, hey, guys. Hi. Uh, hey. Oh, hello. So, do you want the ceremony, like, like years from now, or mm. maybe a month or two? I will get back to you that... I, I, he mm. really wants to cast that spell. I really, really want to cast, cast ceremony. ceremony. <laughs> there is actually a kind of funny thing. Uh, the wedding ceremony actually does have a time duration. Yeah, which is It funny. will actually end. The wedding ends immediately. And that's like the honeymoon phase. It lasts a but day. What, what's funny is that you can't recast it on the same two people. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. That's weird. Can we reword yeah, that so it's till death do us part? Till death do us part. Or until three or, weeks from now. No, until three weeks. And also bless water. I could make you holy, technically. Uh, holy, yeah, holy. The entirety of Sophia holy. I can bless. Lady punches. I can bless. I don't bless. hate this. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pip it on the idea next time we fight undead. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we know. Okay. Uh, so, but... Okay, so I, from what I have, I have your invisibility potions. 
and I give oh, shit. You one, have one, one to each. Yeah, we only got two though. That's the only we could get. And that, we have fine. six potions of healing. Now, how do you want to split that up? We, oh, we, um, I could hmm. just split it up between the three of you because I can heal myself. I don't really think I'm gonna need potions for a while. I, I'm good. I'm this good. one has oil in it. Yeah, I'm. I'm. St I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah, you know what? If I need healing up, I'd prefer you do it. Aww, so it's sweet. What's funny is, I'd, I don't really need any either, because I also can heal myself. If anything, I think you should have it more. You're very, like, you don't like having to cast spells too much from what I got. I, I try it does this. save you spell slots. I, I, I'll put some in storage then. I'll, I'll take two on me. Listen, listen, if you get. I thought I we say, also got it for the men day as well, yeah. So we needed some for the men day. I'll take two. I'll take two. All right. I'm so, I, I think you should carry a couple on you. Uh, I'll carry three. Bit. That way, just emergency heals, you know? Got you. I could just throw it at you guys. Exactly. <laughs> throw it at your yeah, feet and break exactly. it. So I'm going to put. So you're taking two? Yeah, I'm taking two. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'll, four, I'll, I'll take two. I'll put three in my pocket. Yo, what? I actually the... paid for two of these. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so I will have three on basic healing potion. They're basic ones. So that, that's a what? A 1D? Yeah. 1D4. 1D4. Plus, I think it's 1D4 plus like one or something like that. Oh, I thought they were two. Let me cause... check. Health cause... potion, D&D 5. Burp. Yeah. Uh, we got the common one, so it's 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, I was like, a vials are like the 1d4s, like the really tiny ones. Yeah. So yeah, that's 2d4 plus 2. That, that is what it is. Alright. Hell yeah. So... Oh, oh. For the, Ignore for that. the sake <laughs> of expediting the process... No, we want to talk it all out. <laughs> What we love talking to each other. We love How role playing. Okay. <laughs> I'm pee just trying to be cognizant of people's time as well. How are we supposed to bond? <laughs> if we Fine then bond. So I was gonna walk over to Pipi. Okay, so you know how you had that whole thing where you would flirt with people all the time? Yes. There's a half orc there. Mm-hmm. He was guarding a doorway that we need access to. Yes. I need you to catcall him. Oh, baby! Phoebe, like, disappears into a room and changes. She she puts on, like, a dress that's got a slit up the leg. She has her oh, wig goodness. and her prosthetic horns on. And she steps out, and she looks like a whole different person. Hot as hell. You think this will work? <laughs> Come okay, on, let me... Work? Where do we have to hide? We have to hide somewhere. Huh? If we're, <laughs> well, if we're staying nearby. Fifi like snaps her fingers and like a shimmer goes over here over her and she like coughs <clears throat> and I can use a voice like this it might be even better I have to go <laughs> <laughs> what where you are you going work? I have to go where are you <laughs> going where, where are I you think going? it's going to work I have to go <laughs> okie dokie uh, let's... gay panic ensues gay panic ensues all right. Did you find any places we, me, and Fifi could hide, or at least well, I mean, stay um, nearby? Actually, yes. Um. So the I'm also looking at the map. North side is actually not protected at all. There's like nobody over there. Super vulnerable. Wait, we literally wait, climbed yeah. the entire wall. North. Okay. Okay. So and would that be a good spot? Sneaky. And what we've seen, there's only four people. What we've seen, this is not guaranteed, but we've only seen four people so far. I mean, the, I mean, it is morning. <laughs> it Sorry, is morning. It is morning. The, they probably have a night shift type of group. Maybe, potentially. Ooh, actually, yes. That night is and day is kind of weird in, in <laughs> yeah. the Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not really weird. a night day Dark cycle. Shifts. It's a twelve-hour cycle. A very good point. They they yeah, probably have be... a twelve-hour cycle. We should, probably should have taken the day to actually observe. Yes, that's that's actually a good point. It might be. Yes. Do we want to camp out on the roof Chips. then? I mean, I can do a camp out session over there if you guys want to just chill around here, set up things like distraction devices, go over a basic plan with everyone. Right. Because our plan well, really just kind of works regardless, as long as there's not more than two people yes. on the top floors. So do you want us on the roof is... or on the back side? 
<laughs> yeah. Um. I'm looking at the map. This is this is the, what you were talking about. Yeah, I I have a sketch of it. <laughs> oh, it's still up on the map. I'm looking. I'm, I'm pointing at your oh, sketch. That's 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 the road. Oh, that's the road. No, Sophie, I just meant Sophia this, like this, this side's the really road. That's the roof. Yeah, but you said there was an opening or like no one guards it or something. Uh, the the top over up here. Okay. So do you it, want that us... goes to the docks and it's it's just kind of a wall. Do you want us up? to? So wait, the docks? Like good. Speak with them. Let me get fish. No, that's a lot of uh, extra stuff. You want us to wait on top of the roof with you while you go down? I mean, ideally, you, Fifi's gonna be like on the ground level down here because she'll be cat calling the half orc if he's not there. Oh, so the, the okay, so he's gonna. Oh, go, we should go. be very careful about that because of the dwarf at the front. He might come and try to chase her off. And, and that's might, when that's when Operation Grandpa comes in needing what? help. I'm, I don't have any other change of clothes. Do you think I can't handle two men at one time? That is not what the, that is not what we are saying. We are saying for your oh. safety and protection. I don't know why you are saying it like this. I don't think that's what she meant there, but no, no, I know what she meant. But like we are, we are more worried about protection There's than anything else. Also, the plan of me just dropping on top of the half orc oh, and uh, but that will forcing cause myself a... into him. The whole idea was that, Sophia. you know, she can't call the distract and then you can come down and do it. Oh, that's Sophia, why you want her to do it. Yeah, yeah. Aren't, aren't we not supposed to try and aggro or kill anybody? Or not oh, knock out? No. Knock out is more <laughs> like it. But then that'll be more suspicious. I mean... If we can get in and get out... It to find out. I mean, if we could get in and out and then that's it without any interference... And a good day. That should be fine. The problem is that they have really good placement of their people and not too many mm. entrances in. Mm. Oh, here's the thing. The ring. I don't know what that ring was. Uh, oh, I, ring. I have a ring of disguise self. I can make myself into whatever I want. Stop. Unless somebody else wants to try. I mean, like, do, I mean, if you're doing... He'd be oh, like, snaps I, her fingers. I, I point Sorry. to... I point to all this. I mean, if you want, if you're doing all this, like doing like the the outfit and everything, I could hold on to it. I could use it. Grandpa takes over as the half orc. I I mean, <laughs> or you can pose yourself as another I mean, sexy lady. I could also go disguise on someone after. And who knows? They probably maybe they're into men. And, and like we we are assuming that they yeah, they are into women. Oh. You can make yourself just look very like you're. Not, they're not sure if you're a boy or a girl. <laughs> and I, am, I am not doing that. I've seen too much. No, I could. Oh, do, okay. I could probably do something else. If anything, but like, uh, but... if if I don't have to talk to people, it is. If I was more, you know, like Sophia, and he just Hi. like wiggles around a bit, <laughs> we could go through the vents. She could definitely fit through the vents. I mean, I can go through the vents. Yeah, but me, on the other cool. hand, I need physical how entrance you, yeah. to get through. How are you going to get in? I could always sneak through a window, probably, but... Was there's there window, any opened door. ones uh, in where you were? Was where? there any windows on the, like, closer to the ground floor? We already discussed um, that there wasn't really that... No, on the roof. There were like, windows on the front side. Um, yeah. And there's, like, one window over here, but, again, that's kind of... Yeah. Hard to tell with this guy being here. Did we the also? The only pieces they don't have covered is the roof. <laughs> they Did... really, yeah. they really. There's no cover on the roof. Because there's no easily. legit way to get onto the roof. I mean, quick question: <laughs> Did you guys check if they have scrying eyes on there or any like eyeballs? Well, there'd be no eyes? way for us to check for scrying eyes. Oh, shoot. Mm. And if they had scrying eyes, why would they need? I mean, People. rooftop security. Eh, they're beefy. I mean, we would have gotten caught immediately. It's, it's literally oh, cheaper right. and easier to just have a person on the roof. I mean, you're yeah, right. Yeah, would be to yeah. set up a scry station up there. You are right. And once again, if they did, they would be, then they would have been immediately alerted and would have come I will up. say, for just your guys' sake, and just because, um, for. This does this building does seem to have a decent amount of protection in terms of like security because you saw security yeah. cameras like here, here, and here. 
but like obviously this building isn't important enough to have intensive security because yeah. basically on that corner was the only place like on that corner and like most of the other walls there weren't any cameras it was mainly just on the front entrance yeah all right so we go from the back mm-hmm. oh roofish roofish mm-hmm. yes my bed like that how we get up there yeah we go into the north but if we do go and check the uh windows from above there's a hadozi on the catwalk i would still have to choke them out uh, yeah i could do i have i do believe i have something maybe mm. there any sleep potions you know, if we had those mushrooms, oh, we, we have... could just shut them right in the back. Oh, they could, they couldn't, um, we could not get the hypnotic potion thing, uh, the, the the liquid spell squirrel, because the brother is still knocked out. But we have funny gray potion. Oh, do you have a, did you get, manage to see if they have any invisibility potions? I gave you yeah, one. Yeah, we have them. Yeah, we have them. Oh, excellent. Well, I, that solves all my problems. I can just sneak into the invisibility. Yeah, right, I you, don't have this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for Listen, what, it was just me I getting will... in there without being seen. Once I'm in there, I'm good. We also Fair have enough. a. I will then take uh, the ventilation. Yeah, we have a gray potion that uh, makes them sensitive to sound or thunder. Oh God! That, I, could... I don't think we need that one. Not yet. Okie dokie. No. Thought it mm. would help. Ugh. Ain't anything else we need to do what you want to hand over one of them uh, invisibility questions to me i handed it to both of you <laughs> you already have it yeah i never got one. Oh well you have one <laughs> you were told seven times <laughs> yeah um oh god i lost my train of fucking thought um <laughs> all right well then if we're confident enough i really don't want you two to get in trouble if you don't have to if it looks like something is going wrong like the guys out front mm-hmm. look like they're being called inside then you know we've been busted uh, try to do something all right just okay dokie don't get caught <laughs> just be safe okay just be careful Understood. that's all i asked. i could cast an infant is infestation no that's a cancer never don't mind you no. know sophia mm-hmm. a name <laughs> it is not, but I'll make sure that she is careful. All right, just keep a keep a keep an eye out for us outside. If it looks like they're changing guards, I don't know. Scream. We have the sending stones. Oh, we have the sending stones. <laughs> so if you, uh, I will. I guess I will hold the one with fee, and then you you want to hold it, or the Zell want to hold it. Zell, so do you want to hold it? I feel like the less stuff we give you, the better it's going to be for you to sneak uh, well, around. Actually, I actually cannot take anything in with me, technically, if I'm I mean, we can have you around. slip in first and then toss some stuff in later. True. I would have to be going in naked, technically. Yeah. The nudity. I can see Castro setting up the people. <laughs> you so, still have us on I'm the I'm just map. thinking, like, yeah, they would be switching shifts at this point, so... So we'll That's alright, we, we, we'll we we'll still be like, you know, once we get there, still so, check it out, make sure nothing too much has changed, so. So are we, yeah. so we're going to, okay, so, so we have this yeah. said out loud, yes. what, above board, what is the plan? For Me and Zell are going to be sneaking in, we're going to be both using the visibility potions, you and Fifi are going to stay outside, keep an eye out, and if things are, if you see like the guys outside are turning around and look like they're going in because maybe a commotion or whatever that's your cue to either come in or help us or get the fuck out of dodge and you i don't think we should make one amendment a slight change it's gonna take a little right. longer for the bit side of things yeah okay if you want to cut power it'll probably be a lot faster with fifi doing it do you Ooh, that is true, did you yeah. find how a power like a power source well we it was just making sure in case like, there's a fan directly up in the opening yeah. I'd rather not chop up Sphere here. So you want me to destroy them? No, I want, I want Fifi to no. cut the power if, the, if there is one. Did you find any? Yeah. Did you see any, like, while you were there? We didn't check to see how close a fan would be towards it. Mm. It's just a just-in-case. And then afterwards, she'd climb down with you and then 
you guys would do the job afterwards. Gotcha. So yeah. it's just it's just the starting part. Power cut off. Got this. Yeah, power cut off. Yeah. She'd sneak around and meet up with you. You'd have a predetermined area just to meet up at. Yeah. And then for you, Zelt, do you want to take care of who's ever going to be on top of that uh, catwalk? <laughs> I mean, ideally, since I'll be invisible, I won't have to. You don't want to? Okay. I mean, you're that invisible, but they... you still will make sounds. Yeah, that's the whole point of this stealthing yes. part. Is yeah, the invisibility will make give you advantage on the stealth roll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the big thing we want. <laughs> I'm gonna be a sneaky, sneaky guy. Yeah, this is what this is thing. literally what I've trained for. If I see, yeah, if, the only... if we're on the roof and I I could cast I could cast Mind Sliver on the on the the Hadozi character. He would feel that though. If, no, I know, but like if you're going in for it, if he sees you. Oh, if like, you want to knock him out. Yeah, I will assist and give him like disadvantage on saving throws. If you guys want to stay on the roof and do that, you can. Yeah, that's where most likely we're going to be. Bad. Yeah, that's where we're, yeah. we're most likely going to be. My, but, my only big yeah. thing is I have to go in with no no gear, so so I need somebody to get my gear to me once I'm inside. Should we go that's to? That's the only big thing. Oh shit! I forgot their name. Scooter? Or... Yeah. Should we go for the scooter to see if they have any supplies that we can also take? Um, I don't know what else we would we would need. Yeah, because a lot. You have to remember that a lot of the supplies mm. we can't. Like Sophia can't take any supplies in. True. Yeah, I can't take any supply in. What type of shop is, they, they, did, is it? A general store or like do they sell scrolls or magic things? Oh no. They sell they sell magic items yeah. and a bunch of metal scrap. Yeah, mm. but no scrolls or anything like that. Mm, good. No. Yeah. Okay. So I, yeah, that's that. That's why I'm like, do we want to take care of the person on the catwalk? Because then that's just super easy to give me my things. But if not, if yeah, honestly, do... the only person that's causing any problems at the moment is the Hadozi. Question: If we yeah. do take him out, we have to do it before we drink our stealth potions. Is the is uh, no, the window? Uh, does the window really? open? If you attack no someone, potion. if you do any action oh. with invisibility, it breaks. Even but, invisibility yeah. potions. Yeah, it just casts a spell. Question. It's just yeah, a spell as a motion. Do, that, yeah. Is that a window Brand. on top of the roof? Can you a enter through there, or is that just an yep. opening? Yeah, we can. But the okay, thing so... is, like, the closest landing spot would be the catwalk. The catwalks. Okay, like, so the if, if we could knock out the Hadozi, tie him up, and it's like, we'll reel him in onto the roof to keep him quiet. We can. We could do that. Yeah. That is one method to keep him quiet. And so that way, like... Sophia could keep off her gear on if she wanted to. All right. Yeah. All right, so yeah. that so that's the plan. Zell and yeah. so, uh, Sophia is going to sneak in. Me and Fee will just will be on the rooftop to watch. Unless Fee want you want you want Fee to distract. Well, if we're just going to go into the roof and go to his his doji, we don't really need distraction. All right. Yeah. I say the only big thing is, like I said, if Zell or me get caught, and the two guys are gonna come in stop those two guys like where is the, the thing uh, where is the main entrance to the building that you're entering if i'm, I'm looking at the it's, map right now if you go to so the very last side right map, here a is a door right here so that's the door so this over here this thing is above this yes yes okay, so this, this is the catwalk okay so that's the building all right this is the catwalk I'm, this is the inside of the building okay i'm just trying to figure out like how the placement is because like it's the, it's uh the, so the right, very first the one top the, level is on the left okay and the and the bottom right. level is on the right okay got and it. the middle is the catwalk. the catwalk gotcha 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 all right okay and this this is the entrance i mean we i yeah. could Thunderwave is a like, thing, but like we don't want to. Cause... I could like. No, we just... don't want to alert them. It's like, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not. You're never gonna cast Thunderwave during this mission. Damn it! I could. I have Thunderwave is Thunderwave makes a huge sound. We don't. Want I that. do have thaumaturgy and Druidcraft. We, we ideally we should not need those. Those are the cantrips. So like they make sounds. Yeah. Oh, well, I can we also really instantly cause an unlocked door or window to fly. I can cause all the windows to fly yeah. open. Yeah, but that would cause a lot of ruckus too. True. Yeah. I'm not the sneaky type person. I do. Yeah, not that's why I mean Sophia me. doing all the sneaking. You're like yeah, desperate to use one of your things. I when want to is cast like a distraction. No, I'm trying to things. figure out what is like what I like what spell would be good for a distraction that won't cause. Too well, we don't much need a distraction damage. at the moment, though. No, no, yeah, no. When, when, there's no when need a, for distraction. No, yet. no, no, no. When 
if they come to this door, you want us to distract them or well, stop them? I get them? beat by that door. Okay. No, he's... Yeah, I'm, well, all he's saying is, like, like I said, if, if it looks like those two guys are coming in, like, you guys from above see, like, we get in trouble, and those two guys are going to try to come in, that's when you should you should act and try to stop them so yeah, we can no, that's what I'm, buy a time. But we don't want to kill them. Or do we want to kill them don't, at that point? That's I... Mm, because, like... If a distraction going, is not going to stop them if they're going in because we're in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. So what you'll need to do is violence. Or right. violence. something like grasping vine. And in this agreement that you, you made with the dragon, did they say that, like, we couldn't kill them just in case? He didn't want... Was, they didn't want to... Uh, she wants us to not be seen. That she doesn't yeah. want like a disturbance. Okay, okay. Oh boy. Yeah, Lily, your whole side of it is we fucked up and we just need to get out. I am yeah. definitely casting bless on you guys then, and guidance. All right. I'm going so, to well, switch over because I'm going to assume you guys are going to start walking over soon. Yes. yes. All right. Let, so. No. Do I need my sex to get up? And my oh, sexy no. voice or no? No, 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 no. We, we will need you to bring <gasps> tools. Okay, I'll bring them. You guys are funny. We are, <laughs> we are doing the best. All right. Uh, Get listen, stressed love back. The, love, the energy, love the energy. Oh, love, love the you energy. Wanna, you want to bring it in? The, you're a character? No, never. No? Okay. Oh, we'll, drag we'll, them in. We'll, no! So, here's the thing. When you approach the warehouse, one thing you notice right away, yeah, other than the uh, the human having switched place with the dwarf, yeah, ah, obvious. This guy, mm -hmm. he's passed out. Which guy? What? The human? The half orc. What? <gasps> oh. Wait, what? The half orc is currently unconscious, laying on the external catwalk. I'm going to use. He's my just taking a nap. Sight. I'm going to use. I'm going to use my scan sight to see what's wrong with him. If he's just taking a nap or what's up. Dead. Deceased. It just says. It just says unconscious. He's not dead. <laughs> Damn it. Turn off scan. Turn off scan sight. All right. We're going to sneak in real fast now. Then. Okay. Everyone, uh, okay, okay, okay. I need three people. Who do I cast bless on other than the two? Should I cast bless on myself? Are you looking the... through the... Also, when you make it up to the roof, mm -hmm. um, and you look inside, yeah. you see standing by the Hadozi and currently holding, like, sort of a rag up to its neck, like, oh, no, super it's tightly. It's Who the it fuck is that? Is... You can't tell right away, but after looking for a little bit, since they're sort of standing still for a while, you can see uh -huh. the two ears and a lot of fur. Oh my god, is it a tabaxi? Oh my god, is it a hot tabaxi? Is it a guy? Is it a guy? Is he buff? Oh my god. It's the, it's the, uh, bear. It's, it's the plate person. Oh. And as the Hadozi goes limp and uh. the tabaxi, um, Let's go. Wait on him. Am I close enough to scan him? Um. I have thirty feet. You can if you open the window. Fuck! I'm gonna open the window and start going in. Oh, <gasps> you're just I'm gonna going. Try and I'm gonna use the grappling hook and just slowly, like, well, moderately speed. Enough to where I can dampen my sound, so I don't oh, make a sound. Before, right. before, 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 he, before he goes before he goes in. Do you use your invisibility I'm, potion? I'm using bless yeah. on all three. All right. On, okay. on, uh, all three roll, of you guys again. Roll stealth with advantage. I don't need to roll again. I got a natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Well, with, with the window open, I'm gonna scan yeah, whoever the fuck this is. Since fucking Zell's just like, yeah, I'm going in. I'm opening that's up a, the window. That's a total of 30, by the way, for my stealth with the bless. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, yeah, that's impossible. <laughs> that's you impossible. You see, here's level. the funny thing. He sees you. <gasps> He's alert. I rolled a natural 20 as well. 
I throw my yarn in there. <gasps> but they only have a plus seven to their perception. Oh my god. <gasps> my oh, stealth is plus eight, and I have a plus two from the bless. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to see what's up before so I they cast So don't notice you. Um, but now that you're sort of inside, you can actually see a bit better. I will reveal um, here. I would be probably over here in their blind spot. Where's my scan? Tell me about this motherfucker. Who are they? <laughs> is this our fucking dish bandit? <laughs> it's a, it's there's a, a dish, dish bandit. Um, before you can get a good scan off, they very quickly start moving over this way. Fuck, do I'm gonna be like trying to sneak up behind them. The urge to cast entangle right now just to stop them. No, no, don't do it, don't, don't do, do it. it. Uh, I, okay. No, I just, I just look to Bit and Fifi and I just give you guys a thumbs up before I take the potion and I go in as well. They we close the window silently. They jump yeah. down onto this quietly and jump on Whoa. top of the um dwarf <laughs> just fucking Earth. going you go go they go are. keep moving keep moving and and I, i'm not as stealthy and so i'm trying to knocks, keep distance knocks their head into the ground and turns them around and like covers their mouth with the cloth and try is to strangle them again like suffocate them I'm going to try and get as close as I can to them while they're struggling that guy. And when I do, I'm going to put my gun to their head. I love how it went from <laughs> Zell being like, I'll be on the catwalks watching you, and now I'm roll the one another, the catwalks Roll watching another them. stealth, not yeah. with advantage this time, because you are very, very close. You still have Bless. That is another natural 20. Oh my god. That Bless is still up for another... And what? I need to roll Bless, too. Minute? Yeah. But then it doesn't matter. I rolled natural 20. That's another plus two. So that's another 30. Jesus Christ. Uh, what is my stall? Mm -hmm. Just wait until I get past with that trace. This is also, Ooh. remember, this is also for attacks, guys. For a whole minute. I don't know how long this interaction is. Well, we're moving pretty fast. Yeah. He was moving pretty fast, too, so. Yeah. Yeah, this, this cat is kind of small, but they're very quick. Yeah, my stuff yeah. is 29, by the way, just in case. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why'd you gotta roll another nat 20? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let him win, guys. He he's trying. Just Listen, a little, just this, a little cat guy. Is, this cat has You guys are absorbing my good rolls. That's what's happening. It, it, all my hey. good rolls went straight hey. to my stats. This, you has saw been, them. this has been all of my 20s this entire time, man. Oh my god. And it's uh, right when I needed him most. You're Dude, that. I'm not he, doing anything this time. Uh, after a while, the dwarf um, stops m stops moving as the cat lifts off the cloth and puts the hand to the throat for a second. Like, you can tell he's trying to feel for a pulse. Then he, like, lifts up puts his knuckles in a weird way and just hits once really he, he, like hard in the chest as as the dwarf just goes <clears throat> and still unconscious goes to feel again nods and lifts up and turns around the moment he tries to lift up the gun's gonna press up again and his head so he knows that I'm there I'm gonna lean in and be like ah, not too fast Who are you? Why are you here? The cat doesn't say anything. Look, I don't want us to be found out. I don't want you to be found out. But you're kind of ruining a little thing we got going on here right now. And you know who you are. Points. Doesn't say anything else, but points over at where he thinks you are and then points at him. Is he using Thieves Cat? He doesn't know if you can use it or not. I'm gonna put my finger onto his back and Thieves and use some of the temp symbols from Thieves Cat. I'm gonna feel up his back, trace my fingers up and down. He will use Thieves Cat as well. Flirt him. Um, at he, this point, carefully hops down as well. <laughs> he said. 
basically he thieves can't signs i suppose um are you with them i'm going to lean over and point towards the dwarf and then say no Uh, that's the thieves cat on his back. Why are you here? I'm going to, as best as I can convey with the symbology of thieves can't, uh, message that say, on a job for the dragon. Side note, Castro, can I just say we're doing active perception rolls on me and Fia on top of the roof? Sure. I will also. I will also say there's an opening right here. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye out towards there to see if the tiefling woman might show. Mm -hmm. Um, the tabaxi thieves can't um here to save captives. Ooh. 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 I'm gonna do I'll, I'll have to... ah, This is a hard one Okay I will say I've been rolling really well On my perceptions Because you said you rolled a 26 Sophia For yourself I think I was a 29 29 Okay so still not high enough <laughs> Man even with a plus 7 On perception it's rough. And a, and a nat 19. It's very to be rough. fair, something is like staying pretty low, and she's like, look, just like, like, no, Zell has this, and it's just like, why? Like I said, she's keeping out for that tiefling woman. I'm going to roll one more time for perception. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I can't let this person free the hostages. Yeah. Because the job says that we're not supposed to. Well, like, you could always try to explain. It's hard to explain in this kind of situation. Thieves can't isn't the most developed language as it's a symbolic language. Um, yeah. The tabaxi looks over um, at where, like, hands still up, looks over slowly um, to where um, you are, points at his mouth and opens. You can see he does not have a tongue. That does make talking a lot harder, too. Damn. Damn. Oh, cat, no tongue. Got it. All right, listen here. Things are pretty clear at the moment, but we need to have them stay captured at the moment because we need to track their location to stop the operation completely. Can you accept that or not? Looks at the... the shipping container or before oh yeah the moment I see her step out I'm tapping against the top of the truck like hide and these can't before hopping off <laughs> do I see anything Castro with the 25 I'm gonna drive the yeah dwarf you see me. you see the tiefling come out I'm gonna drive the dwarf <sighs> Walking. I was gonna say He's this, this is Hello. just a shipping container. Yeah, this is a shipping container. Um, you also see running out of the office door right here mm -hmm. is an auto gnome that was in the office that you guys didn't see. It looks like two. Yeah. <laughs> because look what's right here. Security camera. Yep. Yeah. Cover blown. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to uh, motion for the tabaxi to try and grab one of them. Um, we you, but you, you hear like loud talking, like saw them on cameras. That is in the T flying. We like, what? And now they're both heading this way. Yeah, I'm moving so around. You, you got to take out. How the T -flying. He's just on the roof, like, oh, dude, oh, I oh, know oh, I should have oh, tried no. to seduce them. Take no. out the robot. <laughs> I'm going to say that to the tabaxi. Yeah, I'm 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 just slowly moving around the container. Yeah. Yeah, the Debaxi went grabbed the dwarf and yanked. I I grabbed him. I said I grabbed him when I pulled back. Okay. Uh, 
Damn, that what? really was just there. Where's Brenyar? All right. Unknown. <sighs> Office shift again. If there are people in here, then we need to find them. I'm understood that the auto numb starts walking this way as Tiefling begins walking this way. I, I gesture to, to Zell, like, she's coming. And what do you do when she rounds a corner? Zell's gonna run up, grab her, pull her forward, and put his gun in her mouth so she can't really talk with it. And, and I'm going to flip her towards the tabaxi. Yeah, the tabaxi's gonna take his little cloth and just wrap it around her face. Gun in mouth? <laughs> yeah. Gun in mouth. I'll, I'll probably pull the oh, gun out no. as the cloth comes out. Yeah. Oh my god. Because so I've seen them take out two people now. Um, And she is going to try and... Only was a That's a six. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> We're just a uh, quality team, guys. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just I'm just watching that auto gnome. <laughs> I'm the lookout right now. Uh, she made me a bitter. She rolled, a, she rolled a six to resist um, the grapple, but she rolled a nineteen to resist the chloroform. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken. To be able to cast this, I need oh. both of you to roll dex saves. Yeah, bless. So bless. 19 plus a oh, natural 19 plus. Okay. Plus. You guys saved. You don't even have to worry. <laughs> uh, just like I'm you guys are good now. <laughs> I got, I had a one on the bless. <laughs> She casts Burning Hands directly on the ground, which expands out towards the both of you. So you guys take... five fire damage. Gun to the back of her head, and we'll whisper, if you, won't, if you want to live throughout this day, you'll shut up, and you'll stop. As she goes limp. Jesus Christ. Motion towards the tabaxi to finish the knockout. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We're really yeah. good at stealth missions, guys. <laughs> Listen, there's no need for stealth if there's no one to survive it. The tabaxi's really making it a lot easier. Yeah, I, I the stealth the, that gets from the tabaxi is making it a lot easier. I go on descending stone. What, the guy outside just went back in the office. Shit. And I, I, I look around. So, the human's in. Did the auto gnome just also? The auto gnome walked in too. Yeah, they went in into where that area is. Uh... Bas yeah. Um, the tabaxi goes over and starts like picking the lock that's on the shipping container. Sophia, pass me the device. Yeah, I. You watch her hold out her hand and it just bubbles out of her hand. <laughs> you know, grab it. I'm gonna walk over to the That's that one. Oh, thank God. What about that camera, guys? <laughs> that one! Can we talk about that I camera? I don't roll well, okay? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We've already determined this. It's fine. What about that camera, guys? I mean, they work fast enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. I'm going to motion to the backseat to take out the human. And I'm gonna come back over here. Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, and one more attempt. That's a nat three. Fails again and quickly moves back over here. Oh, this lock picking? God damn, you suck, bro. I'm gonna come back over here so they don't see me. I'm gonna drag the girl. Do not me. blame my failures on my NPCs, okay? I'm gonna drag the two flame girl back here. Wait, this is like, so cool. Wasn't, wasn't she just here? Did you hear me guess? Affirmative. Mm -hmm. I'll try. I'll. Take the gnome. Oh, <laughs> dwarf with me. Goes, <laughs> up, goes up to the thing as the auto gnome watches. This my champion. Is like. <laughs> the hell. You said there were people in here, right? Affirmative. <laughs> Um, the 
tabaxi, and this is highly dependent on what I roll here. What was that? That was nat 20. Oh, Let's go. Uh, finally. Oh, my goodness. Thank God. Um, quickly comes over here, grabs the human's head, slams it into the uh, uh, shipping container or door, which causes him to knock out completely. He quickly runs over here, pounces on the um, auto gnome, mm-hmm. and just begins in, like beating down on it with its fists yeah. Yeah. very how quickly. The, have him with the gnome. Oh, I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go I'll come uh, over and help him with the gnome. By I'm the time you get there, it. he the auto gnome's already like its face is like concave now. You know what? Never mind. He's I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna pick the lock. Oh, okay. So, Sophie, what, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> uh, honestly, don't worry about it. Everyone's knocked out. Fifi, do we do we go in or like? That is. I mean, we could. I don't know. <sighs> Dexterity, do I have expertise on thieves? Pulls out this, I grabs say, this I have plus stone. nine. Yeah. Guys, guess. do you want us down there, or what do you guys want us uh, to do? Honestly, just stay up here, there. We're about done, just, I think. <laughs> I, like, look uncertainly gotcha. towards the tabaxi. Uh, that's a 28 for the lock. Um, when you look oh, yeah. back towards the tabaxi, oh, you, you can one. see the tabaxi, um... <laughs> Like after they Wait. moved, after they got up off the auto gnome, you see like on the actual uh, uh-huh. shelvings here. Yeah, you see some vase and pottery, and once the tabaxi sees it, the eye slits Are go from tiny me? to <gasps> huge. I was, I was, it right. is the was fucking cat. That was right. <laughs> oh my god, I that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Sophia, stop I, him. I wanted to be the fucking no. Dwegar? No, we get cat. <laughs> we get cat. We get but literal it makes cat. Sense. It makes she sense. did. Sophia did remember that the uh, Tabaxi do enjoy knocking things yeah. off shelves. And she did with a fifteen to their wisdom saving throw, which totals to a uh oh my goodness, fifteen plus four. Um, nineteen. Nineteen. They shake their head and stand and up like trying to like basically it seems like they're saying no don't do that stop you can't keep doing that I they're trying to resist the urge and to I be a cat finger at him i go you're the plate breaking bandit it turns its head <laughs> to you and just rolls its eyes and just I mean, I, I don't blame you. you you clearly can't choose a name for yourself but still still <laughs> what with that Block picking. First Damn. of all, thirty with glass. Right. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, you very quickly open it up, and you see inside. Well, the sources of information were very correct. People, um, as they're all dead. A lots of very young people. Oh. Most of them oh, no. are. Most of them are the like beast races. There's some tabaxi <gasps> in there. We there's some. Um, Look, there's there's nice. a minotaur in there. I was already can't. unhappy with having guys to can't. let them stay captured in the first place. This is not making yeah, it easier this, on me. Yeah, guys, this, is, this is definitely now. Hey, Fee, I hope they're doing, like, the mission well. We're probably going to get this information, right? <laughs> yes, Sophia yeah, sees okay. the show. Oh, it's... Really, like, everything seems oh, like hey, it's going it's, well. It's actually a good thing you told Fifi to stay on the roof because uh, <laughs> she'd be a... Uh... She'd be having an aneurysm right now. Yeah. Do we, like, drag that other... the, the Hodozi guy, like, up on the roof? I don't. Literally, everyone's knocked out at the moment. We could, yeah. we could probably just drag him up here. We'll just like for fun. We'll just pickpocket him. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, we're gonna drag this 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 fucker over here up on the roof. Sophia. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna motion my head towards the cat. Yeah. I'm trying to like let you know. Just be grab the cat. Be... Oh. Right. I sigh, and I just look to him. And I go, sorry about this, and I'm gonna. Immediately, you watch her form just extend so weirdly as she immediately wraps almost her entire body around him. Oh my god! Um, didn't you ask the cat already? If okay, like, well, about no. the thing. Um, no. in that yeah. in that case, oh he god. pulls out his gun and just fires because you wrapped around him. You're well, he's able to fire. Wait, you but he's that? right there. That'd still be at disadvantage for him. It's at disadvantage, but. 
That's at disadvantage. <laughs> He's firing gun. That's at disadvantage, bro. And one, I'm in Bailey with him. One, one, one. He is proficient. Which means that is a 17 to hit. That hits. <laughs> All right. Did you hear that? He hit one point above my DC. What was that? We, so that's one d six plus this. We yell into so that's this. nine piercing damage, and he begins uh -huh. thrashing as he makes um, unarmed strike against you. Did something happen? As they, soon as as Beefy kind of hears a shot, Beefy, no. she's 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 jumping. She's using her arms to kind of lower herself. So that she tangle. Would it be di disadvantage because uh, melee range or disadvantage because grapple? Melee range. Oh, well, then it wouldn't, oh, well, then it wouldn't have been disadvantage then. Grapple's a contested role. Yeah, grapple's so contested role. So before the gunshot, if he's grappled first, then you'd have to do the uh, well, roll first that, for that. Even at disadvantage, well, still, he shot me melee close. Still, that's disadvantage. But now I am I am trying to grapple him. So there is supposed to be a contested role. <laughs> Okay, it's your strength. Good boy. Yeah, and I have advantage on this. Fifi, stay. No! <laughs> That's gonna be a 30 stay. point. 23? Uh, no. gonna... Oh, wait. Do I have bless to this? You still have yeah. bless. Oh. Um, 22. <laughs> Not 22, 21. That's also gonna be a 21. You oh. suddenly see Fifi I, descending. I don't know how that works. Stop that it. always confuses me. I don't know if I win. I'm not sure. Because that's... It's DM. Or if we want to use acrobatics. Rule of cool. Rule of cool. Do we want to do acrobatics instead of a saving throw? Um, I feel like his acrobatics is higher than my shit. Because <laughs> then instead of a 21, that would end up being a 24. What's your acrobatics mm. at? It's, it's, My acrobatics is a plus seven, so that'll be... What the plus fuck? Plus 11. Uh, so that would be 19 plus seven, so 26 Six. plus one, 27. Yeah. Well, no, it would still be your strength, because you're the one trying to grapple. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. To get out, it's either athletics or acrobatics. I mean, Castro, oh, okay, do you okay. he's, he's covered in slime. Would he actually be the winner of this Tide contestment? You have no idea what this Tabaxi is capable of. True, so that's on you whether or not they succeed or not. They, they match, um, your I will ruling. say instead of you yeah. taking the damage um, of the shot, he does manage to escape and take a few steps back. Mm -hmm. As yeah, he cause... pulls out his gun and points it towards both of you. Do I see? My, my, guns, my gun's at him. He, he descends! No! <laughs> He, yes, come with his spare hand, he takes out this uh, medallion and, and opens it up. And suddenly coming from the medallion is a... Or a locket, I guess. A locket uh, <laughs> is a large sort of cloud of darkness as he casts darkness on himself. Shit. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, I, He'd have to cast us... it on an object. The locket is the object, is it not? Yeah. The, the yeah. locket is the object. On so himself. He's, so he's he'd have to, it he'd have to drop the yeah yeah he'd have to drop the, uh, the amulet because it, it can't be an item that's being worn. This it's not being worn. He's holding it. Okay. That's considered worn though. Yeah, it's a drop locket of the night. Worn an Oculus carried. circular silver locket hung from a fine silver chain. This locket boasts the power to sap light from its surroundings. When opened, the inside of this locket seems to absorb all light around it and is cold yeah. to the touch. As an action, you can open the locket to cast darkness centered on the locket, and you okay. can see normally in the darkness. Okay. Is I'm this... I'm posted up on the door to the uh, thing, anyways. Would this so be now, fifteen at this point? centered on himself is now a centered on himself. Yep. So from here, going fifteen feet, you said. I mean, he can just set up an aura. True. Yeah. If you click How in the, the world do I do aura? If you right click on the token, there'll be a little gear icon. Oh if yeah. You scroll down. There's auras. Nice. That's what that's what I was doing for the light. 
Are you able to see that? No. Uh, when you hit save, changes. And you need to make sure it's visible to everyone. Okay. There. Yeah. There you go. And now we we don't move. We don't know and, where it is. And now would be a good time to to end the session. Uh, like hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh. That was a way to end it. Uh, in the Oh, beefy on the descent. Oh. We need yelling up. at her. Stop! We are not getting any information at all. <laughs> we could still we could still get this to work. We're still on the camera, guys. You see, you guys could have convinced them until you were like, "Hey, I'm going to uh actively strangle you and grab him." And that's what I thought they had already done because do. he had mentioned we... something to the dude. And I thought, oh yeah, this will be fine. We're just gonna do this. And we could. Oh nope. Well, because he was I hadn't actually convinced him to let us do our job because he didn't know what our job was. Mm -hmm. But before we could yeah, do anything. And the moment I opened that door and saw that all those people there, I was like, there's no way he's not gonna fucking Yeah, him. there's no way he's not he's gonna let us just I'm barely not gonna <laughs> treat yeah. these people. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> Yeah, we're like we we don't even want to do this, but we're, like if we don't, it's like where are these gonna people people gonna end up at? Like pause real so quick. What, Just pause these, pause these... real quick. Guess you'll say the thing so oh, I can yeah. end the YouTube <laughs> portion. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you comment. What was your favorite part of the session today? As the rest of the players will do that very soon. Ye. Yeah. All right. Bye bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. 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 Let's go down the list. Comfy, what was your favorite like part? One moment. I gotta no. do things. I gotta 